Uh, Mamash Tenshi, it's time for more Bloodborne. Alright, let's do this. Should probably... Just a second. Okay, that's better. Cool. Sick. Okay. Okay. So I guess we're just gonna go into the Hunter's Nightmare now. There isn't much else to do. I guess I could be funny and just go straight to Garman. Again, I do technically have enough to go into... Well, actually, actually, actually... I should probably farm a few blood vials first. That is right. Given that I'm going in with 10 right now, and that is not particularly good enough to have. Okay. So I guess it's just go back to Central Yarnum. Oh, but right, I need to equip some more eye runes. That's right. That's right. Okay. Hmm. It didn't take this ungodly long to load. <clears throat> it is what it is. Yeah, but the big thing is I need, I need to get rid of these moon runes and put on the eye rune. Gilbert is no longer there. In fact, we killed him. Hmm. Guess we'll just continue onward. But, oh, right, and since we've used up all of our insight, the doll is dormant again. Right. Okay. I'm just gonna find my eye runes. And... Let me see. Well, there was another one that I just did not get. I think it was from some NPC I didn't kill. Well, whatever. Rune, Bloodborne... I rune, Carol rune, <clears throat> and wait, hundred is nightmare of Mensis, Troll master. Oh, I have plus fifty and plus seventy. I don't have plus one hundred. Ah, okay. From one of various chalice dungeons that I am not particularly interested in using right now. Just wondering. You know what? Sure. Why not? Why not take that? Okay. So we're gonna go back to Central Yarnum and try to get a few more blood vials so that I don't die like an idiot first thing. Well, so that I die a little more slowly. Just a little. Uh, hmm, hmm. Boosting damage against beasts, but it's not as if guns specifically are more effective against beasts than any other enemy. Interestingly worded. Okay. Okay. Yep, nothing here. Pure man beast. Oh, I didn't even notice, but he just burst straight out. Okay. Oh, wow. Well, I guess. Makes sense that there was no stagger. Okay then. Okay. Well, I'll just go through here. Take these guys down. I guess it might be nice to test how much damage Tiny Tontris actually does to that guy. Oh wow. Wow. That's really good. Okay. Hmm. In that case, I wonder how much damage that would do to a Briatus when I go and have a rematch with her in the Chalice. I feel like 
be a good chance of that dealing more damage than normal standard Conatrice then, because that dealt 400? Something like that. So let's just see real quick. Come on. Yeah, that... And to be fair, this thing has... Well, not right now. It could have Kin Hunter gems on it. Which would make it more... Specifically useful. But, I don't know. Hi. 411. Whereas... Steel's... Decent bit more, but it's... No, no, Chica is actually stronger. Okay. Oh. Alright then. Let's just take you down then. And... I don't like that. One... Two... Absolutely insane. It's so shard, and you have three blood vials. It does feel like the vial drops have gotten a little less common, but... Yeah, whatever. Come on. Oh, there we go. Cool. Now it's time to die. Let me... Drain my health nice and fast. If I want to be funny, I could use a bold hunter's mark, but I don't feel like being funny like that. So, just do this whole song and dance a few more times, and should get enough to be ready for the hunter's nightmare. Because when I went there the first time, I tried really hard to take down one of the first beast cutter hunters who showed up. And it actually worked pretty well. The issue was... Hi. Actually, you know what? If I go through with this... As long as I'm fast, this might actually work better. Okay. I wanna see. And yeah, that does one tap. Okay. Nice and fast, too. Go through with this will actually be a little bit faster, and the benefit will be I'll be that much closer to death when I'm done. Okay. Cool. What a cool weapon. I love the trail it leaves. It really adds so much panache. Okay. I'd actually use that on one of the beasts, maybe. I don't know. Okay. The big thing is, is that this encourages a certain degree of alacrity. Two. I just want to see what it does against those bees. And hi there. Hello. Hi. One, two, three. Oh, well. I could have done that unlocked. I should have done that unlocked. Just a couple more runs and I'll have a decent amount. Yeah, I will. Okay. Hi, hello. Alright, and just get uh, yeah, that and die on purpose. There we go. Uh, what a silly way to use the weapon. It's just so strong. It might be the jetting, but does seem to be a little stronger than Holy Blade. Even though Holy Blade's scaling off two stats of Chikage scaling off of. It's 430, that should be... 490? No, it, yeah, it is just better. Wow. Hmm. Okay. Oh, but all that waiting. Mess me up. I've got a little bit less in the way of health. Well, it shouldn't matter. Given that single slash single every one of these trolls. Well, oh, okay, alright. Come on. Just let me. Slash. And some more vials. Hmm. Wonder if I'll live or die before this all ticks down. Hajime Mashtenshi, how are you doing? I'm just doing a quick bit of blood pile farming before I go on to the Hunter's Nightmare. 
Because as of right now, I hardly have any. So... This won't give me too many blood echoes, so I won't get too overpowered, but it will give me the recovery I hope will be. Yeah, multiple times. I got lucky in that the Shadows of Yarnum in Nightmare of Mensis drop a good amount, but there's only so many times I can play around like that. Okay, cool. Hi, hello, hello. Oh, goodness. What? What? Okay. Just let me get that, and then I think left are going to be a couple of bees. See if I can kill them before I lose my remaining bit of health. Okay. One, two, and just one, two, and... Okay, that was really close. So we got those vials, and now we can just die again. There we go. I'm going to do that farming run one more time. damage on this thing is crazy. Yeah, I did. I do wonder how that story quest is gonna go. It's a shame he's not that good in gameplay. But that's neither here nor there. What I just find funny is I'm gonna have to... Hmm. Given that Arlequino is gonna be new then... Well... Cutscenes and gameplay have nothing to do with each other. In cutscenes, in cutscenes, Traveler is strong. But, the big thing is that, well, maybe he actually proc the shield. Oh, I know you know. I'm just teasing you like you always do. But, that Ar since Arlequino is going to be out, and the Nave Domain is going to be out, I'm going to end up having to farm... <clears throat> if I want to farm Friendship on Arlequino Pass... I'm gonna have to fight Arlequino with Arlequino, which, among other things, means having to power through that crazy amount of pyro res. But she has something like 70% pyro resistance. Oh, I, I know it's part of it's just the fact that you're gonna be seeing two Arlequinos, but a lot of it is also just... As a pyro boss, her pyro resistance is absolutely off the charts. Which means that having Kaza in the party is going to be an absolute necessity. Which wouldn't actually be all that much of a problem, but... Okay, okay. Just checking. Well, honestly, I don't know. Because a lot of it's just going to be dodging or not dodging. And again, having Kaza on hand to be able to shred Pyro Res. Okay, you know what? I'm going to do this one more time. So, I might be a little sleepy because... I stayed up late last night reading. I know, crazy. Because the final area of the DLC, which I may or may not reach today, the DLC is pretty long, is based off of Innsmouth from a story called The Shadow Over Innsmouth. I called Shadows Over Innsmouth by H.P. Lovecraft. So I figured, you know what? I think I've mentioned this. If I'm going to be going to the area... I should read the basis first. It's not a long story. It was about 50 pages, and they were pretty big pages, it was pretty dense. And frankly, my energy, mental energy, could have been a bit higher. But it was really good. Very interesting. It was about fish people. Not goblins. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was very interesting. I feel like... I need to read more of... <sighs> My dad has, has this big book that's just a compilation of every short story that Lovecraft ever wrote in his life. And... Yeah, well, it is what it is. That... I need to read a good deal more of them, at least the more notable ones. Just because a lot of things are based off of them. Including, one of the characters, one of the lore characters in Genshin is named after a similar character in Lovecraft. And, you know, you know, kind of a silly reason. Well, he, 
He's a big sci-fi fantasy kind of guy. It's kind of his thing. You know what? You know what? I like this weapon too much. I'm gonna do this run one more time. Just... There, there could be no harm in getting more blood vials. Yeah, I just... Shikage is so good. This weapon is crazy. I have a deliberately silly build. And to be fair, a lot of it is probably the blood gems putting in the work. But being able to just casually deal 484 damage or so with a quick light attack. Who? Which one? Sethos? I didn't know you'd quit. I guess that makes more sense. And then, you know, I'm basically your Genshin substitute at this point. Yeah, Sethos, Sethos. Apparently he's gonna be a four-star, and you can see an Electrovision on him in the trailer, which is interesting because most leakers said he would be a Dendro Bow and that he would look entirely different, which is funny. But it'll be interesting because apparently we're getting Sato's actual Temple of Silence area with his story quests. And it seems like it's just going to be a story domain instead of being a permanently accessible area. Well, does Sino look like it to you? Sino doesn't look that much more electro. He has a bit of purple on him. But yeah. But we are getting sort of the remaining upper bits of Samaru, both desert and jungle. Because the big hole is getting filled in. What do, you, what do you mean by that? What do you mean by that? But, as I was saying, essentially, essentially, we'll get a tiny bit more Samaria jungle, along with apparently the mentioned harbor area in the north, which is also basically nothing, apparently. And people expect it to be something like Yolong Wharf, but it's tiny, tiny. There's basically nothing there. It's kind of funny. Well, you know what? Let's go back to the Hunter's Dream. And... I think we could actually... We may as well use these Echoes for one quick level up. Hmm. I don't see why not. Either way... Today I should be getting... This game's version of the Moonlight Greatsword. Wait, let me see. Did I use... I used a lot of these. Hmm. Let's just see. From Minecraft? What What do you mean from Minecraft? I mean, it's 6 one Oh, the cost has gotten crazy. I shouldn't have done that. Well, whatever. Hmm. Just wanna see. Uh, no? The sword I was using was just a random greatsword. Well, one was red and one was blue. You may be the first colorblind woman woman I have ever heard of. That was a joke and I'm sorry. Wonder if we'll get maybe. That said, I'm pretty sure there isn't any kind of red-blue colorblind. Let me just... So we're back in the Hunter's Nightmare. I am not using... Chikage for anything right now, and yep. They only replenish when you go to the Hunter's Street, not when you leave it. Here we are, fake Odin Chapel. No way back. And... hmm a door over here that we can't go through yet. So there's one door over there. Possibly. I have thought about how I hmm allocate gameplay space. Because I like having chat on screen for the sake of the VOD. 
It's a cold blood. But it does lead to some possible issues of the screen size being too small in the gameplay area. That is one interesting moon. I mean sun. I'm just gonna keep looking around. And that hunter should find those beasts. I'm gonna see. Okay, okay. Just checking. Oh, okay. Hi there. Let me just... If you like... Oh, goodness. Carrying should be... Oh, oh. Actually, our damage is... Quite capable. Oh, God. Oh, what? 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 That is insane. Okay. Possibly. But at that point, the chat would get tiny tiny, and it would kind of become a question of, okay, then why have the chat on there at all? You know, if the chat got smaller, it would kind of defeat the purpose of having both the chat and the Game Boy on screen, and at that point, I might as well just get rid of chat. Well, that's what I mean, is that it's always a trade-off. And that, frankly, the entire point of streaming is that there's some degree of audience involvement. By okay, there we go. And we can just pan the wheel. Thank you, thank you. Okay. And just, well, we miss. That's not great. Okay, now we can jump. And swing. You know, it feels really, really good to be able to dispatch these guys. Okay. Well, that said, it's one thing to confuse its size. It's one thing to mistake it for a different kind of weapon. It's another to mistake its color. Mm -hmm. You know, may maybe, I pa maybe I'm passing my eye problems down to you. It's certainly possible at this point whole Baiju thing. Hmm. Yeah. Now I'm gonna put you in the freezer. Mm hmm But, as I was saying before, I honestly wasn't even kidding. I'm genuinely a little concerned. Thanks. It's good to hear. Oh, goodness. Yeah, I need to... Damage is good, but I need to... Let's pop a bar. Sharp, damp, blood gem. Hmm. Oh, hi there. Actually, you know what? Let's see. And just... Hmm. Let me just... The cool thing is that... They're actually afraid of... Oh! Are they afraid of the lift form of the hammer? It does seem like that. That's just... Cool. Come on. There we go. It's honestly not that much better than the Holy Blade. But a lot of that is just... That was welcome. That... These split damage weapons, like Boomhammer, Tonitris... Most of their strength actually comes from kind of post-game. Money can farm nourishing blood gems that just increase attack across the board and therefore increase all their types of damage. Because right now, the only blood gems I have that just increase damage or increasing, sometimes scaling, sometimes specific type like physical fire bolt, etc., and that prevents it from. That does not work well with the split damage types of weapons like the Boom Hammer. Hmm. So we'll see. Chikage is crazy good, though. That is definitely true. Which is why I'm saving it for other fights. Trying not to wear it out too much. 
Because the scaling is absolutely crazy. It's kind of necessary given that... Wait, is he? Yeah, he is. He's fighting them too. That said, eventually I'll have to take him on as well. But I can let him deal with a good amount of these guys. Oh, there are two of them. Oh, goodness. So actually, the smart thing to do would be to deal with him while he's paying attention to the beast as well. Okay. Cool. Just... Oh, goodness. Oh, and now he's actually doing his hammer stuff. Well, we messed that up. Come on. Out of my way, out of my way. Kill him. Oh, well. Alright. There we go. Cool. That's just you. And you actually have a gun, which... Hmm. Oh, goodness. We just... Stagger lock you. Kinda. Let's just... Hmm. I could try to... Okay. Okay, and visceral. How much is this gonna deal? That was insane. Okay. Either way, it does feel good. Absolutely tear these guys a new one. Temporary damn blood jam. Again, can't imagine that would be all that useful for me. Madman's knowledge. The only real thing I can think about using Inside 4 at this point is buying more blood rocks. Level up more weapons. Because if I'm using. So I've got Holy Blade here. Chikage is already at plus 10. But there's also Boomhammer, Tonatrice, and soon Holy Moonlight Sword. Yeah, yeah. It's fun. Pure blindness, eventually unseen village waits at hand. That would. I was trying to think about what area of. Hmm. So this is basically the graveyard. The way it's all messed up. But actually, this way would be Forbidden Woods, more or less. So they've got the geography wrong too. Hmm. I think. Because if the gates. This one down here. This is the one that, in the real world, leads back to the Odin Chapel that, in the Nightmare, is right over there. Look how pearlescent the sky looks. It's quite pretty for a Nightmare. Hmm. And up this way is, yeah, that's literally the Cathedral. Hmm. Alright then. This is a Gatling gun. And, okay, I can destroy it. That's good. It means it won't shoot at me from behind. Oh, but that Beast Cutter Hunter would have been manning it. So it doesn't matter anyway. He's already dead. There's somebody coming. Oh, dogs. Oh, come on. It's just... Well, actually, can we sneak up from behind on these dogs? Bet we can. It always is. These ones are stronger, too. But now they're dead. Okay. Go over here and get Put silver bullets. Again, now that we really need them. I... Not too concerned with trying to visceral these guys. Oh, hello there, am I? Can we just... Hmm. Hmm. I'm wondering how we can do this. Oh, well, alright. Cool. Oh my goodness! Surprisingly durable for a dog. I should have actually gone for a gunshot, which would stagger them. And this guy has... Oh, what? Excuse me? That is... Kind of crazy. Okay. Hmm. No, go on this way. Okay, I can kind of hide in here. You are... Noxious. He's got the Beast Hunter Scythe, which is just... A worse version of the Saw Cleaver and Saw Spear that exists for war reasons. Which I actually respect immensely. Oh, what? Come on. Well, now you're dead. Okay. Over here we have... 
More blood vials! Yay. I wanna see... What's down here? By the way, yeah, this is just... an evil, screwed-up version of Cathedral Ward. Pretty cool. Hmm. No! Others alerted yet? Oh god. Did I need to do that? I should have. Let's see. You focus on that beast over there. Oh, well, never mind. Okay. What? Oh, goodness. I couldn't stagger there. Oh, goodness. Oh, I need to. Well! Okay, what? Oh, goodness. Let me just get you down here. Come on. It's not expecting to actually make use of your hyper armor. But what? Okay. Okay, the timing on that, I should have gone for the visceral. Hmm. Okay. Alright. Well, you know, it would be fitting for Bloodborne. Bloodborne is... Well, to be fair, it's not a Souls game. Honestly, it's arguably closer related to Demon Souls than Dark Souls, but... It's the only one with any kids in it. You know, because everyone's... well, because everyone's alive. Since everyone's undead in Dark Souls, there's no... childbirth or anything. It's very sterile. When in Bloodborne, the entire deal is that everything is very, very alive. Well, actually, you know what? I... I forgot to put the right runes on. Right. Let's go switch those out. Yeah, we were doing pretty well up until... That Boom Hunter guy came up. Now that I know he's there, I'm just gonna let him deal with stuff and see if I can backstab him. That would be the simplest way to do it. Hmm. Then. There. There we go. Oh, wait, what? Let me just. Okay, there we are. All three moon runes. And the Nightmare Head suit is just right here. Let's go back. But, even though... In Elden Ring... Not many people are actually undead. It's really just the player character and a few others, which is another way it's kind of like Dark Souls 2. It's explicitly mentioned that nobody reproduces anymore. In the world of Elden Ring, that... Somehow, with the destruction of the Elden Ring, people just magically, not for, you know, real-world political reasons, but just for supernatural reasons, just lost all interest in reproduction. Which, it does make some sense that you would generally want to keep... kids out of a game that is inherently and unavoidably very bloody and very violent. Which is, it's why, for example, in base Skyrim, children are immortal. But, it does... Well, yeah, but that's unavoidable, sadly. The big thing is that with Bloodborne, for better or worse, and a lot of it comes from, probably comes from the Lovecraft inspiration. Okay, and where's that hunter? Gotta find him. A lot of the game's atmosphere and its horror comes from, frankly, inhuman reproduction. inhuman aspects. But the big thing is if we pay attention to you. 
What the beast? And a world. And kind of roll through this. There we go. Thank you. The other one should be coming soon, hopefully. There you are. No more gun for you. Okay, just let me see if I can. There we go. And visceral. Actually got taxed out. Falling hard. Okay. Love to see it. Okay. How are we gonna? Hmm. Come on, come on. Oh, just. Okay. Took a while for the lock on to focus on that guy. Honestly, I didn't need the lock on for this. Yeah, whatever. Some of you are afraid of me, some of you are not. Okay, what? Hmm. Might not be all that good to try to kill. That. Attack. Uh, have you ever heard of Dokapon Kingdom? I. I'm not sure you ever heard, but. I was talking about it with Larry the other day, and. It's basically. RPG. JRPG Mario Party. With. Incredibly long maximum game length. And incredible persistence throughout. It is. Often described. And now they even use it in marketing as the friendship destroying game. Because the ability to just screw some- fell through the floor. Screw people over, over a long time period, is nearly unmatched in a video game. It's the kind of thing you usually have to do in real life. Break that. Doug should be coming down now. Come on. Some Rottweilers. When are you going to come down so I can smack you up? Where are the where are the dogs? Okay. At least one of them, but okay. come on, come on, just smack. And there should be another over here. Can I just There we go! Hit you over the wall. I love this weapon so much. Let's just... What is this? Rifle. Okay, well, whatever. Two... Three... You are weak? I am slightly less weak. Okay. Also, a bit covered in blood. Fun. I really do like that graphical aspect. The fact that you can just get covered in blood. Okay, well, alright. Just a bit of that, and... He's coming down here. Hi there, hello. And just... Oh, goodness. I need to... Yeah, I need to find a way to go. Come on, just... And how are you gonna... Ah. Uh, one one Ooh, okay, well, alright. Hit! What?! Oh, goodness. Yeah, I guess it's different to watch someone cover themselves in blood compared to having it as a mark of pride for yourself. Okay, I can probably just parry him. I should just parry him. Yeah. Because, very clearly, I can't stagger him. Even with my own heavy attacks. Because the way poison in this game works is kind of interesting. It's kind of like Dark Souls 3 is going to be in that it's mostly on a weapon. Go ahead. Go ahead. Mostly based per weapon instead of your armor. Because there is no heavier armor in this game. It's just clothing with various slightly different resistances. But... Mm. Big thing is, if you're attacking with a heavy weapon, with certain attacks at least, you just can't get interrupted even by other heavy weapons. It's just pure super armor. Hmm. Okay. Hold on. Right. 
Wait, what? Okay. Oh, I didn't know that this is a heavy weapon. Okay. Interesting. It does make sense that this is just the heavy weapon version. Oh, come on. Come on. Dog! It is just the heavy weapon version. Threaded cane, but still. That was kind of embarrassing. Alright. Hmm. We did win. Ultimately. Hmm. Covered in blood, both my own and the beast. Oh, goodness. That is not how I wanted that to play out. Alright. Alright, man. Hmm. Gonna jump down here. You are not jumping down here. Okay. I really should just parry him. Okay, okay. Oh, what? Oh, that catch is so annoying. Hi. Come on. At least... The parry window is really good for that. If I'm willing to do it, if I'm willing to do it, I can manage. I just have to have the initiative. Which is easier said than done. Okay. Alright then. It's time for more of this. More of this. Where is Hammer Guy? Should be Oh, you're over there. Hi, hello. Oh goodness. Hi. Okay. Hmm. What? What? Okay. Go ahead, I guess. Hmm. Oh. What? What? Okay. Hmm. Okay, well. Two. Three. Well, it did kind of work in the end. Now just... Oh, come on. You beast hunter guy. Come on. Oh. Oh. Okay, there we go. Spamming bullets in. Now you're dead. And... Some vials. Now it's just time for these beasts. Okay, cool. That's his job. That worked well enough. Okay, so a simple jump attack will work. Okay. okay quote unquote, simple. But, okay, it's just one, two. Well, honestly, Holy Blade works better with this. I'm just to attach the idea of using the big boom hammer. Well, you know, be able to jump in and get a couple kills with good AoE. That is meaningful. Radiant Damp Blood Gem. You know, in the end, if nothing else, get a good amount of blood echoes from all of them. Okay. I wouldn't call it farming. But, you know, the difference between this and farming becomes increasingly small as time goes on and I keep on dying. Of course, if I lost all of it, if I lost the bloodstain, it wouldn't really matter anymore. Okay. Go ahead. Go away. Here we go, dog, dog, dog. And just... Let's see. Here we go. Through the barrier again. And just... Where are you? Pathfinding AI is nothing all that good. And just... Keep on... Hitting you from below. It's over, dog. I have the low ground. Okay, and just let's see. Dodge and one, two, three. That piercing rifle is cool. Its whole deal is it can pass through pretty much an unlimited amount of enemies in a straight line, but it's not good for pairing, so you just have to use it as a counter weapon, essentially. Hello there. Hi. Get my blood echoes back that way, and just stagger you. What? What? How did you manage to- okay. 
here. That is certainly something. Okay. Well, alright. What? Oh. Come on. Oh. At least you don't have any gun. Uh. There we go. That actually worked. Okay, so the jump attacks are preeminently variable. Guess that makes sense. Hi. Well, whatever. I can just. Ah, oh, oh, come on, come on. What? What? This is getting ridiculous. Uh huh. Uh huh. <sighs> No point denying it. Okay. What? Okay. okay. There we go, and we got all our health back. Thank you, Visceral. There we go. Okay. Nothing to do but keep on going. Just gotta kill those guys, and the Boomhammer ones are just. The Visceral didn't even get them one hit away from death. That was the craziest thing, honestly. Okay, now we can just go ahead and slam. Well, alright. Come on. Hit. And dead. Okay. Heavy damp bludgeon. The big thing is that I could, in theory, try running through to get to. Our blood stain or whoever's carrying our echoes faster, but that would also. Hmm. Raise the chance of fighting the dogs in a position I don't want to fight them in. Okay, so that actually worked. Weirdly enough. What? What? Okay, okay. Come on. Come on. There we go, okay. So if we find a way to describe we bait the jump attack, we'll be in decent enough shape. And what is that guy in my blood echoes? Well, whatever. I cannot pretend to be annoyed. Well, let's see. Come on, just... Not the right time. Well, hmm. Huh. When you're in your startup. Oh! When you're starting to swing. Okay. Ah. I'm really gonna keep on shooting me, huh? Ah. I'm losing it. Oh, you killed that one for us, so. Actually, you did. Just let me. See if you'll. Okay. Deal with some of the others. Nice that we could dodge right through that. Okay, well, alright. Come on, come on. It is some small comfort that the old hunters do drop a very nice amount of blood bars. Come on. There we go, and we got our echoes back. It would really suck if. Clipping through the floor would mean that we wouldn't get those back. As in, the enemy clipping through the floor would mean we wouldn't get those back. So, next level up would be Vitality. Okay. Not bad. Not bad. There we go. And just swing down. Hit. Boom! Good as always. I will say, I may have died a an embarrassing amount of times already, but it has given us more opportunities to use this funny hammer to explode beast. Not explode, but incinerate. It's the hammer that's exploding. It's making the beast 
catch fire. Luckily, they are really bad at navigating the stream. Luckily for us. That did not work. Where are you gonna... Get down a little closer. There we go. Yeah, but they cannot navigate this terrain at all. They're dumber than actual dogs. Significantly. And so, one, two... Oh! And we were so close that the bullet completely missed us. It's interesting. I think it actually spawned in behind us. That's interesting. Well, the thing is, if we... You drop down here, we can... I think we gotta come down. Is Scott even gonna come down here, or...? What? Time for respect. If we hit one of the beasts? I think that probably is what... And just... Yep, yeah, there we go. Okay, cool. Come on, come on. Yep, once that happens, that's when he shows up. Okay, well... How do I... Jump! There we go. Okay. So that is definitely how I'm gonna have to do this. Just stay as far away from him as possible and... Hope that he goes for double attacks. Yeah, that... It's basically free. Okay. There we, there we go. Okay, well, alright. Did... Take a bit of a risk there, but... You got him. Okay, cool. It is very interesting that he seems to only show up after you've killed one of these beasts. It's not like he's defending him. Maybe he's probably just preying on other hunters, but... Sort of... You're edging in on his prey. Oh, that's the one he drops a vermin. Aha, uh -huh, okay. Who demands impurity, rise within filth. Centipede like creature discovered in successful hunts by weak hunters, found hidden within filth, only seen by weak confederates. Who demands impurity, assume the task of finding crushing all vermin, some mercy in the madness. Wish to see vermin can and those who choose or to are provided with boundless purpose. Yeah, basically. But I need five of those in total to get a special hunter tool and progress a certain quest line. Let's see if that happens at all. Because I would need to co-op with other people to get Remaining two I need. Oh, that's where I get Beast Cutter. Oh, fun. Trick weapon, old hunter's thick iron cleaver. Through the toughest of beast hides, transform, splits into sections, lash it in the fashion of a heavy whip. Crude weapon, brute force, regrettably inelegant. Hunts of the earliest hunters made for horrific affairs. In insanguine blacks and reds. It would be black. I just want to... Let's check this out real quick. This is... Oh, wow, you can run straight for that, actually. Cool weapon. Let me just see. And that isn't chainable at all. It's a downward swing. Beast cutter. In this form, now it's a whip. They only do the happy effects. Or do they, or am I just... Okay. It's just a lot faster to use by the player, I think. I mean... Mmm, it's kind of a pseudo transformation. That is quite interesting. And that slam into the ground. Let me just... On the other transformation attack. It's kind of too late for me to be using this weapon. It's lived out its purpose and it scales pretty much entirely with strength. That said, that said, it is an undeniably cool weapon. Undeniably so. Go back through here and this is... I don't know where I was before. Oh, hi there, hello. Interesting. There you are. Oh, you're using Hunter Bird. Oh, goodness. Come on. Let's just try that out and. Oh, 
fun. Okay. Let's just plunge on you. And good enough. Cool. Yeah, but that Beast Center Scythe that they have, which is not a scythe, but a scythe. Is sort of an inverse saw cleaver saw spear in that it starts out extended, and when you transform it, it compacts. Which is it doesn't really make any meaningful difference one way or the other, and if it did, I would assume that it makes it worse. But its entire purpose and law, its entire existence essentially is just to demonstrate how the Sawcleaver and the Sawspear sort of originated in the universe. What it started out as and what it became. Oh, inquisitiveness. So down that way. So checking that lever is obvious, but that kind of implies to me like it might not be such a good idea to go down there immediately. We'll see. Either way, we finally actually cleared guys out, and this is just where we were originally, so nothing there. And oh, there would be the workshop, but that architecture is entirely collapsed. Well, there isn't really a dream equivalent of the workshop anyway, so... so this would just be straight drop down, but you know what? Why not? Let's be funny. Let's be a little silly with this. The old hunter trousers. Let me see. Old hunter trousers. Countless hunters from the beast in the early age. Boy, for the period, beast blood crept up the right leg, and this led to the double back of us. But instead, they just look like human hearts characters. Oh, goodness. Alright, well... Oh, what, am I... Don't tell me I'm just stunned. What was that clip? Excuse me? Alright. Oh, um, these crows seem a bit more vicious, honestly. Well, whatever. And... No meaningful business today. There we go, we can actually just open up this gate. That will give us a meaningful shortcut. Oh, whatever. I hardly know her. Okay. Pebble. Okay. Then. Oh, more beasts over this way. Is there a hunter here? Does not seem like it. Okay, cool. Hi. Three and one hit. Have mercy, Hunter. Don't think so. And we are gonna end up becoming blood drunk ourselves, probably. That. Uh, let me see. Is it? Yep. People collapse, turn to mush, onset of the scourge of beasts. Taken by the nightmare, Dester and wander, forget, wander forever, engaged in an endless hunt, a feat that no hunter can escape. Okay. That doesn't sound too bad to me. Just more fighting. So this, the only way to proceed is going to be up here then. Hello. And now, this is going down. I wonder where this will stop. Okay, it stopped here. Well, they're all gone now. That did a significant amount of work for us. Okay. There we go. And anything left over here? Well, there is whatever this is. It is, oh, Old Hunter Garb. Description of that is. And it's got good fire resistance, but that... Hmm. Hmm. One day the hunters disappeared, and Yarnamites began to whisper of the hunter's sin. Drunk with blood, chasing after beasts that would pass on to the nightmare every last one of Hmm. Okay. Then... Hmm. All I'm gonna say is... One of the greatest inaccuracies of... Lovecraft to me would have to be... Oh, there it is! Oh! Okay! Hello there! Giant Executioner? Interesting! Okay. Oh, come on! What on God's great earth is that thing? Oh, what? Alright. Let's see if I can 
If you jump at me, should be decent enough to parry, but this guy's... Uh, well, alright. How far are you gonna go? Either way, I can back up as far as I need to. Actually, you know what? Okay. How far are you gonna chase me? Oh, oh. Oh, oh, then shadows over Innsmouth. The whole deal is that, if you don't mind spoilers, do you mind spoilers for a very old story that I'm not sure you'll ever read? That's how close I can get. Can I get a visceral in you? Yeah, I can. Okay. And, oh my goodness. Okay, well, alright. And, well, oh. F1 spoilers. Oh, wow. It's very Dark Souls. What is that attack? Okay. Oh! Oh, wow! Use that aura in there to block me. That's interesting. Okay. But... The whole deal is that... The people of a Massachusetts fishing town ended up crossbreeding with these fish frog people called Deep Ones, who are the worshippers of this pseudo-Eastern, pseudo-Mesopotamian god named Dagon, in exchange for fish. And also, they did human sacrifices to appease these old gods. But the big thing is that... Oh, they are. They're really cool. But it's just... Dealing with these guys without being able to really use terrain. It was hard enough when they were in their base forms. But as I was saying, I think his error was assuming that nobody would be willing to do that by choice. Because there are a lot of... You know, they talked about how they were basically cajoled or tricked into marrying these fish people. And you know, I don't think Lovecraft could have anticipated the shape of water. That people would voluntarily say, oh yeah, fish man, that's what I'm into. Okay, there we go. Okay, well, it's dead now. That took more than I would have liked. Six blood vials, okay, okay. Yeah. I mean, I agree, but... What can I say? Movies are movies. Three Molotovs. Then... Okay, so we can pick up where of important beasts. Wasn't a beast per se. Then time for friends. Okay. Actually, if I kept them away from that, they could probably help me fight it. Amygdala's over there. Well, not amygdala's, more just squids. Big old cleric beast. I was thinking I could kind of hear... Oh, and yep! Looks like it twitched because we got close enough for the cloth physics to activate. And here we are! This is where we fought Micro Amelia the first time. Bro is burning. This is the corpse of an important individual. And the eye pendant. That will... Let's see. Eye pendant. Eye Pendant that unlocks the Surgery Altar. There are two cathedrals in the Hunter's Dream, one must pass to the River of Blood, and another contains the private research hall of the Healing Church. Only chosen members of the Healing Church or the Lamentable Patient can enter the research hall using this eye. Grant eyes to the Surgery Altar score. Okay. So we just gotta keep on going. Ah. All there is to do is to continue onward through the Hunter's Nightmare. And we got one of the coolest effects in the game already, which is that if you're sufficiently covered in blood, the Boom Hammer's flame will change from a standard orange to a brilliant blood red. Unfortunately, it doesn't change the attack appearance at all, but I like that filter. It's the kind of 
graphical error that just makes things look cooler in the end. Either way, if we keep on going, we are going to reach a place we were some time ago, which was sort of gun alley. What I wonder is, if I use the monocular, would I be able to actually shoot the guns? That's the question. Okay. There are a couple of gallons over there. Sort of. So that one goes through one over the other side. And then... Oh, okay. It is nice that we're taking significant less... What? Okay, never mind. You know, we didn't take that much damage the first time, but I guess if we're cornered like this... Hmm. Either way, I feel like trying a cannon or something to try to break the gun from a distance will make this significantly easier. Mm -hmm. Okay. Either way, we have the shortcut unlocked, so we can skip that. Skip all that garbage, mostly. Okay, and just... Peace cutter guy over here. I don't want to take him out so he doesn't get in our way too much. Hi! Dodge, and just... There we go. Okay. And wiggle this real. And just... One more hit. Dispatched. How's my mouse, Tenshi? How are you doing? Good to see you again. As you can see, we are in the Hunter's Nightmare. Which... Has been a pretty fitting name so far. I was here... Significantly earlier. In order to get the Boom Hammer, which... I've used for a beautiful portion of the game, actually. But, I'm coming back here now after three weeks, basically. But, how excited are you for the DLC for Elden Ring? Because one thing I'm wondering about is, we know definitely five, maybe six depending on how some interviews were translated of the new weapon types that Shadow the Earth Tree is going to introduce. Now, I have heard very good things about it, and most people have said that the version of the Moonlight Greatsword in Old Hunter's DLC is probably the best in any FromSoft game, which, from what I've seen of it, I think... Is probably somewhat true. It, it is quite interesting that the Demon Souls Moonlight Greatsword does not have any projectile at all. Okay, come on. Let me. Help me out, help me out here. Help me out here. Turn your back, turn your back. Maybe if I find you in the future. Uh, oh, well. I hate these executioners so much. Let me... Can we, can we do this? Oh, well, come on, just... Oh, uh, that didn't really work. Please, please. Oh. How do I want to deal with you? Oh. I don't... I don't even really need to fight this guy, but... Uh, but get more blood vials, because I have been running out. That isn't nothing. Hmm, how do I... If I can... Visceral, if I can parry those executioners... Okay, there we go. We have to be really, really... Really, really... Daring with that parry window. Can you come running? Hmm. Can I just... I know I can sneak up on you, but... The speed is... Giving a bit to be desired. Come on, come on. Ah! Oh. These guys are... Absolutely nightmarish. Ah, oh, just... Timing on that is... Unforgiving. It's just... These execution... The executioners in the base game are probably my least favorite enemy to deal with. And the fact that they show up in the Hunter's Nightmare in a stronger form is... The kind of thing I should have expected. To be frank. Well... 
miss the timing on that jump attack input. There we go, actually. And get that visceral. And just can we charge up that? Oh, well, what? What? Okay. You stayed invincible for longer than I would have expected. Okay, just... Uh, they're kind of a lot more souls-like in their parry window. In that you have to do it while they're already swinging their weapon. Which, you know, works as fine in a Souls game where you can actually... Well, hmm. Oh, God. Get some actual invincibility when you parry, but not in blood one What? What? Ah. When you parry... Yeah, you fire a projectile, their attack is gonna keep on going. Okay, boom. That was far more trouble than it needed to be, but we're still plus two on miles. Yeah, but the big thing is that, as you probably heard, Miyazaki did do some interviews about Shadow of the Ur Tree, and he specified, again, five, maybe six. The six might be a translation issue. It was mentioned in one interview, if I recall correctly, that I frankly should have looked more into, but the big thing is that we know we're getting dueling shields, reverse grip swords, as in Sword Zelda upside down, throwing weapons as a weapon type, a new kind of katana is in Odachi or something like that, maybe Nagamaki too, and then martial arts, and apparently one interview says that we're getting quote unquote a new kind of great sword. I'm just wondering, yeah, yeah. What the remaining two or three could be. Because the dream is honestly, the dream is definitely they add in guns. They find some way to add in guns from Bloodborne. I think that would definitely make Elden Ring even more of an old-timer. Okay, we can just shoot the guns. Okay. Just gotta get into the proper distance. This is so fun. Well, I didn't mean to do that. I'm a little, I'm a little, oh, it's bouncing off. Yeah, yeah, you can do that with Black Sky Eye too. Apparently it's one of the better ways to deal with, with the Rocky you encounter in Fishing Hamlet. With all the shark giants. Either way, there we go. No more of that. We are almost out of bullets though. That said, shouldn't be that bad. So we have a good amount of blood echoes that I would not like to lose. Okay. Well, that did make things significantly easier. If only I had done that the first time I went through this area to try to get the beast cover. Well, hindsight is, as they say, 2020. Yeah. It is nice that they gave it a reticle, too. Because in Dark Souls, you know, you can do similar stuff with the binoculars, but it takes some effort to figure out how to aim it. I did that to get rid of a lot of the... I went down to the fire pit in Forest and Fallen Giants when I did my Dark Souls 2 run, and I used a number of soul arrows to dispatch the salamanders, but it took a lot more effort than I might have liked because there was no reticle, and also just... Even if there had been a reticle... I don't think it was aim assist, but the soul arrows went down at a really, really weird angle. Okay, well, I guess I might need more bullets if this guy's gonna be here and I'm gonna have to jump at him. Oh, hello. Oh my goodness. What? What? Uh, the only way to really deal this guy any decently is carry him when he's doing a jump attack. I need to. Oh, actually, you're Cooper. Okay. Cool. There we go. I guess maybe it's because he wasn't blood drunk. Hopefully, we can get a lantern soon. That is my foremost hope. Oh, delayed Molotov! Fun. Okay, cool. Thank you, Powder Kegs. So that's why Boom Hammers are by. That makes sense. Then Molotov, but not delayed Molotovs. You don't drop the Molotovs you're actually using. So silly. Okay. There we go, and thank you. And what will this be? Okay, just twin shards. Oh, and, oh, more blood liquors, yay. 
Luckily, luckily, Holy Blade is really good for killing those things. Which did make me feel like an idiot in retrospect for not using it in Kanehurst. Especially because I did use it in Kanehurst at the very end when I was fighting Legarius. This is the only thing I could actually deal any kind of decent damage to him with. So through here is that one shadowy building. It's going decently well, I think. Shouldn't be all that much more, but we'll see. Either way, I don't want to die to the explosive barrels this time, so we'll be okay. Oh my goodness. Let's do dodge fast. Hi there, hello. So and down here is a drop down. Hmm. Let's just see real quick. Get some explosives over here. Hi, hello. Come on. But it really is just like that building in Central Yarnum. Okay. Did really good amount back though, so. Let's just. Monocular one more time and. Detonate all these explosives. What? Okay, there we go. Cool. So the first time I did that, I got the boom hammer and then exploded. Thank you. And there's nothing there now, so. This is where I got the boom hammer. So nostalgic at this point. So down here would be. How can I reach Maria back before? Oh, whatever. I feel like there's gotta be a lantern around here somewhere. I feel like the safest bet would probably be over here because this is where the lantern was in normal central Yarnum. These blood pellets, nothing really, and. What do you know? There's nothing there. Oh, a beast claw hunter. Oh, nice. Hi. What? Oh, my goodness. You are a lunatic? Oh, what? what? I didn't have enough time to shoot you. Okay. What? Oh, because I'm, because I'm out of bullets. I'm an imbecile. Okay, well, alright. Oh, my goodness. You are... Okay. Be interesting. I mean, I guess I could try using blood bullets, but come on, this. You are crazy fast. Okay, cool. Well, ugh. The good thing is, the weapon I've got gives me really, really good stagger in the legs, so as long as I can just keep getting in one quick hit. What is that ungodly noise? Oh my goodness, you are. Insane. Okay. Hmm. Let's hope that you drop a good amount of blood vials. Hmm. No bullets, a good amount of... Good amount of blood vials. Okay, well, the big thing is that... Uh, Boom Hammer would not do any extra damage on him because this... Hunter, even though he's actually transformed into a beast, does not count as a beast for the sake of affinity effects. Okay, cool. Well, alright. Good thing is, at least he's preeminently staggerable. Can we just... And... Almost, almost, almost. But Ferris, Ferris, I have a few questions. Number one, why are you staying still? Well, that was gonna last forever. Oh, one more hit, one more hit. And just... There we go, dead. And when he died, he untransformed. And was not wearing a shirt. Oh, fiery hammer badge. And that should mean Molotovs. Did you name yourself after Ferris from Dark Souls? Because the name is pretty similar. Also, also... Have you read Shadows over Innsmouth? Because I literally read Shadows over Innsmouth today. I mean, last night in order to prep for Fishing Hamlet. So now we got... Firing Hammer Badge, which would just give us delayed Molotovs, I believe. Oto Workshop, precursor of the workshop of our radical powder kegs. True of my singular ideas, crafted strange weapons of great intricacy. It's clear that the philosophy of the powder kegs was already established at this time. Oh, Black Bow Ferris. From Dark Souls 1 and the Forest Hunters. Oh, oh, okay. That's a cool name. 
let me just... And this is where Gilbert originally was. Treat friend with care. This is sad. So... Nothing. Inquisitiveness with care. Time for retreat. So actually, the only thing here would have been that... Beast Call Hunter. So if we want to continue onwards, we're going to need to find another route. Which I assume is just that big swamp with the Bloodleckers, but... Uh, this will be something for sure. So this is just something. What is this? Old Hunter Top Hat! You can be fancy now. I am not taking off. Not taking off the Crown of Illusions, though. And worked by bloodstains when the old hunters when hunters were ten a penny, part of their standard guard. Worked to buy bloodstains. Interesting. That slides us down. I actually haven't experienced a lot of that sliding in Bloodborne. Let's just see if we can. Ooh, these big guys. Hmm. When are you going to notice me? This is. Awesome. Big thing is, oh goodness! Hello. Can we just pushing through is not easy. Oh my goodness. Can we just Oh come on, come on. What? What? Okay. What? How do we two three Okay, well mmm mm, alright. That was close. It was close. And then a final jump attack will actually do it. Just want to see how much damage we can do if we can actually get the backstab. Come on. Come on. Either way, they're very weak to piercing. This is pure piercing, and also, all of our attacks are getting a big bonus because the Ludwig's Holy Blade is a righteous weapon. Let me see. Oh, but when you switch your weapon, it. Oh, I think the bullet stains are just gradually decreasing with time. Either way, either way. Eliminate one of these guys and see if we can. Okay. Can't be visceral, sadly, but. Okay, well, alright. If I can just stay out of your way, should be alright. How far are you gonna pursue me, and can I use the terrain to my advantage? Yeah, I can. Okay. That's good. These guys are really, really annoying. You would not believe how many times these guys killed me in Cadeverse. And to be fair, a lot of it was because I was trying to use Tonitris, which could not stagger them like this thing can. And they are weak to Bolt. They're a lot more weak to Piercing. Frankly, I kind of forgot I even had Holy Blade, which was regrettable for a number of reasons, as in had access to Holy Blade. So there's got to be something. Oh, Wandering Madness. Hello there. Let's just shoot you. Oh, but right, I don't have that yet. Die. 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 I don't have any bullets right now. So what's in here? Oh, two Bloodstone Chunks. Okay, I did really need that. So now I have enough to, as soon as we get Ludwig's Holy Blade, take it all the way to plus ten. Did take some insight to... Get a blood rock. So, oh goodness, that's certainly something. How long is your gallon gun gonna get going? Two, three. Okay. What? Okay. All right. One. What? Okay. Come on, just die already. Come on. What weapon are you using? Well, let's just. Well. Oh, what? Oh, come on. We need to go on here. How long is your gallon gun gonna keep going? Let's stab you out of that. And keep on going over that way. Oh. oh, you're stuck? You got stuck in the wall? What? Okay. Okay, alright then. So. Okay, but am I going to be able to get your drops? Let's see. And. Come on. Okay, so he drops the Gatling gun straight to inventory. So there's no way to lose out on it. It's good. That is quite good. And we don't have enough strength to carry this damn thing. Cool. Gatling gun. How a customized portable version of the stationary Gatling gun operated by the old hunter Jura and old Yarnum. 
but no choice of the youngest of Jura's three companions, so I assume that the two guys with the other Gatling guns up there might have been other Jura companions, maybe. Exceptional rapid firing functionality considered a cumbersome weapon due to its excessive weight and insatiable consumption of quicksilver bullets. Alright, well, nothing to do but keep going. Lots of corpses. What did I just. Is this the right way or not? I don't imagine this is really the right way, quote unquote. Lots and lots of corpses. Okay. Twin bloodstone shards. You are getting a lot of blood stuff here. Let's see if we can fist roll you. Yeah, that'll be a good idea. Okay, cool. This roll. This roll here, and a this roll there, and there you go. Hello there. Hmm. Come on. We got you. Just wanna see. I hope that one of these guys ends up dropping a few blood vials. It would allow me to. Oh goodness. We should just heal that off, actually. Eh, I could have rallied, but I was not aggressive enough. Hmm. Well, either way, going for a while, caution would not hurt at this point. And what is a mini-boss Bloodstorm piece? Oh, that's insane. Okay. Well, that... Oh, my goodness, you are quite... Resilient. Okay. Interesting. Ooh, ooh. And okay. We're actually not doing all that damage, which is good. Yeah, I was not expecting to fight Let's Start Beast here. And can you get through this area? You can. Okay, so if we found a way to use a choke point to block you off. That would clearly be the best way to handle you. But is... Oh, we can. Okay, okay. There's no way to stagger like that. What? Okay. Interesting. Come on, just... Stagger! That kind of work. Come on, come on. Oh, goodness. That's just out of the way, out of the way. Peace. You're not doing your crazy poison stuff, which is some small comfort. You're a lot slower, too. Well, this is new. Okay. And... Hmm. Didn't really sound like a visceral. Hmm. Okay. What? What? Oh, my goodness. That was almost death. So you need to be very, very... Cautious. All right, all right then. Here is more of you. I probably could have just used the flame square, honestly. Maybe. Your AI is actually pretty good for pathfinding. Hmm. Oh, all right. Come on, just grab, grab. Oh, well. All right. Come on, just. Oh. Cannot afford to get too greedy here. Okay, well, and just dodge, dodge. You know, I could use one of those cocktails, but uh, the timing on that is. Yeah. Well, this is actually probably a do that. Most people believe that the Blood Star Beast is female. And did it drop anything? Damn blood change gen. At least it drops stuff in bounds. Damn blood change gen. Blood gem master? Kinda. Damn blood change gen. Oh, probably because this is this is our highest rating one, I think. That would make Chico Gay really, really good. Oh, but we don't have loss, so I can't equip it on Chico Gay right now. I could have made a glyph to get a lost Shikage easy, but that's kind of cheesy. I could have actually gotten Shikage lost Shikage before normal Shikage that way. That would have been really cheesy. 
Twin Bloodstone Shards and the Onigdalen Arm. Aha! And that's another. Okay, so the difficult encounters reward you with unique weapons of the DLC. That's a split damage arcane weapon. It's just okay, though. Arm of a small Onigdala, great one. Stretch. Strictly speaking, the Amygdalan arm is no trick weapon of any sort, but certain madmen wield them like clubs. It starts as a large, tough, blunt weapon formed of blood, but when the stand of the hand quivers as if it were still alive. Oh, but it's not two-handed. It does. It makes a lot of the encounters more worth it than it otherwise would have been. And that's... Okay, bloodstone chunk right there. Let's go out in a slightly more lighted area and test this thing out a bit. Again, I am... Not going to be really using it, but may as well check out the moveset. Oh, wow. That is incredibly brutish. Very, very simple moveset. And then when... Let's transform it. Oh, and it does a big rip. Come on. Just like, well, it's not just like, but it's kind of like when it rips its own arms off for extra range at the end of the boss fight. This is kind of like an arcane version of the beast. Fight, somewhat. I want to see how long this combo goes for, because it could go to three and. I'm starting to look kind of blood drunk, actually. Cool. And. Okay, so it's a four hit combo, and go for that. Oh, that is an interesting attack. Can I? Let me get that from a side angle. It's kind of a down downward chop as opposed to a forward kind of double thrust. Okay, then if I. Transform, it just goes for a... Does it have any extra range? Or... It doesn't really seem like it. Yeah, because it contracts back. Okay, boom hammer's back on. By the way, that's all done. Nothing in there. I'm not gonna get in there anyway. Be funny if another crab casket burst out and just killed me. Like in Yahargul. It would suck, though. It would really, really suck. Okay. I'm just gonna sneak up... My very, very bloody sword and dispatch this big tick. Hi. And there we go, and one more. There we go. Enjoy that. Frenzied cold blood. How many chunks do we have? Oh, we. Yeah, we don't have enough to take. Holy blade up, sadly, but, you know, life is about choices. Let's just. stab another. And then we run away and let the others de aggro and rinse and repeat. Hello there. Hello. And your aggro range is actually not especially high. Makes me happy. Are we gonna drop down here or are you just gonna keep going through piercing rifle? Okay. Just gonna keep going through rifle. Okay. Cool. Oh, well. Alright then. I should probably take out the guys on the bridge first then. Makes sense. Let's just see. They're not going for me yet. Let's just see how I can. Well, interesting. Interesting. Oh, six bullets. Not bad. So just. Can I actually get you to come for me or. Come on. This thrust work? Nope. Hmm. Just wondering. Is there any kind of... If I want to be silly, I could... Let's see what Augur of a Baritus does here. If I actually... I can lock onto you. It doesn't take much to use. Okay. And no, it gets blocked too. Sad. And just... Who is gonna... Come out this way. 
Just arrival is all right, but um, let me just. Oh come on! Well, you're over here, and it's not horrible. Um, okay, that was. You're simple enough to deal with. Yeah. Side? What do you mean by side? As in try a side to get through, or the beast hunter side? Or were you asking? Were you talking about weapons you want to see out in the shadow of the earth tree? Because reapers are already a dedicated weapon type and standard Elden Ring, I believe. I mean, it would be nice to get more of them, but you already have a good amount of that. Oh, what? Okay. All right. What? What? Oh, my goodness. Oh, my god. Oh, my lord. Let me just... Are you down? Hmm. All right. Got you, kind of. At least you're down here now, which does make things a bit more manageable. Oh, you're throwing Molotovs. Come on, just die. Die. One, two. Dodge. Dodge. Okay. I actually went for the attack, but it's probably better in the long run. So actually falling off is probably ultimately to our benefit. Oh, I'm a Dolan. I'm a Dolan arm. Yeah, yeah, it... It is funny that the two sort of most scythe-like weapons in the game are one, an actual scythe, and two, the arm of a great one detached. It is... It's a very bloodborne thing to do. I think that's the best way to describe it. And just for another hit, maybe, or or go for a big pancaking plunge attack. Look, I'm Zhao. Okay. Well, I guess gunning too. Come on, come on. Yeah, guys, how how would Zhao play Bloodborne? What well, man? Yeah, they they just need to add a plunger, and we'll finally have the Zhao experience. And, there we go, and just dodge, oh uh, well, at least that bloodstream doesn't do all that much. Hmm. Come on, come on. Let me try to sneak up on you. Is there going to be any weapon here, or, let's see. By the way, this area is crazy big. It's crazy in general, too. Okay, just a warm banana blood gem. That isn't horrible, but, hmm. I guess this would be a slightly faster way to get through, maybe. There's also, oh, down this way, and... Hmm. I am running out of vials, so... If you're insect, okay. Might be good to... Uh, try to get back to the dream soon. Is that a wandering madness, or... Let's see. Doesn't really look like it. Either way, we got our big... Tick popper. Maybe. I feel like, honestly, he, he, he's the most Garman like in the sense that all of Zhao's friends died and now Zhao is just fighting alone. That said, Zhao isn't crippled. He isn't stuck in a wheelchair, so I guess that isn't exactly the best analogy, but to be fair, Garman's situation is, is a little more complicated than that anyway, so... I am happy that... Well, well... Maybe not by choice. I do like how... Arlequino... Arlequino's entire character is a reference to a number of Souls things, which I really like. The big thing is that... Her design documents got leaked... a while ago. And one of her big design inspirations was a boss who we're actually going to fight today. Well, technically also the doll by extension, because the doll is ba also based off of Lady Maria. But Lady Maria from this DLC was one of the design inspirations for Constable's Trousers. Old Hunter Trousers, Constable's Trousers. Oh, I think that would be... that would be Volter. For when constables chased the beasts all the way to Yarnum, this is what they wore. Became victims of the beasts, except for one survivor. Turned devoured the creature whole isle by himself. Favorite among Yarnumites, partial any stories of pompous, intolerant foreigners who suffer for their ignorance. Makes the blood taste all that much sweeter. 
Well. Four corpses over here, and what is over this way? But the big Arlecchino... Well, Lady Maria does not use a scythe. She is a dual wielder. Wields a couple of swords, but... Sister Frida, who is a somewhat similar character, who is also a dual wielder, but dual wield scythes in Dark Souls 3, is... She wasn't sighted, but a lot of people would say that she's probably a more direct inspiration. What? What? Okay. Alright. Not expecting the job to be that brutal. Okay. Well, whatever. Hmm. Dogs over here. More stuff over the other way. Give us, please, give us bloodstone shards. Okay, and boom, boom. There we go. Okay. I mean, give us, give us blood bones. These seem like cold blood flowers. Probably are. Let's just see where we can hopefully get a checkpoint. Hmm. Something back here. I don't see any messages, so I don't imagine it'll be all that dangerous. Okay. Frenzy Cold Blood. Hmm. This is getting very, very troublesome and dangerous. Hope there's a way back soon. Very in crow right here, and another hunter. Hi. Let's see if we can. Oh, the corpses are moving, but it doesn't really mean anything. Okay. Hi. Hello. Oh goodness. Let's just see if we can carry you. Oh well, not to be... Use the wrong weapon. Okay. Let's just keep on. Ah. Oh, oh. Come on. I really messed that up. Come on, come on. Okay, we are running out of bullets now. Ah, ah. Come on. There we go. We finally got that window. And he's dead now. I hope there is some kind of... Well, that should hopefully be at least a vial. There we go, and let's... I will say, I feel like severely reducing your rally potential was not something they had to do to the boom hammer. It's not... And just a ball gem. Just my luck. It's not a crazy weapon anyway. I feel like maybe they wanted to balance the fact that it was the only... Well, they definitely wanted to balance the fact that it was the only weapon in the game with... Can't open that. Fire damage at base. Oh, what? Okay. But it just... The fact that you can't really use it for rallying all that effectively feels like overkill. Like a nerf the weapon did not need. Okay, well... We may be overextending ourselves. Alright then, and what, if anything, is back here? One blood vial and... Oh, a drop down over there. So how are we getting here? Mm -hmm. Well, all there really is to do is keep going. Oh, more crumbs. Oh, so this is just the equivalent of the sewer in Central Yard. Oh, okay. All the carrying crew is dropping down. Alright then. Let's just see. There's a ladder up here, so yeah, this is definitely the equivalent of that pit. This is the over on the other side of where we previously were. How do I get... Oh, it probably links around this way. Yeah, all of these moving corpses are... Well, one of those other moving corpse enemies, it probably seems. I guess if we go back through this way, we can... Move back around, it might be... It's almost certainly gonna... Overextend us a little, but, you know, what is courage without a dash of recklessness? To quote a big friendly old guy. This time there is... Is that the way back to Dream Odin Chapel? Run. Wait. Wait. Uh-oh. In that case... 
Maybe I'll look more around this way. Well, this is... Oh, there's gotta be... Is that where... That might be where Ludwig is. Constable's gloves. That could be anything different. And... Okay. Same description as before. So I guess the only way through is going to be... Enduring whatever this is. Okay. It's just... I see somebody down there, I think. Somebody. It's just... Oh, is that Simon? It's your foe, or... Wait. Treat Hunter with care. Now that's... Yeah, it's Simon! Hello! He's got his bow blade. His with faith will be spared. You're a hunter with your sanity, aren't you? Must have taken a wrong turn, then, eh? It's how suave. Well, we're more alike than you think. Okay. This is the hunter's nightmare. Where hunters end up when drunk with blood. So bloody, even my crown Easy. has been stained. Aimless, wandering hunters slavering beasts. That's me. This is what the poor fools have to look forward to. So Exciting. Don't be brash. Turn back before it's too late. No, I crave violence. Unless you've something of an interest in nightmares. Exactly. Nightmares are fascinating. Oh yes, I see. You sense a secret within the nightmare and cannot bear to leave it be. Oh really? I just want a good fight. As if the spirit of Bergenwerk lives on within you. Such what a crazed madman? relish the nightmare. Corpse is what Beware. better left well alone. Secrets are secrets for a reason. And some do not wish to see them uncovered. Makes sense. Especially when the secrets are particularly unseemly. Something embarrassing. Okay. Criterion of embarrassment. Let's talk again, Beware. Mr. Simon. Secrets are secrets for a reason. Some do not and wish to be discovered. Especially when... Particularly unseemly. Anything else, sir? Beware. Respect. If I wanted to, I could kill him right now for his weapon. Don't particularly want to, though. Alright then. On with it. And what passed? Oh, this is the way back to Dream Odin Chapel. Aha! So there's gonna be another there's gonna be another way to get over there then. Either way, we have our shortcut now. It's pretty nice. Yeah, exactly. I am a I am a blood crazed fiend. The only thing that interests me is unending battle. Let me just see where I can go on. I not down here. Oh, I'm I'm stupid. I literally avoided that ladder earlier. Okay, so we'll just go up the ladder now. And that should lead back to something of note. I think I should like to clear out all the items now, even though... Actually, could I... Could at least probably upgrade... I could take Boom Hammer to plus 8. Which would be good, because Ludwig is weak to fire. So, I'll just keep on climbing. I don't think there's going to be any other kind of shortcut here, but... Pretty soon we'll be fighting what a lot of people consider to be... The best boss in the game. At least maybe the coolest. So you have that to look forward to. How do I want to... There's gotta be a way down there, right? Drop down. If I hit that, oh, nothing happens. Okay. Drop down here. There we go. Okay. Let's just proceed over this little wooden beam. Then can we go out over there? It does not... Seem like anything of note to happen to become available. Let's just see. This is... Oh, Constable's Garb. Again, it's... Vulture set. Hmm. I will say it again. I've made this joke before. It is immensely funny to me that the existence of Father Gascoigne and his garb that explicitly says that it's the ranks of clerics from a foreign land that there's some equivalent to quote-unquote actual Christianity in the Bloodborne universe, which would make sense as a way, as probably the source of 
the aesthetics of the healing church and that the healing church just went really, really, really crazy and decided, you know what, let's worship Cthulhu instead. You know, it's just... You know, it's sort of like, imagine if that's, that's what the Protestant Reformation was like in the real world. They were just, you know what, we've gotten tired of this boring religion. Let's worship... let's worship a giant squid. But, what is funny is that, and I just realized that, that is basically what happened in Shadows Over In- Shadows Over Innsmouth. Oh, come on. You are... intimidating. Okay, well, alright. Oh, what? What? Oh my goodness, you are... incredibly... intimidating. Let me get a... Uh, I can get a... Parry on you. Let's see. Run in, run in. This guy's gonna drop some vermin too. There we go. Okay, cool. And significant damage, nothing crazy, but this is good. And well, all right. Oh my goodness. That's just what? Oh well, all right. Well, you know, at least, at least we have our shortcut now. And when I respawn, I should have a good amount more vials. And frankly, more importantly, more bullets. That guy is absolute lunatic. Okay. Well, yeah, here we are. We have our side entrance, side exit, which was originally would have been to the hunter's workshop. I mean, the healing church workshop. But now that isn't exactly the case, so to speak. Okay. Let's just go down here, and, well, you're right here. Can we just... Let's go for some viscerals. Let's keep things nice and easy. So how far are you gonna get... ...to me? Hi there, hello. And just... Boy, those big dicks. Probably. Hello there. Hi. Oh, oh, alright. Let's just hit. Well, uh, uh, what? Come on. Just eliminate you. I guess we'll end up using a blood vial for this. So. Hmm, hmm. They are. It's the only way to just sneak past them. Should hope so. Oh, well. Okay. If I am slow and cautious. Oh, bullets. Alright. Let's just see if... Frankly, running is probably the best way to deal with them. Yeah, definitely. Goodbye. Oh, one over... Okay, I did not know there was one of you over here. Whatever. Not my problem. I don't need to deal with you right now. And, oh, dog! Hi. Well, alright. Let's just swing, and another, another, okay. This is terrain to my advantage, and there you are, okay. Just swing, swing, there we go. Good hammer, good anti-piece damage. I believe there should be one more dog, and then there are the hunters over there on the other side. But I'll just get them with a plunging attack, probably. And we're over that way, hello. Hmm. Let's just see if we can advance. You put your gun up for Okay, this roll. This roll. And just one more hit. Hi, hi. There we go. Okay, and just ooh, ooh, ooh. hit. There we go. This roll that. I mean, now we have that. But I will say, one of the worst parts about that death is it means I lost. My funny blood. I like it. I like being covered in blood. I really was born of the blood. And you got so many pebbles now that I can't actually pick up anymore. I was wondering when we would fill up our inventory with pebbles. Oh, definitely. What can I say? What can I say? I... 
I live for the thrill of the fight. There's nothing more to it. And he should drop down now. Probably has our... Yep, he does have our blood stain. And... Well, alright. Okay. Whoa. You don't have any... Any gun, actually. Okay. There we go. You're actually... Decently easy. Visceral and parry. Run and get close and... Well, okay. Come on, come on. Just let me... Pull that off. And just... There we go, and... Hmm. Well, alright. I mean... Uh, 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 what? 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 Huh? Huh? Okay. Hmm. Never mind. Getting close. Come hit me. As soon as I say this is easy, he gets all silly. Oh, what? Okay. Come on, come on. And just... What? Ugh, uh. This is... ludicrous. Ugh. At least my gun damage is actually pretty good. There we go. Oh, but what? What? what uh, well, all right. Missed that opportunity. Frankly, frankly, let's just get in close. I'll dodge around you and then just finish you with hits with the sword. Well, all right, and die. Okay. You know, if it worked, it worked. I am not going to complain about results. Two blood vials, no vermin? Huh? Do we have? No, we do have impurity on us. That's weird. Hmm. Oh, and there. And we got his weapon now. Be center scythe. That is not a scythe, but a scythe. Second blade inside the curve of the main one. Initial form. We'll be like a long curved sword. Transform. Blade is contracted. Quick repeated stabs. Well, this trick weapon allows for adaptive combat. Later replaced by saws and similar weapons that were more effective at disposing of beasts. And even though it says Beast Hunter, it doesn't have any Beast modifier, and it's not serrated. Very, very silly weapon. And see, that's untransformed form. It's, wait, do we get vermin? Oh, okay, so it just dropped, dropped multiple things, but separately. This is... It's actually a bit like Wet Nurse's Sword. I want to see how this... Oh, wait, it's actually good? Is it... Is it because of the long hitbox, or... What about it, specifically? Either way, I'm glad to hear that the thing's actually good. It is very cool looking. And I... I really do appreciate... Among other things... Among other things, the... The lore role that's played... By having it be sort of a reverse... Pre predecessor of... The Saw Cleaver and Saw Spear. It is the sign of a dev team that cares about their war. Oh, that... Does that have something to do with that dash and attack? Because the mobility on that is quite cool. So what thrusts? Interesting. Not much of a point for a thrust weapon. Goes for a smash. Okay, okay. Yeah, that... That's really, really good speed, yeah. Okay, okay. I understand. I think I understand now. Thanks for the tip. That said, we've got maybe in the Defiled Chalices, though I'm not sure. I've already gotten through Nightmare of Mensis and Nightmare Frontier, so I don't think... Big ol' plunge. I don't think we're gonna be running into any PvP situations, unless I actively look for them at this point. But that is nice to know for the future. Possibly. One day, one day, they'll put out Bloodborne 2, they'll bring back Beast Hunter Scythe, and I'll use it for PvP. That is my promise to you. Maybe. Anything up here? I can't get up there. Okay. And then, more sewer area. I guess this is kind of around Tomb of Odin, maybe. Just let me see. It's gotta be another way to- ANOTHER ONE OF THOSE IMBECILES! You have got to be kidding me. Did he- Do they see me? Somebody is shooting something from a cannon. Oh, it's- That guy has a cannon! Oh, wow! 
with its homing... A homing cannon? What on God's green earth? Okay. Madman's knowledge, can I go around or... Oh, I am... I am in bad shape. Oh, goodness. This is gonna be... something. Oh, my goodness. That just didn't work. Okay. Weird. What? Alright. Alright, then. Have it your way, I guess. Make like Burger King. Hmm. So, I guess... How could I fight that guy? Honestly, I feel like... Just switching to... Switching to sword mode. And then just completely abandoning any idea of... Getting him down quickly. Actually, let me see. Is Executioners... Bloodborne Executioners... Executioner... Wait, wait, wait. Executioner Enemy... Bloodborne Wiki... Battle Stance... Oh, they're crazy weak to Bolt and Bludgeoning. They are... Devoted Tonitra Spotter. This could not be better news for me. Okay, then. Okay, then. We may be in business. Yeah, we're probably in business. Okay. Either way, we just go through. We don't have to go around too much now. Let's call up that ladder after... Dispatching this guy. Out of my way. Okay. Don't need that visceral, do I? No, not really. Uh, how do I want to do this? Okay, die, die. Well, we got hit by that. Oh my goodness, what? What? Oh, please. Yeah, that... That's not good. Well, you know, I could just try to weave, but eh, nah. I am... Load times are too long for me to do something like that. Bloodborne was on PC. If we're on PC natively, maybe I'd do that. I'd probably do that, actually. But it's not, so I'm not gonna do that. I think, well, we can just run past you and... Do with the dogs. Hi there! Hello! Oh, oh, okay, alright. Let's set up. Come on! Come on, dogs! And just hit, hit. Go! One more dog. Out of my way. As you can probably tell... Why is everything getting stuck? I'm not complaining, but... It's weird. But I've got... All three moon runes equipped in the interest of getting as high level as possible. It is maybe a little cheesy, but you know, doing a build like this requires a bit, a bit of cheese. Just there we go. Okay, and then visceral. Nice, nice. Take advantage of those iframes and just what? Well, all right. Hit. There we go. We got you. And let's just charge that hammer blow. Boom. Boom. Big hits. Big hits as always. Oh, this thing's so much. Even if it might not be the best weapon in the world. Okay. Is that over there, so I'm going to need to come back. Either way, we... Oh, and I can't, can't change on the ladders? Interesting. Let's just take out that Tonitrus and start smacking up one of those darn executioners. Luckily, my blood scene is there. If it was on one of those guys, that would significantly increase the pressure. Either way, go around. Let's just see if we can... What? Okay. Eliminate one of those... What? What? Oh, that tracking is insane. Okay. Roll. Alright, and just... What? Okay. Oh my goodness! Oh wow. Okay. Interesting. That's new. Let's just... See what we can 
Dodge, dodge, what? Huh? Let's dodge and just hit. Can we... Oh, just... oh, okay, well, don't need that grab. And just let me... Let me get up. Dodge. Oh, come on. Uh, oh, oh. Well, we can rally a good amount back. Okay. Now we know how to deal with them. Eight Quicksilver Bullets. Okay, if I'm smart, if I'm smart, which to be fair, I'm not. Could sneak up behind him, because he's not moving at all. Use... Fully charged strong attack, go for the backstab, and then... What? Well, that range was not what I expected. As in, a lot worse than I expected. It's just, I don't want to... Dodge, and... One, dodge! One, two... Oh, okay, cool. That's, honestly, a Sekiro kind of attack. Okay, come on. Alright, there we go. One, two, three... Why are you so... Oh, I could have gone for a visceral. I could have gone for a visceral. Alright, dodge, dodge, and... Okay. One, two, three, four, five... Goodbye! We got a good deal more blood vials now, and let's just... Is this... Which way back is this? It is what it is, yeah. Okay, so... Let's see. Let's see. Future set. Let's check that out real quick, and... Uh, Butcher Guard, Madaris Twins, Forbidden Woods, Older Other Two, because yeah, Vulture and the Madaris Twins were both added in DLC. Twins became hunters, brought that dissected beast prey, support their villagers in their forbidden research. Hmm. Drew mask. Silent kinship with a poisonous snake, learned human ways and became hunters. Discovered vermin even in their beloved snake. The younger brother is said to have murdered the older. So they would have been in opposition to the League then. Okay. This is a younger Madaris twin, because we are a confederate right now. If we weren't a confederate, we would not be able to summon that. Okay. Let's just see how far back we can go through this funny blood swarm. And when we roll through, do we get covered in more blood? Doesn't really seem like it. That is a bit of a disappointment, but it does mean that if there's blood on you, it is only because you're slaughtered beasts. It is a surefire sign of victory. Oh, and here we are. This is... Wooden Chapel, basically. Well, the side area of Wooden Chapel. Keep on looking, and can we go through this? I think so. There's somebody. Oh, it's just one of those corpses. Okay. Hmm. And just six blood vials. Nice. What more is there for me to find in here? Over that way was. That wedge with something on it, so I assume we'll need to... Oh, and... What is this guy? Is this... Oh, it's... One of those grave hags. Okay. How much damage a fully charged... Attack is gonna deal. Oh, whatever. Don't scoop out my eyeballs, please. I can't get a pebble. Okay. Anything down here? Okay, let's put the hammer back on. Okay. And... Thank you. Boom. There we go. Yeah. So just in this over here is... Oh, I can summon Master Vulture too. Oh, but I can't do that because I don't have any insight. That's why it's going out. That's why I need anything from you or... Five blood vials. All thanks to the dead. Yeah, basically. Just wonder... 
So I guess the moving ones might be hittable. Let's just go back through and see what I can hit, maybe. Maybe. Let's look through here and see if there's anything this way. No pebble. Okay. Storage or inventory maximum. So what is through here? What is through here? Can't get that. Down here is... is this? This has got a... No, this isn't where Ludwig is, right? I don't think. I think it is. Yeah, that's the underground corpse pile. You know what? You know what? We can go straight for that. Once we... pick up the stuff here in the chapel. Yeah, let's actually... Let's be a little daring, maybe. At least, at least see if there's any other shortcut I can unlock first. There's nothing down here. Oh, no, it's just... A lantern is here. That's good. Right across from what I presume to be Ludwig. Let's just... Try to get rid of this guy. Hi. And, oh, goodness. It's actually not much at all. Okay, well... Shoot. And... Hit. Are you gonna drop? Two bloodstone chunks. Ballin'. Then... Henriette. Yeah. Don't need that. So what is across this way? It's not gonna fall, is it? No. Okay. Twin bloodstone chunks. And what? Who is... Hello? That's new. Oh, goodness. Not a close. I'm gonna drop down here. Let's see. Either way, we can get back up somewhere, so I'm not too worried. Come on. Come on. Oh! You finally got down here! Thank you. Oh, but you're not fighting the crows. Okay. Interesting. Just, what? Okay. Okay. Either way, we have the lantern now. It should be our last vermin bearing hunter. It'll be all right in the end. It'll be all right in the end. Yeah. Hmm. In the end, ultimately, she's stressed out for various reasons, and I should be more understanding. But it's still not pleasant to deal with, one way or the other, for anyone involved. So I'm just gonna go back through, try not to die. Yeah, but at the very same time, it's my responsibility as the older one. I would like to say. So you're just using the cleaver form. Okay, are you gonna use your? There we go. Okay. It's got that big door aura on it. Yeah. Well. Maybe yes, maybe yes, maybe no. It's... Like with a lot of things, it's complicated. Okay, and oh, that did not do all that much damage. Hmm. So let's just go really this way. Okay. And the big thing is, one way or another, soon it will be a moot point, and it won't be a concern one way or the other. Let's get the vermin. I suppose. And then... At the very same time, though... I... I don't want to be the bad guy, you know? And what's... Oh, snail woman. Hi there. Drop down from the sky. Oh, but actually, you're dead already. So those ones come from the fishing hamlet. Oh, we're like Exaw! Okay. This is a cool weapon with an analog and Elden Ring, actually. Workshop Heretics, Powder Kegs, Weapon of Choice, the Old Hunter Volunteer, the Beast Eater, Weapon Pummels Beast, its Mace from True Strength, Attached Mechanical Saws. That is true. That was an interesting incident. 
Dislodge with serrated teeth, shrub to spin rapidly, threshing the flesh of beasts into fine shreds. Let's just check that out real quick. See how this works. And yeah, it's nothing special this form. And that attack just repeats. Big swing, so, and then we just put it on our back, and there we go. Take it off. Let's just run that transformation attack. Big swing, and. And take it off, and. Oh, you just swing the saw blade itself. That's really, really cool. Swing, swing. How long is this combo? One, two, three. And a slam. Thrust and slam, and the. Big swing. Okay, that's just entirely repeated. Big long or two. This is. I think if you hold this. Yeah, if you hold it, it's hold the style. It's saying. Okay. That is. We that counts as serrated? By the way, there should be a few more. Corpses moving about now. Maybe. I just want to see if I can get one of these guys. Doesn't seem like it. Okay. Cool. So is that guy gonna come over this way or either way we we'll just go back go back to Hunter's Dream, do a quick bit of leveling up, and there will there, there we go. We'll be in good shape after that. We'll get through probably beat up the guys with the tonishers again real quick, but that guy did not notice me, so we will just ignore him. Yeah, okay. Epic Tonitrus moment. This weapon is legitimately a lot of fun. Incredibly fun. Okay. So we're just gonna get out of the way of... How does that boom in? It's insane. Okay. Actually, you know what? We're just gonna we're gonna go back to remoting chapel. I don't need to do like that. I really don't. Cool. This is... I wonder what this lantern is going to be named. Mm. But I guess, like I said before, I'm just wondering what kind of weapon types they're going to add in with the... Elder Ring DLC, because adding in new weapons, Old Hunters added in a lot of new weapons and weird kinds of new weapons too, like World of Ixal, Boom Hammer, and such and such. But they didn't add in new weapon types. To be fair, you know, in Bloodborne, every weapon is more or less its own type. I guess maybe you could separate into heavy weapons, guns, and light weapons that don't occupy both hands when transformed, but. Mm. Could use that, but no. We can use that, and that will take it to meaningfully higher. Okay. Right now, this... Let's see what blood gems I want to take on this thing. Let's actually take everything off. And just see... Conatris has decent gems. We don't really need it right now. Let's take the gems off of everything. Off of absolutely everything. And then... Okay, just see... What we'll get... Okay, beast up would be... Oh, but Ludwig is not a beast in both forms. That's the thing. Let's go attack up pretty significantly. Attack up versus kin down. It's not bad. So we're not going to be fighting kin at least right now, and especially not with this weapon. Maybe when we fight Amygdala much later, it could be good, but we'll see. So let's see if anything can take it up higher. I feel like you know, that is by far, far the best. And we'll just check this. Right, let's go attack up. Attack down, but it's drop up too. 
but mm, durability down. Tech versus no, no, no. I guess that could get troublesome very, very quickly, though. Let's we'll see how much. This is good. That's good. How much? Let's see. And fire attack up. Hmm. Gold, but and durability down. Also, 50. One of those on it, it would. Strength scaling physical attack, 242. Oh, our first nourishing gem. If this, that's good. That is really good. That would give a little bit more there, but take a good amount of the fire out. We don't want that. This is what we'll take for now. Okay. This is what I'm going to use to take on Ludwig. Alright. Then we'll just do a bit of repairing. And of course, Tonitris is in a sorry state, as it always is. Just want to see what we could put on the Evelyn. Take that out. Split gem and see. 89, well, physical attack. 93, but it doesn't actually consume any kind of durability, I don't imagine. Either way, that's good. Got a hammer we need. And go beat up a Ludwig. Cool. Let's just chain some blood echoes and a bit of vitality, a bit of endurance, and a bit of strength. Not insane, but good. Okay. It's time to go back to whatever that one lantern was and take on Mr. Ludwig. Hunter's Nightmare, Nightmare Church. Okay. It is interesting how... There's a lantern in the Old Yarnum Church in the Nightmare version, specifically. So it does seem to me like Fishing Hamlet will probably end up being tomorrow. Which isn't too surprising, but... You know what? I'm gonna fold this cushion up. Won't hurt. Well, I, eh. I actually bought a real cushion for the chair, but it's a little big and a little thin. I'll just push it back. One of these days, I will buy an actual chair. One of these days. Probably when I got a better desk, too, but yeah, whatever. By the way, the underground, the underground corpse pile is back past here. It'll be time. Yeah, exactly. What should I do? Set up a throne? No, no, no. It'll be my first dividend. Okay, there we are. in his mouth and a mouth in his eyes. Oh, and he's got, you can see a sword stuck in his back. Wonder why. There he is. That eye mouth is a separate one. There you go. Somebody's chuckling. He was probably just luring us in here, wasn't he? Hi! Oh, goodness. We just hit. There we go. Oh, ooh, goodness. You are crazy. Wow. Okay. I will say, the music in this boss fight may be the best music in the game. The Latin in the lyrics is corrupted. Yeah, I died too fast for the actual melody to start. He... he's tough. 
Maybe if I wanted to be really funny, I could just... Well, actually, I was going to say maybe I could just go to the Chalice Dungeons and do them a bunch. But one of the reasons I'm doing the DLC is so I can try to get Holy Moonlight Sword for the Chalice Dungeons. Because it's decent against a good number of the enemies in there. And to do that, I need to beat Ludwig. So we'll have some fun here. Let's do this thing. Hi. Oh, what? Okay. Dodge. Dang it. I will say... It may have been a better idea to... Use a faster weapon. Or, or, or... Given that I can only really get in one hit on him to begin with, just go for light attacks, but stick with Boomhammer. Just because I've got a good amount of damage on this thing. It's got very good AR. A good amount of it is fire. But it... Mm, we'll see. It would be funny to actually use... Ludwig's Holy Void against Ludwig. Now that's the thing, is that as fun as it is, and as rewarding as it often is to use heavier weapons in Bloodborne, a very fast-paced game, it isn't always wise. Dodge and... Oh, alright. That's not up. So he did a different jump attack. Funny he's defeating Arlecchino with Arlecchino. Maybe. But frankly, Ludwig's Holy Boy just deals pure physical damage, which is... It's not always the best thing for the situation, but it's never going to be bad. You deal standard and piercing. Sometimes bludgeoning sucks, but it's very, very rare that piercing is bad. There's some enemies that have a bludgeoning weakness, but they're not all that common. Because in Bloodborne, barely anything has real armor. But... Hmm. Yes... Hmm. We'll see. By the way... I'm gonna learn his attacks, I'm gonna fight him, and... I'm gonna jump! That was fast. Dodge! He did not time to dodge. Wow. Alright then. You know, if I really wanted to, maybe something I could do is use oil urns. Toss an oil urn at him and then just hit with a big attack. Honestly, the fact that I haven't been using oil urns at all is kind of silly given how much I've been using the boom hammer. Because oil urns double the damage of the next fire hit. And that might be good. Big thing though is that the fire AR in this is not a crazy amount of all of its damage. It would be... I don't know. I might actually want to switch back to Holy Blade and put other gems on it. We'll see. Big thing is, is that I don't have entirely the kind of gems I'd want to use for this weapon. You really want to use nourishing gems, but... Okay, the timing on that was... tough. How did... That was a weirdly buffered input. I will say at least... We did get progress. We actually managed to hit him. We dodged the attack and actually managed to hit him. He is incredibly fast, though. Yeah, so I actually... I saw my cousin around this time last week for Easter. He's also a big Dark Souls guy. He showed up, actually, and said hi when I was fighting Calamy when I was playing Dark Souls 1. But he did tell me that... I think he told me that Ludwig was probably his favorite boss fight in the game. And in his opinion, probably the best music theme. He might have said the Orphan of Cost, which is going to be the final boss of the DLC, which I don't think I'll end up reaching today. Might have been better for him, but I don't precisely remember. The 
stop. Oh, I want that blood stain. Come on, just. Oh, but I could have. Oh, if I get under him. Can I get under him? Let's see. Let's see if I can. Oh, well, no. Alright. Here's my answer. Well. Okay. So dodging that attack. I should basically wait half a second and then roll. So I dodge immediately, it's too early, but I was waiting too long. That is the downside of being a wiki reader. You think you know what you're doing, and then you don't. The big thing is that... People do a lot of cut content and data mining and hacking to look at the games, and Ferris, you probably know about Zoli, I assume. But Zoli did a video showing off just showing the entire room during that jump attack, because there's been a long and persistent myth that during that attack he briefly crawls on the ceiling, and suffice it to say that that just doesn't happen. Oh, I didn't get that bad. Oh, okay. Cool. Let's just dodge. What? Oh, okay. Come on, just... Okay. And just... We're gonna dodge. There we go, we actually did it. Nice, and head, head hit. Come on. We can hit the head, we can hopefully get a visceral. Oh, what? Okay, can we... Hit? Well, we hit. Hmm. But it didn't actually detonate. That's the weird thing. Come on, just hit. There we, there we go. Yo, honestly, if I could turn the music up a little, that might be good. Is that... The music in this fight is really, really good. It's got a really cool face transition tool. But I can't aim for the head. Not specifically, it seems. Oh, alright. Oh, goodness. Yep. Okay. And hit. Or not. Okay. Can we jump? Or what? Dodge. There we go. And hit. We are in. Oh. Oh. Come on, just. Go for okay, spin attack or not? Oh, okay. Thank you, epic worst moment. And no, okay. Hmm. hmm. Honestly, I should try to get behind him. If I could get behind him, maybe I could go for more charge attacks. Big thing is, is that. Heart damage, if possible, would help a lot. Because if I recall correctly, it is technically possible to break his head. It's not easy. You want to go for his sides, if I recall correctly. I think you go for his right side, which I think would be our left. Mm -hmm. Either way, we got about a fourth to a third, so maybe something like... Seven twenty-four to the zelt down. Something like that. Oh, okay. That witch came, but we've every previous time we've taken longer. Okay, well, and just okay, we did not have the time to really recover from that. Okay, okay, and just let's see. Come on. And that plank unlock is probably a better idea. Than that. Come on, just well, can we? No, we can't. Oh, and. The funny talking guy from Force is dead now. Alright. Come on. Uh, this is very Dark Souls. Can to jump? Can to jump? And just dodge out of the way and slam. There we go. Well, alright. Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to unlock for more iframes is probably how I want to do this. Let's just dodge. And dodge. Two and. One, two, and there we go. Okay, so we got it. Hmm, not having a lot of ground potential is virtual. Oh, hello. We can just hmm or not. It's faster than I expected. Oh, okay. Hmm. Just uh ah, two. What are we gonna what are we gonna do? Two dodge, dodge, and we well, alright. 
on just what? Oh, geez. Uh, I'm using a lot of a lot of blood vials here. One, two, three, and this. Can we even hit? No, we can't. You know, sometimes I try to get used to using a range of boob hammer to get them farther away, and sometimes it works quite well. Sometimes it doesn't. Okay, we got a side that should mean a bit more damage on that if we can hit it. Dodge and hit. Swing, hit. There we go. Kind of. Okay. Oh, dodge. What? Oh, come on. Hold on. What? Something like five seconds. So that was the crazy jump attack. That's the one that people talk about when they say... Does he cling to the ceiling? All right, but we did pretty well for ourselves, actually. His, the big thing is, I need to know which attacks I can afford to bait out. It seems to me that the best one to try to bait out would be his claw slap combo where he goes for one, two, and then three, four. Because if he goes for the 3-4, he can't do any more. And then if I've spaced myself correctly, I can punish pretty well. But it does seem to me like I'm going to have to play this fight unlocked. Which isn't that bad, you know. I'm decent playing around with the twin sticks, but it's certainly something. Okay, go away, Rich. Don't need you. Oh well. I'll just jump. And retrieve that tiny blood stain before anything else happens. Come on, come on. Just run. Uh, uh. Come on, come on. And just run uh, away. Come on. Uh. So jump up. Jump up. One, two, and. You are not going for the rest of the combo. Two, and. Dodge, and. Can we counter? There we go. Oh wow, that broke right away. Nice. Okay, so sort of left and back is what I want to go for then. But, okay, hmm. Swipe, swipe, and let's see. That did not hit at all. Okay. Hmm. It's just. Oh, oh, oh. Dodge, dodge. Come on. Can we jump? Okay, well, oh, alright. Dodge. Excuse me. Uh, what kind of vials I'm using already for what will probably be a failure attack is a little demoralizing. Okay. Hmm. Come on, just dodge out of my hand. Well, get hit. It's easy, Come on. Let's just heal. Go and dodge. Ah. Uh, dodge. Most like some dodge out of the way and come on. Oh, oh, okay. Come on. This is looking okay. Okay ish. 20 second arch in now. Oh, please. Not expecting that. Not expecting that either. Come on. Come on. Just dodge. Two and dodge. And swing. And, well, if you dodge out of the way, I can't exactly do anything about that. Thank you. Oh. Wow. For this... Honestly... I might end up going back to Sawspear. <laughs> Just... The big thing is that in Beast Room he's fast. And then maybe I could actually switch to... Boom hammer for the second part of the fight? Because once he takes his sword out, he gets maybe a little more threatening in some ways, but he also gets meaningfully slower. Should be more suited for this weapon. The big thing is just. It's been a while since I used Saw Spear, and it's not like the moveset is hard to understand. It's not like I'm worried about forgetting how to use it. It's just. Oh goodness. Come on. Don't scoop out my brains. Thank you. Lost my privilege. And just dodge. And get that. Okay. 
Come on, just dodge. Thank you. And swing. Dodge. Oh, well, whatever. I think I have to do a lot of trades in this fight. Definitely. Okay, well, alright. Hit turns. Maybe just go for normal strong attacks. Possibly. Well. You know, at least that time you didn't end up. You didn't end up using any blood vials. Yeah, the big thing is that if I go for normal strong attacks, it'll deal good damage. It's gonna be a good use of the one hit buff. It's the only time I'm gonna be doing fire damage, which is what I want to be doing to Ludwig. But it would not get me in its precarious of a situation as charging up a fully charged attack and possibly just missing entirely. There are some attacks. The big one is probably the jump, where I do think I can probably afford to try to bait out. Well, not bait out, but go for the big slam, but... I have too much of a case of boom hammer mindset. Oh, who cares? We gotta do it. Have to have it. Okay, well, alright, I'll just dodge, and... The big thing is if I get that back, I can stop worrying about getting it back. Okay. I mean, if I lose it for good, I don't have to worry about getting it back anymore. Okay, well, slam. And miss. Okay. Hmm. And the hit. Ah. Oh. The strong attacks are more than doable, but. There we go. Auto. Interesting. You just may be walking on his good, actually. Dodge him. Out of the way. And slam. Okay, nice, and the match actually staggered like that, so... Hmm. Cool. I think I could go for a jump on that? Eh, yeah, whatever. And that is not something I'm going to to try to go all the way with. How far are we going to go for combo? Dodge. Oh, oh, what? Okay. Hmm. Never mind, I guess. You know, if... I think I've gotten the rhythm of at least the this part of the fight down. It's just a matter of not dodging the wrong way when that arcane attack comes out. <laughs> because that happened, and it was not good. I'm just wondering if I... What armor set would be good for this fight? The thing is... It would probably still be standard hunter garb. It's got the best combined blunt and standard physical resistance, and it is still incredibly funny to me that standard. Thank you, thank you, I appreciate it. Standard hunter garb is probably the best to be wearing for a lot of the game. Thank you, thank you. Even if I don't believe myself. Hi. Hello, and just touch. Come on. Hit. No. Oh, oh, oh. Touch. Come on. In charge. And hit. I want to kind of dodge. Oh, oh, oh. Just hit or not, or not. Ah. Hmm. Well, okay. Well, James, gonna go for two more hits. Dodge. And just dodge. Dodge and two more. Oh, that actually hit. Okay. So I'm fast, I can actually go for the dodge. And dodge and dodge slam. There we go. And. Oh, what? We got a visceral? Oh, nice. Oh, but I think I have a visceral. That weird eye. Well, dodging through it actually isn't that bad. 
dodge and I discovered Kimo. And, oh well, if we, if we put on lot, probably get on lot. Dodge. Oh, oh, okay. Come on, just. Get over here. Come on. Come on. Do the jump. Or not. Dodge and slam. Boom. Oh, alright. Oh, okay, so all we had to do for that is actually is keep moving. So just keep moving. And, oh, that's still hit. Dodge it. Swing. There we go. Come on. Oh, 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 and I should have dodged the ball. Dodge it. Uh, swing. Oh, there we go. Oh, well. What? You were so close. You were incredibly close. And once it gets to half health, we get that phase transition. Sometimes. Okay. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Okay. Well, either way, we're making progress. Slowly but surely. I don't know who Shirley is. <clears throat> it's it's working. I just and I'm pretty sure that that visceral would have been on the weird second ma head. I think we'll see. And over here is that. All right, jump and just run past get that blood stain. I don't want to see what this is. This is oh three blood miles. Okay, I guess. Not bad. Yep, yeah, and there we go. Found it, found it. Found it. Hmm. Slash. It's not the big slash on the view, though, so. Boom, boom. There we go. Nice. Big amounts of wind damage. Oh, oh, okay. Come on, come on. Oh. It's not an attack I'm gonna dodge into, so. Dodge. Nice. And Hammer's making one damage quite easy, which is good. And just charge. Whoop. There we are. Oh, okay. Cool. Hmm. It's just one. One. And just dodge out of the way. That ends. Well, never mind. Thought that would have worked. So actually, if I ran in and around when that arcane attack came up, it would be a perfect opportunity to just do a charged heavy attack on the head. And then maybe get a visceral, or at the very least, just get in big damage. Hmm. Okay. We'll see. I'm gonna check real quick. What is weak points are? Points. Ludwig. Ludwig. Okay. Curse and attack his head and stagger him. So attack on his face. Hit us 400. Okay. Not regenerate. Additional hmm. damage from all attacks afterwards. Can no longer be injured. Super armor causes him to stumble. Injuring his legs. Visceral attack from the front of the torso. Front of the torso. Then, just where is the visceral? Hmm, on his face. And it says, it says his real face. So I think I was just going from the wrong side. Going from his right side, my left. Should go from his left side, my right, maybe? If I can actually manage to knock his head off again. Okay, the witch is running now, but we can outrun her. As we did every previous time. Okay. Let's traverse the nightmare fog. Hi there, hello. Go out there, slam. There we go. Oh, oh alright. Oh, oh. Dodge back. Dodge and get this. 
Oh goodness. Yep. Oh, and just one more. Charge. There we go. Okay. Let's try this out. Come on. So lock and lock and charge. Or not. Dodge. Maybe. Let's hmm. so go for your arcane attack. Do that. Okay. And just charge. Alright. Maybe not. Back and out of the way. And charge. Boom. There we go. Nice on the head, and can we do it? There we go. Big. Well, okay, damage. Okay. Cool. So we got it. Short and that. Okay. Well, I don't know. We should have stashed. Good crash. Okay. So I wonder if that visceral is what triggers. That charging attack. Maybe. Hmm. Alright then. Either way, if I want to be really funny, I could try something like... I can't use the cannon yet. I still can't use these yet. 30. I'm probably not going to get that much. Hmm. That takes... a high amount of blood tinge. Hmm. Okay then. Yeah, but the gun is not gonna do much for me. It's just sort of. Can I actually use bullets for in this fight? Not much. Okay. Oh well, oh well. Just let me. Dodge and charge. Oh! Oh, alright. Hmm. Come on, just move on in. Move on in. Dodge and. What?! Okay, I guess he dodged too early. He's trying to dodge early in order to try to counter with a big charge attack, and, well, I dodged too early. Okay. A nightmare of blood and beasts. I guess there are worse nightmares you could have. Maybe. Hmm. Uh, uh, Alright. That weird... The cannon wielded as a hammer is an incredibly cool weapon. It almost makes up for the fact that those executioners are incredibly annoying to deal with. Almost. Maybe. Okay. Alright. Hi there. And just jump hands. Swing. Boom. And jump. Okay. Dodge and then. Hi. It had to be a train really, so... Dodge and... Dodge and... What? Come on, just... Ah. Messed up that dodge. Spin is not so good. Okay, alright. Dodge. Hmm. Can you jump at me, or...? Thank you. What? Ah. Weird attack. Ah. Uh. This is... Please. And one, two, okay. Whoop, whoop. Maybe, maybe. Come on. So I guess, I can tell him that is the war. Okay. 
Okay. Okay. Hmm. This is a strictly optional fight, actually. I'll say it again. If I wanted to, I could get the true ending of this game right now. I ate three umbilical cords. I could just say, you know what? I'm going back to the Hunter's Dream. I'm killing Garamond, and I'm killing the Moon Presence. And it wouldn't be that hard. But if I want the Moonlight Greatsword in this game, I need to be this boss. I need to be this boss. I do. I really do. But after this upcoming death, I need to go to the bathroom. I drank a lot of water. Uh, slam, maybe? There we go. Okay. okay. Yeah. Let's just grab that and let's see. Can I just put oh, ah, please. Oh, what? Don't just spamming that attack and nothing else. Uh, spam, I mean hit. There we go. Okay. Dodge and dodge it. There we go. Interesting. It's just. Can we. Caught up, caught up. Okay. Interesting. It does seem like part of this is going to be our best way. There we go, and. Oh, nice, we got it, we got it. This go, or not. No, oh no. We should have just gone for a fully charged strong attack after that. This one came out. Not okay. Hmm. What are we gonna do? Oh, is this. Can we, we can hit. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. This is going pretty well, actually. Okay. We're close, or we could have turned out for an opportunity cavalry. And just another one, but. Well, we missed. Okay. Interesting. Dodge. Dodge, dodge, and. Sweet. One miss. That also works. Also an option. Come on, come on. Okay. Oh, alright. This time that. Oh, 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 come on. I'm on my way, I'm on my way. If I just dodge out of the way, that would be fine, probably. Oh, okay. Do not stampede too much. Okay, come on, just dodge and one. Oh, come on. I can move it. Dodge and one, two. Another and just. What? What? Uh. What? Okay, I'm going to the bathroom. We're chewing through miles. It's a non-zero chance that we don't have any... We don't have a full stack now. Hmm. Hmm. This... Okay, we still have 20, but... Morrison. Okay.
Return to the world of the living. How are you doing? Oh my goodness. I'm an idiot. Well, that means you got to hear me eat that orange, I guess. So It's not all bad in the end. So. Alright. It was a good orange, too. I was a fan. Always need some fruits to start your day off right. Okay, well. Well, I was in the other room. I was just wondering how much you can hear from the other room then. But either way, either way, we're gonna... We almost got him to phase two, and then we got pancakes, so... We'll be alright. What a good amount of blood balls, at least. Alright, jump hands. Swing, hit, boom, boom. That always is a bit of a necessary trade for that. Punish and just dodge. Cool. And just commit, hit. Oh, 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 alright. Come on, come on. Just let me go for, your, go for a jump, maybe? Uh, uh, come on. Uh, 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 yikes. Yikes. Give me a bit more. And there we go. Well, alright. Time that dodge well. Get over there and hit. Hit, hit, hit the head. Okay. Thank you. Go for that and. Okay. Uh, uh, oh. Come on, come on. Just, thank you for doing your horse kick. Do a horse and go. Maybe. Oh, oh. Come on. You timed that right. Punish that pretty easily. I do think that going on the rock might be a better idea. Maybe. Well, oh, no, you got far away. Come on, that. Dodge. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Oh, oh. Hit and miss. Oh, oh. Shameful. Oh. Just... What? Yeah, I should just actually select. So, a blood vessel is wasted because we immediately got to the horse game. It's not embarrassing at all. <sighs> so, stay on the side. Let's see what I can actually punish attack wise. I'm gonna get a little piece of 100% dark chocolate for energy purposes. Mental power and focus. Give me strength, chocolate. Uncle. Uncle chocolate. Hmm. Epic Scaramouche Kenny moment. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have said that. Come on, come on. I will just continue onward through the nightmare again. This really is a V fight. Okay. You know what? I could actually try using Executioner's Gloves or something, maybe. I'll do that next round. Get some space in there. And just run, dodge. You know, if it weren't for all the copyright issues that would bring up, I would be tempted. Hmm. Come on, just. Oh, 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 oh. Not viable there. Come on, jump on, jump, dodge, and here we go, actually. And that totally missed. Okay. Hmm. Dodge, and charge. Run. Okay. Hmm. Dodge, and charge. Run. Nice. Oh, okay. Hmm. A lot of attacks are actually more punishable than I thought, really. All right. What? What? Uh. Can I just... Oh, oh. And please. What? Okay, so that chomp has to be dodged. I think... Any attack other than the ends... Other than that lunging swipe combo and the real normal jump, I need to just... I cannot afford to go for the fully charged attacks. Which is a lesson I should have learned a long time ago, but unfortunately I'm stupid. 
Well, fortunately for some people. Unfortunately for me. Also, maybe unfortunately for people who want to see me move on to lecture hall. I mean, research hall. What is interesting is that research hall and the two lecture hall floors that we saw before in the areas of the other nightmares, it's likely that they were part of Bergen work. Given that, oh, uh, well, could have dodged that if our time would have been a little better. Okay, there you are. Come on, just, oh, oh, come on, just, oh, but I can't dodge that. It didn't lock on him because he wasn't on camera. Ah, come on, just, oh, two and, what? Oh, okay, cool. Boom. Okay, well, at least that time to buy a Silver's left. I mean, uh, what? Okay. So we positioned ourselves exactly wrong enough to just die. So what that tells me is that we need to be rolling towards him and to the left. So that he doesn't just crush us with his hand. Or alternately, I could be funny and probably just... Maybe if I just kept running. But that wouldn't put me in an amazing position to counterattack. And that's one of the few attacks he has that's actually decent to counter. We'll, we'll see. I'm just happy that I don't lose all 20 blood vials I take each time on death. A more unforgiving game might have done something like that. But just... It gets grindy enough already. Drop and swim. Cool and just dodge, maybe. Let's see. How are you gonna do this? Dodge and boom. Or oh, totally nice. That also works. Thank you. I did not want to do the transformation attack. Okay, cool. What? Alright. Come on. Two and oh, oh, okay. Oh, wow. You know, I was expecting that to hit two times. Did not expect it to be a continuously hitting hitbox. You know, I said that's one of his more punishable attacks, and it is. But I need to actually see it coming and dodge into him and counter it instead of just letting him kill me. And that's where things get tough. <sighs> okay. It's just... I'm doing this for the Moonlight Greatsword. This... That's what I'm telling myself, and it's the only thing keeping it from breaking me. Mostly. But I really do wonder if I use... And to be fair, this weapon is probably... Holy Blade might actually be a little better. But it's one of the better ways I have to damage him as... Someone who has built literally every stat. And dodge. Dodge, maybe? Okay. And that should kill it up pretty well. Just go. Oh, okay, there we go. Doing a little better for ourselves. Dodge, dodge. Okay, we actually managed to get out of the way of that. Nice. Come on. Let me dodge, 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 dodge. Mm -hmm. Okay. And just. What are you gonna do now? Slash, slash, and. Boop, boop. Nice. Okay. So, if you can tell just right, you can actually make that work. But. Oh, okay. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Okay, it's not whatever. Dodge, dodge, and we just hit, hit. Can we kinda go? I don't know. What? What? Okay. Interesting. Interesting. Okay, and dodge out of the way from some of that. Okay, cool. And just figure it out. Dodge, and. Okay. Uh, oh, and. Oh, come on. Dodge. Move in and what? Come on, just hit. Boom. And uh, kind of. Not bad, but. Uh. It's really any sort of. <sighs> hurting me. Hurting me. You know, I am having fun. It's just. I worry that 
watching me just keep dying and dying and dying again is gonna get old. Okay, if I die this time, I'm just gonna say screw it to the boom hammer, go in, put a bunch of better gems into... Well, because... Okay, good. It's the joy of kinesis. It's the sheer pleasure of movement. Even if I'm not beating him, managing to actually land these fully charged heavy attacks is better than alcohol. So, to be fair, I don't like alcohol much. That might be heresy to some. Oh, I know what you're thinking. You're partially correct. But I assure you that the joy I feel is not mostly due to this the death. It's the experience of grilling a little every time. Okay, oh, just counter. Oh. Well, let's just pile up and what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Turn and what are you gonna? That kind of hurt. Okay, I might need to speak up a little bit. And just whoa, oh, oh. dodge, dodge, kinda, kinda. Alright, just dodge out the way of that ends. No, I'm just... Another one, sure. Oh, please. You have the time to dodge. You have the time to dodge, man. Okay. Oh, uh, oh that... The range on that is not especially aggressive. Okay. Don't worry, though. Boom. Well, and... There we go, actually. Can you just... Charge up a... That was a better use of that. Um, okay, cool. And just dodge. Hmm. This may be alright. In a decent position. Okay, on, we're close, we're close. Oh, no. oh what? Oh. What? You know, we got very close to the phase transition, and Boomhammer should be good in phase two, I hope. Let's just go one more time with Old Faithful. That said, every time I do this fight, it's going to be taking a little bit of durability damage. So I'm kind of worried about how much durability it's got left. Oh, never mind. Yeah, exactly, unlike Tonatrus. I'm mainly using these things against... I'm only doing one attack per, so... The Tonitrus, a big part of why it loses all its durability so fast is because when you're using it, you're doing a bunch of hits. And it also just breaks faster, I think. It also breaks extra fast when it's in transform mode, so... That's part of it. Okay. Ooh, just don't... Oh, don't... Or not. Dodge, dodge, and dodge, and... Okay, cool. No, I just... I did not want to do that transformation attack. Dodge, and... Cool. Cool. Or miss. Uh, uh. What the, the, I need to just... Cut it. One more time. One more time. It's too stupid to let count. Too stupid. Okay. It's just... When he jumps, don't roll back. Roll towards him. Otherwise his hand will get you. Because the hitbox is not... It's not just his body, it's his limbs too. If you let the limbs get you, you'll die. We don't want to die. I don't want to die. You don't want to die. Maybe you want me to die. But I don't want to die. Okay. John, okay. It's nice that you're so protective on this part of the time. So let's just go that one. Cool. Nice. And just dodge. And cut it. Cool. There we go. Okay. Cool. Oh, seriously, though. It's... 
not even as well shooting. Dodge and what? Oh, please, come on. Boom, boom. There we go, okay. Getting it on that part of the body is good if I can manage. Okay, come on, and that's it. Good. What? Okay. Hmm. Alright, and this one. Um, and dodge. That attack will really suck, right? Come on, just dodge and counter, counter. Oh. Or miss. Oh. Come on. Jump! Oh. And just dodge out of the way. Come on, just hit. Oh. Oh, oh. Oh, we actually managed to dodge that. Okay. Let's just go, go, hit. Oh, oh. Dodge, dodge. And thank you. Okay, and just charge, charge, and hit. Oh. There we go. Counting one. Counting one. Oh, please. Now I'm just wrong, run. Okay. So, I can't going to do too much. It goes down, that's when you have to hit. Oh. Okay, cool. And just run and charge, charge. Oh. There we go. Very, very close. And right, that third swipe is. Okay. Can we just. There we go. We are very, very close to that phase transition. And just dodge, dodge, and. Well, alright. Never mind. I just, out of the way, out of the way. Don't need to deal with that. And just jump and swing and boom. There we go. It's time for you to watch something wonderful. Why is his hair growing green? Why is his hair growing glowing mm. green? It says, hmm. Hmm. You were at my side. All along. Music surges. Even better, a magical horse. My true mentor. My guiding moonlight. This is his magic staff. How am I gonna approach you? Right what? Okay. Luckily, once you get to this point, his damage is not as good. Okay, just. Well, I'd say that now. Whoop! Boom! Heal, heal. And just. Oh, I don't need to do up this crap. Okay. Well, just dodge, dodge, and. I dodge in. Oh. I just managed to... Oh. There we are! Dodge! Dodge! Dodge and... Boom! Oh goodness! Goodness! Dodge! Dodge! Oh. He's not a beast anymore, by the way. He's crazy, but he's not a beast. Which means... Do oh! Okay. Dodge and... Dodge! So actually, never mind. I need, I need to approach him somehow. On two ends. Well, alright. Dodge. Okay, quite unlocked is still going to have to be now. Dodge and out of my way. And just charge both. Dodge. Well. So, hit and run tactics. Hit and run tactics. But we got to phase two. Got to the part where the music gets really, really cool. Let's see how many blood bottles we have now. It's just... Still have 20. Okay. So we did it once. It means we can do it again. 
I'm not exhausted enough that that should present a serious issue. What I need to do is just stay far away enough that if he goes for a charge, I can meaningfully avoid it. I did not know that. This may surprise you, but I'm not exactly all caught up on the details of Pretty Cure. Newborn that turns into a teenager? That is some Sailor Moon type stuff. One, two, and just charge up. Oh. There we go. Fair. Is it. Is it big in Italy? One, and just charge. Oh. There we go. Okay. Cool. A grandma turns into a teenager. Might think it might have been the other way. Maybe. Okay, well, here's our charge. Let's just dial up, dial up. And dodge, dodge, and. Ooh, ooh, okay. One, two. And then just get in, get in, and hit, hit. There we go. Hmm. Oh, come on. Just dodge, dodge. Oh, now you're, now you're coming. Come on. What? Huh? Okay. So I didn't run far enough. That's what it seems like. Oh, okay. Everyone turns into... Okay. So the baby turns into a teenager. The grandma gets turned into a teenager. Because as we all know, all teenagers look the same. Once you're an adult, and back when you were a baby, people can just clock you for who you are instantly. But as soon as you're a teenager, complete anonymity. Complete. Okay, okay. It, I just remember when I was young, this was back when people other than Viz localized manga in America, but there was this group called Tokyo Pop, and the big thing is that I saw ads with Tokyo Mew. John's just sort of, what is this? Because I didn't know what the genre is, and I had just no comprehension. Okay. Is that... It's kind of similar, but I remember hearing that Tokyo Mew Mew was apparently really, really weird. Okay. I thought, I thought this was Share Hour. I thought we were just sharing stories. And then just... Uh, we got that transformation attack, huh? Even though I did not want to do a transformation attack originally. Right? Okay. Actually, that's pretty dodgeable. I don't know if that. Can make it work. Okay. What about the magical teenagers? That's what it was. Yeah. I'm not a teenager anymore, so I can't be magical. It's kind of a shame, though. Oh, I know it wasn't. It's not even true. That was just making a really stupid joke. Okay. Um, hey, what? What? Maybe the issue is that I was wrong. Maybe the issue is that I was, I was too far away. So maybe if I just stayed in place, what, he wouldn't have even gotten me. That... What do you mean I'm mean? What did I say that was mean? Oh, oh, that I told you that... It's okay, don't worry. You can blame it on... Blame it on the difficulty of translating and interpreting between... English and Italian. That's what I'd do if I were you. Plausible deniability and all. Okay. Just... Honestly... This weapon is great against trash mobs. It's not great against bosses. But it's fun. It is fun to fight things with a really big hammer. Undeniable. Okay. Cool. You can just... Keep... Doing light attacks, maybe? Maybe. I don't know. Boom. There we go. And just get that there. And boom. Oop. Okay. Hmm. Oop. Oop. Alright. And scroll. Cool. One more. One more. Two. And just hammer slam. There we go. Okay. Yeah. Tell Ludwig to quiet down. It's not my fault. And that missed again. Now just. Oh. And out of the way, and one, one, and 
Okay. You gonna charge me or? Okay. Come on. Oh, that miss. Not great. Dodge and boom. Actually, that transformation attack is pretty decent for this. Thank you. Glad to hear you think I'm funny. Thank you, I'll need it. I will need the blessing. Oh, I see can just... Oh, no visceral? Okay. So I oh, just charge, maybe? That didn't hit at all. Okay. Oh, whatever. Let me just... Go! No. Or miss. Or miss. Oh. Let's just run, run, run. Run. There we go. Okay. Come on. Let's jump, charge, and... Boom. There we kind of go. We can stagger. Hmm. Okay. And boom. There we go. Let's just... What? No visceral? Excuse me. Okay. Um, and another one should help me do it. Let's just move in and... Swing. Almost, almost. We were so close. What? Oh. Dodge. Okay. So actually, the tail isn't that bad. Let's jump and swing. And boom. Okay. And the face transition again. We gotta do is not overextend ourselves. <laughs> Definitely can't afford to go for it. charge heavy. You were at my side all along. I wanna watch it again. I wanna watch it again. This is the one that's gonna be for all the marbles. I've got lots of blood piles. Oh, is that stupid? I shouldn't die. My guiding. See how that happens. By the way, pretty soon we can get the sword. Very exciting. Ooh. Thank you. Hi, Woodwick. that he does that too that we should just okay so I'm gonna handle that like I handled Radagon in Elden Ring when he did his Elden Ring attack yeah so the Elden Ring attack from Elden Ring which is to run in circles around him at a decent distance and then without any dodges necessary in fact the dodge will often put you in the path of the attack. It will just miss you. But I didn't know what he was doing. I thought he was going to go for another AoE. And then he didn't do that. And that was certainly something. Okay, cool. Oh, that was a different attack than he really does at that point. Hello. Uh -oh. Come on, Ludwig. Gonna jump in here. Dodge and just... Boom. Kinda, kinda. Dodge. Just dodge and boom. Boom. There we go. Well, I can get those off. It's actually really good. Dodge and 
Parrot. Boom. Oh my goodness. It's actually going very well. So just. You know, I don't want to chase it. I don't want to chase it. But... Okay, just run, run, run. Run. Okay, yeah. Dodge, jump. Okay. Hmm. Dodge. What? And as soon as I say this fight is going wrong, well, goes for his charge attack, and I watch the dodge. Okay. We have reached the second phase three times. Maybe third time will be the charm. Maybe. Maybe. It's just a shame that I can't break his side in one heavy charge heavy attack, because if I could, if I could, then I would be able to do that when he did his initial charge, I mean his initial leap at the start of the fight, and be able to just negate his fog that way by staggering him. But that, hmm, hmm, we'll see. So it's not a poise damage system, it's a pure damage system. There aren't enough heavy weapons in the game to have enemy poise system like that. Dodge arrows, come on. Maybe I should've dodged the other way. Maybe, I don't know. Come on. Just back up, keep on backing up. Dodge and... Where is my... There it is. Okay. Come on, just dodge and... Okay, cool. There we go, we can get that back now. Okay. Cool. And just... Where are you gonna attack now? Stairs have kinda messed you up. Okay. Maybe I could've taken better advantage of that. Dodge just cut. Dodge and... Ah. Dodge and... What are you gonna do? Dodge! Dodge and just... Charge! Boom! Okay. Good. I could've gone for the transformation attack on that. I should've gone for the transformation attack on that. Okay, good. Boom! Dodge. Boom. And just go. Okay. Ted, hit. Could've gone for Okay. Cool. I did hit it. Okay, go. Well, Alright. Run. Well, okay. That worked. Cool. Alright. Well, well, just. Mm. Just run, run, run. Hit, hit. I could have gone for a fully charged regular, but whatever. Doesn't matter all that much. Dodge. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. Dodge. And charge. Push. Can we kind of go? Okay. Just. What are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? Ah, oh, ah. Oh. That's what happens when you're too far away. Come on, just... Uh, uh. Come on, just like, dodge. And dodge, dodge. Uh, dodge. Dodge. Okay, we actually made that work. Nope. Nope, nope. Uh, come on, just... Out of my way, out of my way. And just... Nope, nope, nope. Uh, please. And we can just... That's why we should have played on that. And... Oh. Come it, come it. Okay. That did kind of work, but it's just... Oh, we missed our window. Missed our window. Dodge and... What? Oh! What? What? Uh, that was a really stupid way that attempt to conclude. Okay. All I'm saying is... I think I could beat Lawrence today? The school should be in research hall. I, Lady Maria should, Maria should take a while. Living failures are going to be agony. Oh, oh that. Oh. If I mess up, if this attempt doesn't work, if I succeed, I don't imagine it'll take more than 15 blood vials, but if it fails, we're, we're gonna have to experience true agony. And then go back to Central Yarn and just get blood bags. This is awful. Okay. Come on. Dog. Uh now just dog. Oh. And then just dog. Oh. Oh. 
And dodge. And swing. Okay. Boom. Okay. Wait for that transformation effect. That would have been good for me. Okay. Boom. Boom. Or not, actually. Okay. Hmm. Please, either I die fast or I... Well, I do die fast. There's no real chance of victory. Okay. Hmm. Five. Two and... We got a good... Windows of these. Okay, so this. If we... Charge up that and go. Okay, cool. Hmm. That was a little bit of a trouble seeing that I'm not white. Okay. Come on. Can we go for your jump or what are you gonna do? What attack are you gonna do is oh please. No, I just Okay, well alright. Bump, miss, dodge, dodge, and swing. Okay. Dodge. Okay, well actually can we Nice! Okay. Dodge and just swing. Or miss. Yeah. I guess that's gonna be it. Um, okay, we did. Get out of the way that. Successfully. And just run. Run. Okay. Just dodge. Oh my goodness. That was narrow. Two and just up to two. And just swing. Oh. Close. Dodge. Dodge. Oh. Come on, just dodge out of the way. Dodge. What? I will say... We don't use too many vials per attempt. I feel like... I'll go a couple more times if I get below five. If I actually manage to beat him, I don't imagine that. Yeah, it was agony. This is a very fun fight. I do get the impression that I'm making things a lot harder for myself by using Boom Hammer. But it's so satisfying to see those big singular numbers when I actually manage to get those charge heavies off. And I'm actually managing to get a decent amount off. I guess... One thing I could have done, and I opted not to do it because I figured, okay, well, at the very same time, it would be good for Phase 1, but he's not a beast anymore in Phase 2. So any anti-beast gems would be totally pointless. But given that he's a lot more aggressive in this phase, this is really the issue, so to speak. If I can get past Phase 2, it's not that bad to get past the rest, but it's just about actually doing it. Yeah, I would have... Phase 2 would have been close if I screwed, not screwed that up. Okay, so now we can grab that. And just, what determines what we do about attacking that? Now I'm just, oh nice! Dodge, dodge! Ah. I will say, I was able to s s stagger like old Gary's pretty easily in Phase 1 using Holy Blade. But that is kind of the downside of the fact that, like I said, Bloodborne, at least from what I've seen looking at guides and data, has an entirely damage-based stagger system instead of any kind of poise damage system, which is troublesome, because it means that, and I'm sure it's definitely by design, to make it so that using lighter weapons is not as bad as using... Well, it's not as awful a choice as it would be if there was a true poise damage system where white weapons just did no poise damage and decayed over time like in, well, every other Souls game. But, again, this is not a Souls game, so to speak. And, you know, they have different concerns, a different set of, for lack of a better term, a different set of conceits, priorities, such and such. Dodge and okay. Cool. Interesting. Okay, but I cannot afford to actually try to get through that now. Probably. Boom. Nice. Oh. Oh! Gets five blood vials every time? 
I thought I only get it once. Oh, that that's really good, then. Okay, I really... Thank you, that is an incredibly useful tool. Look at the dodge and counter. There we go. Mm. Get that off there. Just run towards the charge, charge. Okay, I couldn't get the charge because I got the run, but now you're doing that. Fine. Okay, cool. And just charge, move, charge. Oh, the actual match is staggered out of that attack. Incredible. Now you're. I'll be. I thought you were gonna go through this. Oh, well, whatever. Alright. Boom. Slam the body. Drop. Oh, God. Just let me dial up and dodge. Dodge. And what are you gonna do now? Oh, what? Hmm. That would be fun. That would actually be a totally good blood fire. Just doing that with Bold Hunter's marks or something. Maybe. I don't know. Well, I'll be ready. Let's just close it off. And boom! Boom! Kinda. Kinda. Oh, goodness. Gotta be kidding me. Not this again. Okay, let's so this. Fair. Yeah, that... Rare Miyazaki Act of Mercy. Rare Miyazaki Act of Mercy. So I'm gonna wait. <laughs> All I'm going to say is, I've seen this so few times. This is the third time I've reached this phase. First time I died normally. The second time I died to the... Died to the 25% health big blast. I will do my best and not let that happen again. Give me your greatsword. Once I get your greatsword, I'm not going to be unstoppable, but I'll be a lot stronger. So give that to me. The only weapon that is natural, decent three stat scale. Dodge, and just wait. Oh no, oh no. Come on. And just, come on. One, two, and three, and we just charge up. Nice! Oh, thank you, Mr. Horse. What? Oh, please. I did not need to go for that. Dodge. I need to go for the strong attack. Oh, oh, all right. And what? What? Dodge. And another. What? What is the? I know I'm not there. What? What? Dodge. Ah, oh, come on. I could try to. Well, I could. Mm, dodge. 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 Are we gonna get close? Dodge. Do okay. Uh, either way, just one, two, and three. Okay. Hmm. Just, what? Okay, well. I may have to do that now. It does suck that there's no equivalent of just the Homeward Spell or of Aged Feather or Coiled Sword Fragment. I am not buying a new. Bold Hunter's Mark every time I want to do that. I might have to. Hmm. Uh, just wondering, when you beat Ludwig, what weapon did you use? I am becoming increasingly curious. Now, now I feel... I feel like an imbecile. If I had just done this every time... I wouldn't have to deal with any kind of... Uh, uh, we'll see. Because I was running past that because one, I didn't think it'd drop anything again. You know, two, two of a witch, but... The witch is nothing. Okay. It's just... One attack is... What? That was bad. It was really bad. Okay, we'll just... We'll let him kill us. Okay. Eleven vials. That's very, very true. You know, you could hear me trying to hum along. and Maybe if I just totally tune out all noise. You know, it's not like I could turn off all the sound. You know, the audio cues are important, but... Oh, as in... As in Sawcleaver. That is... 
There is a significant part of me that is not using the Silic Cleaver because I think it would be a bit cliche. It's pretty stupid of me for that, but I don't know. Is it just... You know if you want? Silly pebble moment. The first time I really played Bloodborne was... I might have said this before, but I was at a friend's house. And I managed to use either Saw Cleaver or Saw Spear. I think it was actually Saw Spear. Because we had... My... I was up there with visiting a friend, taking a different friend up with me, and... They decided to do a Bloodborne drinking game, which you may or may not consider wise. And the big thing is that... Just, they decided to pick... I don't think it was Cruel Fate. It was the... Whatever one was Rough Upbringing, which might just be called Rough Upbringing, but it's the one that starts with more vitality and skill. But he still stuck with Saw Cleaver instead of Threaded Cane, which is, you know, good. But also... He ran straight to Cleric Beast and Gascoigne and tried to fight Gascoigne. To be fair, he was also... One, he was inebriated, and two... He was sitting at a really weird angle to the TV, so he couldn't see things all that well. He was sitting at about a 45 degree angle to television. And among other things, among other things, yeah, Bloodshot Eyeball or Pavel, you tell me. Okay, but among other things, it meant that he did not really know what he was doing. Because... Usually, and to be fair, if he wasn't drunk, he probably could have just killed Gascoigne without any levels up whatsoever. He... this is his favorite game period. He actually... it was really cool. The first day I was playing, he actually came in when I was in Cathedral War to show off... show off a build. It's pretty funny. But he... Uh, but he didn't do any blood vial pickups or anything in Old Garden at all. And that just... Made things a little silly. So it meant that for the actual player piece fight, we had very few resources. It made things difficult. So what ended up happening was I waited for them to just drink too much to play. They basically passed out, not in any dangerous way, but they passed out. And I was sort of, you know what? No one else is gonna stop me from playing Bloodborne. So I went and played Bloodborne. I think, I, no, I didn't get the Saw Spear. I got the Saw Cleaver. I got the Saw Spear before I actually started streaming this. When I had to set up everything, I decided to go for a little bit of, of a practice run, for lack of a better term. I went over, stuck around in Central Yarnum, found the Saw Spear, and just fought Cleric Beast and eventually beat it. Which is why I did not end up getting the trophy for it on stream. But it did mean, thankfully, that I knew a bit about how to fight it. Though to be fair, I literally already beaten it twice, well, already at that point, because I did it at a friend's house while he was drunk and the other guy was passed out too. Yeah. I will say, once I'm done with all of the standard FromSoft Souls games, I'm wondering what I'd like to play next. So I bought Monster Hunter World when it was on sale a bit ago, and it is a game I'd like to play eventually. I have a lot of friends who are pretty big into Monster Hunter, and whether I ended up doing it multiplayer or not, it would be interesting enough. Okay, boom. There we go. So it's kind of worth it to try to stagger off of the And are you gonna try to reroll? Or... There we go. Kinda, kinda. Okay, boom. Well, we missed. Okay. And just dodge, dodge, and... Nice! Okay, can we stack her? I know, I know. Okay. Uh, uh, uh. Dodge, dodge. Uh, what? Huh? Okay. So this is my educated scientific guess on what just happened there. He was so close to the wall that he was stuck in his charging animation when he was still on the wall and therefore the hitbox is active, but he was able to rotate around because he was moving around and rotating on the wall. And I ended up getting caught. 
when I don't think I would have survived if I had gone later. But if I if I had been farther away, I would have survived. But I ran out of iframes at the exact wrong time. Nice. It would be really funny if I ended up done before picking up a blood stain and just. To be fair, the blood stain hasn't gotten all that big. But still. Mm -hmm. Thank you for telling me about that blood vial farm. That is very, very helpful. Okay. I hope we're at least able to get some enjoyment out of the little bit of fear, pain, and suffering that I experienced. Not knowing before whether I'll be able to keep on going without having to go back to Central Yana. But it is very appreciated. Oh, come on. Too far away, you've got to Pain, suffering, agony. Pain and suffering on planet Earth. Yeah. But... One thing I want to do with Larry, I suggested... I'm not sure he... He didn't take all that well to it at the time, because he basically said Minecraft Dungeons is Diablo, but worse. But I said, maybe after we get done with Minecraft, I could... We could mod our Dungeons client. Because you can't do it pretty easily. In order to use custom skins, because all you have to do is just... They use the same skin format as standard Minecraft with a few changes, as you may know, to account for eyelids and other moving layers. But if it's, it's pretty trivial to put in a custom skin if you want to play Minecraft Dungeons. So if, if, if we wanted to play Minecraft Dungeons, we could easily just use our own skins, and that would be pretty fun. It would keep things personable. But he said, yeah, basically, he wasn't all that interested, but... He did take pretty well the, like I said before yesterday, suggesting playing Dramar for Mergel, which would be fun. Oh, nice, and we got him in movement frames. Nice. Okay, dodge and... Oh, please, too far away. Gotta be kidding me. Okay, well, all right, go. Cool. That kind of worked. Kind of. Get that in, just... Chuck, you need to do that? Okay. Well, okay. What? 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 Okay, cool. Oh. You know, I thought I'd be able to sail the one. I can't treat this fight like Sif or Paul. Honestly, one of the things I'm really looking forward to when I go and do the chalices is refighting the Dark Beast. Not Paul, but Loran Dark Beast. I mean, it's the same fight, but different name. Because when I did the fight, I used Boomhammer, and it actually worked pretty well if I was able to, when I was aggressive. It didn't take too long, but the big thing is that I hadn't learned anything meaningful about the part damage system. So I didn't know that you could get a Visceral on the head, and I didn't know that I could basically keep him almost completely... Not immobile, but... And not passive, but significantly weakened by just hitting him enough to make sure he couldn't bring his aura back. And be fair, in the dungeons, he's gonna have a bit more health. And I was kind of overwhelmed when I went to Yahar Duel for Summerod back in Hypogee and Jail phase. And that probably made it easier to stagger him. But we'll see how it works. If nothing else, having more knowledge should hopefully help. We'll see. Dodge and okay that works. Boom. Dodge and go. Okay. Cool. And hit. Oh, that worked quite well. Just dodge and dodge. Oh, what? Uh, boom. And we just fire. Uh oh. Come on. Dodge and how do I have that? If I had been in a better state of health, that would have been a really good opportunity to grab. Which I'll ask. Back. Boom. Oh, did I? Oh, nice. Well, that means we should just. Visceral? Well, no, the Visceral is not amazing, that's the thing. So we just... Oh! So we barely survived that. Okay, cool. Just... Uh, uh, dodge! Oh, uh, wrong way. That... We would have been cornered one way or the other. Dodge, dodge, and just... No, we can't get a lot, really. So just out of the way, and... No, not enough time. Dodge and just 
No, no cannon. Oh, oh. Come on, just ridiculous. Yeah, transformation attack pretty well. Dodge, and just counter. Oh, good. Decent stagger. Can't actually make that much use of the stagger for the saddle. We're close, we're close. Okay. So do not mess this up too much, and this should do it. Should do it. Thankfully, thank you. I would say this is really coming at close. It's starting to get old. We have a lot of blood mm -hmm. vials. I know how to get rid of that big, how to dodge that hopefully. I hopefully know how to dodge that big wave attack. Let's say you get at a medium distance and just run in circles. Kind of, again, kind of like, well, with a Radagon one, you actually want to get as close as possible, but either way. Whether I win or not, it's the last time we're seeing this cutscene. I do not need... Do not need to put both of us through this again. Okay. Let's just do this. I've had enough of this underground corpse pile. Well, frankly, what I should have done is just... Okay. No. Hmm. Just... I should have been using my bullets for... Other attacks. Dodge and cool. Now I do get that impression. It's just I was out of resources and it did make things pretty bad. Okay. Cool. Dodge. Or not. Do oh. As long as I don't miss that lunge. Dodge. Dodge. Okay. And just can we? Oh, we Close enough for that. Okay. Come on, just go. Oh, nice. Actually, we avoided that. Well, we can't afford to. You know, you know, that's on me. I feel like. What I'm gonna do. I'm gonna equip a decent hunter tool. If only we had Black Sat Eye right now. Oh well. Maybe I could just say, you know what, Flame Spare. Nah, I'm not doing that. Maybe just... <sighs> yeah, yeah. Guys, guys. Is Ludwig, ac is Ludwig actually the blue smelter demon? Okay, so... What could... I could just try using... Executioner's Gloves. I literally don't have anything else to do with bullets in that fight. And I can't put Phantasm Shell on there. Or, uh, oh, but that would use a lot of blood. This is just a way to... <clears throat> yeah, we're just gonna... We're, go we're gonna use the gloves. I don't imagine he'll take all that much damage from Arcane, but... Some is better than none. Epic Pebble, pebble Moment. Yeah. But, if... And to bring back an old topic of discussion, I feel like trick weapons and or guns could come back in Shadow of the Earth Dream. I know Mikola's whole thing isn't techno isn't technology specifically, but more just you know, he's a genius and the gold Golden Order fundamentalism is explicitly stated to be scholarship. You've got some technology in the lands between due to I would say the biggest example would be the Jar Cannon. If you can get something like Jar Cannon, I feel like some kind of... And this is what I said to my Bloodborne friends. Maybe instead of, you know, something like an actual gun, we'd get an Archibus and even more primitive firearms. But what is that? I got it. Five damage from what? One. Two. Well. Dodge and... Come on. Hit. And just... What are you going to do now? Oh, well, okay. If we had been faster, we could have gone for that. Maybe. Come on, just... Go. Oh! Uh, uh, bad move. Bad move. Just end. Move in. There we go. Hit. Yeah, but... That really primitive firearms like an Archibus, which is one of the first rifles ever invented, could be what they have instead of... You know, the guns that Bloodborne had. 
I, I think it makes sense. Okay, that was embarrassing. I should have. I should have. I should have. Oh, I feel like. Okay, I was trying to try to stick to Woodwig's left and right sides. That said, the hit, the explosion might compensate for that. Now that that was a very embarrassing death. You know, five deaths. The fact that I'm counting this by deaths is itself embarrassingly telling. But the fact that I said, okay, five deaths ago, when the, he does that attack by a corner, I gotta get away because I can't go through. I can't just run away from it if I'm gonna get trapped in the corner. Let's go to see. Let's see what. Oh, the arcane defense on that is awful. So actually, putting Yarnum Hunter Garb on. Should be meaningfully better. Meaningfully better. Maybe. It's just... Would be a good balance of arcane and physical defense. There isn't really one. Okay, let's just... Do that then. We are an older hunter now. Cool. You know... It's like we really are the hunters now, man. We're stuck here fighting Woodwig endlessly as I slip deeper and deeper into absolute madness. <sighs> yeah. In addition to Monster Hunter, I've also heard a lot of really, really good things about Rise of Doom. I should probably stop calling him Bloodborne Fan at this point, but the big thing is, is that he recommended Rise of Doom, and I said that I'd like to play it eventually, but I wanted to get through all of the FromSoft games in anticipation of Elder Ring DLC first, which he did understand and respect as a true Souls-like crackhead, but he did say it was worth playing, which, well that's not fun to dodge. Guess he's going back to unlocked play. I guess what I could do is just manually switch between... I mean, that was what I was doing for the Arcane Spit Attack, manually switching between lock and unlock in order to actually avoid things more easily. Because yeah, everything other than... I was going to say other than the jump attack and the charge attack, well, the repeated binding attack and the Arcane Spit Attack are better dodge while locked on. But at the very same time, the jump attack breaks lock anyway, so it's not relevant. It does the job for me. It's just... I don't need Bloodshot Eyeballs for much. I guess it's gonna be... One of these days on my own time. I'm gonna go back. Once I've hit max new game and absolute max level on every Souls game. And play through all of them again as fast as I can with absolutely cracked loadouts. Today is not that day, obviously, but the big thing is that that also means on my own time I need to do multiple new game cycles and a lot of gem farming in Bloodborne, which means lots and lots of chalices. That, that attack damage is sick. This, this is why we use Boomhead. This is why we use Boomhead. What? Okay. Alright, that's some of that round, but... Oh, oh, oh. Okay, here and just... Don't! Awful timing! But... You know, I thought we didn't die. And then we died. <laughs> this has got to be... The universe's vengeance for something. For what? I'm not entirely sure. But something. Yeah, it does. You know, this... This... This is proof... That Bloodborne is an all-time great. Just like Dark Souls 1. Because in Dark Souls 1, I did an entire stream where all I did was fight Calamite again and again and again. And a lot of that was wrong, yes, there. A lot of that was just because I was going for the Shell Gun. Especially because, given that I was doing a silly build with, again, completely equal stats level, like in 
in this one, which actually was not, I think I told you, it wasn't that bad in Dark Souls 1, because, and I did limit power for myself by basically saying, okay, if it would cost more to level the Pyro Flame than leveling up, I can't level the Pyro Flame. But I still did get it to ascend at plus five in the end, so it didn't matter that much. Okay, well, come on, let's just get that blood stain. This fight is doomed already. But whatever. This is tough. Mm-hmm. It'd be really funny if this one did it. I missed. But the big thing is that Ascended, I mean, is that Obsidian Greatsword was always going to be one of my better weapon options, just because it had no scaling whatsoever, which worked very well with my game. And also, it was one of the dragon weapons that was enchantable, which... To be fair, I actually didn't end up using weapon props as much as I expected, but it was still quite nice to have. Come on, just what? Oh, please. Ah. Yo, know, what I know now, all I have to do to basically be a prophet is to be incredibly pessimistic and then fail like I usually do. I'm a genius. I can tell the future. My prediction is, I'm going to revive, I'm going to go kill the witch, I might miss, I'm going to get five more blood vials, and then I'm going to die to Ludwig again. This, the big thing is, is that I'm going to be using Chikage for Orphan, and even though Orphan is definitely a portable photo, I will have a much faster weapon. Again and again, I give in. Strange love, strange highs and strange lows. Yeah, huge red, huge red flag. When your streamer is a Depeche Mode fan, that's when you know they're just hightail it from the hills. Come on, jump. And yeah, the Depeche Mode fan, a Dark Souls player pipeline. Well, it hasn't really been attested, but I'm sure it exists. Well, what this means is... What this means is... This is a blessing in, the, in disguise. I don't have to worry about that bloodstain anymore. 20,000 is basically nothing. It's not even a third of a level up anymore. All I have to do... Honestly... And this is kind of the self-imposed issue. I've got three moon runes equipped. Try to get as many blood echoes as possible. If I had. If I took. Also, the fact that I keep wearing the crown. Which. Eh, it's not that bad, but. I guess it'll be better against Maria once blood defense actually becomes relevant. Maybe. We'll see. It's just. It was a bloodshot eyeball that time. Yeah. One of these days, I'm gonna do. Let me do a Depeche Mode cover. I don't know what song it'll be, but if you know Depeche Mode, they have a lot of really good songs. And they do have some songs that aren't clunkers, but are just sort of okay. If this is your favorite, why? And for a while, I don't think I mentioned him today, but I have another friend who, he was the one who Larry talked about playing Dokapon Kingdom with last time, and he... He likes exactly one Depeche Mode song, and that song is People Are People. Which, it's not a bad song by any means, but it's just... You, know, you could have chosen Strange Line, which is my personal favorite. You could have chosen Enjoy the Silence. You could, even, you could have even chosen Just Can't Get Enough, back when they were more basically electronic. Which... All of those would be understandable choices, but people are people. It's, it's not a bad song by any means, but it's just that one as your favorite. Absolutely. Well, we missed again. Okay. Look at this. We just. Well, we were too far away for it to get us out of so let's just hit. Boom. There we go. And just. Dodge, kinda, kinda. Oh, goodness. 
Now we run, now we run. And as soon as that happens, we just... We, oh my goodness! Oh, alright. Come on, just dodge. Please, please. Dodge! What are we doing? Okay. Okay, -ish. Just dodge. Dodge, and... Three. Hit. Boom, boom. Oh, that, that worked kind of okay. Hmm. Let's, let's see. And just... I'm going to that. And can we just... Charge, charge. Oh, okay. Come on. Come on, and just... Oh, thought I'd be able to fit in it. Uh, transformation, and that's what Well, let's just... Hit. There we go. Okay. I'm gonna do what I usually do and break a promise. Got a lot of vials. I'm gonna see this <laughs> one last time. And God willing, Ludwig will fall and the sword will be ours. You my side all along. We can become a true church hunter ourselves. My God. This time. I hope. All I can promise is my best effort. But it will be an effort. Yeah. This game is so bad. It's just... It doesn't even really matter that getting my butt beat. It's just... I'm just happy to beat what? Okay. Dodge and dodge. Okay. I am just happy to be here. Welcome back! Got to the second phase again. It's a rare enough occurrence to celebrate. Dodge. It's going okay. So actually, dodge timing on that isn't horrible. Okay. It's just, if we manage to dodge out of the way. That running charge. Okay, well, alright. Come on, just... Come on, just go! Okay, dodge and... Come on. Oh! Nice! Visceral, visceral. Well, alright. Visceral. Never mind. Okay. Well, now he just. Oh, he's in a horrible position there. Oh, what? What? Never mind, I guess. Yeah, this is. this is truly tragic. Worst part is, we didn't even get the visceral. So the big thing is, if I got. If I didn't get the visceral, I could at least. Pound him heavy with a hammer. And whenever they're in a visceral window, they take extra damage, huge amounts of extra damage from your next attack, but the big thing is is that Ferris 4, God bless him, told me about a very cool farm here. God bless them. Every time we go here, we can get five blood vials. But big thing is I need to make sure not to take him down a quarter of his health when he's by the wall. Because what I wanted to do was run around him. And that way I could just have it not hit me. Unfortunately, he was right by the wall and I couldn't do that. Come on. Oh, alright. Come on. Just look at cross way. And can we hit? Kind of. Kind of. Kind of. This is... okay. The attacks you've chosen are not as good as last time. Not as good for us at least. Better for you. Ludwig said, this time I will have a self-preservation answer. Well... Put some blood out. What do you now? One, two, and just charge it up. Boop. There we go. Okay. Good. Space, breathing room, and just come on. Oh. Let's do it. Long combo. And there we go. Boop. Nice. Okay. Cool. Let's do one after slides. We can try to hit a bit better. Let's just run in. Slam. Slam with a hammer. Cool. Oh my goodness. Now we run, now we run, now we run. Run, run, run. Okay, cool. Come on, just... 
What are you gonna do now? And do so. Okay. So dodge sort of diagonally ahead. This is dodge and just charge. Oh. Oh, oh. 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 Well. Okay. And then we'll just yep. dodge, dodge, and yep, yep. We managed to get through some of that. Okay. And just dodge. Oh. Let us. Oh. One, two, and. Hand or slam? Oh. Okay, we're close. One more hit. Dodge and charge. Oh. Okay. Sixth time is the charm. Please. Please. <laughs> but. Yes! Six time I got this out of this phase, and then. All along. This one should be easier, but it's. You know, it's just sort of a matter of. You have to get past the first phase to get to the second. You have to be in the second to learn the second phase, and it's. It's a whole thing. It's a whole thing. I got a mercy on my soul. But. It's just. The music during the cutscene for the phase transition is so good. Cues in so well. But it's two separate themes, each with its own bit of Latin. It's really cool. That did really nice. So if we stand close, we can actually avoid him pretty well. Okay, just out of the way of that. We run in close. We just charge it up and boom! Oh! Come on, just dodge out of the way, dodge out of the way. Come on, come on. When I get you to 25 health, I want you to be close. Come on, just one, two, and... What are you gonna do? It's one, two, and three, and charge up the hammer. Boom. There we go, and just visceral. There we go, okay. Thank you, and just to me. Okay, so now we need to... Okay, come on, just run out of the way, run out of the way, and... What? Honestly, honestly... How do you dodge that attack? I feel like the best way to dodge that... Seven times the charm. Best way to dodge that would be... Actually rolling diagonally towards him when he slams it down to try to get behind. Given how good trying to get behind him is, it's just... I thought I would actually have been able to run while locked on. And that was the issue. Uh, this... I'm having fun. It's pain and suffering, but I'm having fun. I will say, the director of Souls, Hidetaka Miyazaki, has repeatedly said that his... Affinity for poison swans is due to a certain masochistic, ma a certain personal masochistic streak. And to be fair, I can't imagine that the enjoyment of Souls games by people who do in fact enjoy them is too far off. Okay. Well, we do know what we're doing now, more or less. All we have to do is. Get a decently cooperative string of attacks. <laughs> go for him. There we go. Right on you. And let's see. Let's see oh, just. Well, we didn't get that swap combo, sadly. Dug and just charge. That again missed. You can't afford to not lock on to that. And you can't afford to lock on to that. Dug and come on, just. Uh, uh. Yeah, I'm just dodge, dodge. Spin swipe is not so I can really afford to do that in any. Thank you. That was. That wasn't even Ludwig, that was the camera. I had. I was blocking that mouth. I didn't even really see he was gonna spit. Okay, okay. It's just. That's what my life's become. 
My life has become an endless cycle of respawn in the hunter's nightmare. Use a charged heavy attack to take out the witch. So that she doesn't try to get me. Kill the rat corpse. Get five more blood vials. Go to Ludwig. Sometimes get to phase two. Always die to Ludwig. I didn't even see this for a What is this even? Come on. What? 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 Okay. That was something. Okay, that was Vulture. Yeah, if I really wanted to, I could actually summon Vulture for this fight. I don't want to. But, apparently, as you may or may not know, if you do Vulture's quest line by crushing five vermin, you actually... Not only does he disappear, but he stays summoned even after disappearing, but his title every time you summon him changes to Vulture the Beast Eater. He was that possible. Oh goodness. One, two. This may be a pretty bad spot to be in. Let's just but I didn't know you could do that. Okay. Suit yourself, I guess. No, just what? There we, there we go. Oh no. Okay. And just dodge out of the way. And. Come uh, on. Oh, oh, oh. 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 Gotta be. Well. Nothing new was revealed by killing those screws. I had seen that summon sign before. I had just died so many times that I forgot who was there. It's. Yeah, this is Bloodborne. How do you go hollow in Bloodborne? By being me. By being bad. By using Boom Hammer. This is an epic Boom Hammer moment. Yeah. This is why all the powder kegs died out. All their weapons were goofy and slow. And people with saw cleavers just cut them all down. Oh, Hajimash sent you, real me over here. I'm having lots and lots of fun playing Bloodborne. Well, you see. If I were good, I would do a different challenge, or maybe not do this. You see, talent and skill can be about game knowledge and not overextending yourself. And you see, I am overextending myself. But how are you doing? We are... I'm not getting demotivated. I'm getting realistic. Oh, come on. Embarrassing. Oh, 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 oh. So we got you. Build that up real quick. It's just... I'm doing great. How are you? We are having a wonderful time playing Bloodborne. Emphasis on time. Okay. And can we just... Well, I don't... Yeah, he... Yeah. They're all enjoying watching me just go all over here. Spin. So I, if you want, I could do that actually. If it's making it hard to do me, especially since I am trying to stay clogged for the benefit of other people in my eyes, it would not be unreasonable. Okay. Boom. And we were too slow. You're too slow. I can't believe Ludwig is Sonic the Hedgehog from the Sonic the Hedgehog series. Okay, so that kind of worked. I go into sound settings. I could make it work. So I just turn it down. Oh, he's insane. I love this guy. It's just. People have said that the fact that he's both the best humanoid boss in the game and the best beast boss in the game is a testament to just how hard they cook. Okay, okay. I'll do that one. Let me just see where the. Elgato Audio. Turn that from minus 14.7 decibels to go for minus 17.4 decibels. Yeah. What can what can I say? It's a cosmic horror game plus a gothic horror game. Got a little bit of sound for everyone. But what I really like about... Yeah. I said this before, but I was talking to a cousin about this time last week at Easter about Bloodborne, because he's a big Souls guy too, but he really, really likes Ludwig. 
Yeah, exactly. I have to. And exactly, my hands are on the controller. The headphone is on my. The headphones are on my head. I can't cover my ears or turn away. Then he'd just kill me faster. Okay. The other way, other way. We're doing well. But. Rio Mio Eru E. If it's not. Just in case you'd like to know. And no pressure, of course. There is a goofy fan cord, where among other things I post schedules. So if you'd like to see me suffer in other Souls games again, thank you PlayStation Plus. PlayStation Plus jump scare. So I'm not. I don't care about play PS Plus. All I care about is Bloodborne. Bloodborne machine. Bloodborne machine. Okay. But it's. After I got done with Bloodborne, which should be in a couple of weeks, should be next weekend. I'm trying to go through the chalices. Exactly. Every time I play Minecraft, it's always a gamble. Is Larry gonna is Larry gonna still be asleep? Whether it's in the morning or in the evening, is he gonna be asleep? But other way, I play this. I play modded Minecraft. Other things every now and then. But I would say that generally speaking, I'm kind of a action RPG guy. Third person action maybe more generally. Because I would like to try to play Devil May Cry and Monster Hunter and Metal Gear Rising eventually. Also normal Metal Gear. Maybe. We'll see. There are a lot of good games out there in the world and precious little crap. Yeah, exactly. You didn't have to worry about missing the stream. Because he was asleep, and it didn't happen. That's... It's life in 2024. Life in 24 is being a streamer, playing Minecraft, and not being able to do it because your friend is asleep. Oh, come on. Not this again. Come on, just... Oh! Same attack three times in a row, you've got to be good. Come on, just... You're not even going for the big combo. Oh, please. Such an awful tax rate. Run and give me, give me, give me a charge or something I can actually counter. To be fair, to be fair, it wouldn't have been bad to counter them. Jump attacks as long as, ah, uh, you know, come on, come on, and just, and that's when you go for your big combo. You've got to be getting it. It's a bad set of... Oh. It's just... This is a fun flight, and a lot of it is just my fault for using Boom Hammer. You know, with the fact that I actually have Arcane built and Strength, it's just sort of, you know, I should use Boom Hammer. It's the only weapon with innate fire damage. And you know what Ludwig is weak to? Fire damage. So far, I'd honestly say Ludwig. I haven't beaten him yet, and he is kicking my ass five ways till Sunday. To be fair, Sunday's tomorrow, that's not that long. But he has a lot of very interesting attacks. And there's a lot of room for skill expression, and it requires a lot. It I can't claim to say that I know the fight all that well or that I'm doing all that well. But I've had a lot of fun with the Ludwig. I would say a close second right now is Wet Nurse. Not because it's particularly interesting or hard, but just because she takes double damage from Rapid Poison slash Bleed. So I was able to just take out Chica. It is. It is my first time playing. Technically, I've played it played through a few more times. Well, in a very limited sense, in the sense of... One time, I was staying over at a friend's... Well, not staying over at a I was in a friend's dorm room back in college, and he said, Try Bloodborne. And I made a character, a silly looking character, and gave it a suitably silly name, and died against the first Scourge Beast in UCF's clinic, and did not go any farther, and that was it. And then another time I was at a friend's house, the same friend a few years later, and he decided to do it again as a drinking challenge. And I played a little bit after everyone else got, got too drunk to actually play the game. And then another time when I was getting the setup, I did a little bit of 
for my own, just to familiarize myself with the controls and just to make sure it worked from a technological standpoint. But this is the first time I've ever actually really played in play. Which, it's been a lot of fun. It really has been fun. Just run, 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 run. And... Okay, you didn't kill me. That's great. Just let me... Charge! Well, that didn't quite work. And just... Kill, kill. Thank you, thank you. To be fair, I've played... I played Dark Souls 1, Dark Souls 2, and Elden Ring, so it's... I wouldn't say muscle memory, but it's... They're similarly applicable skills. And to be fair, I have also been at this one boss for a while, so... If you saw me mess up all the other times, you might be a little less impressed. Dodge, and let's just charge up that. Boom, and... Oh, no stagger. That kind of sucked. Just dodge! I thought that would've worked. Yeah. I'd say... I am a decent Souls player, and to be fair, I don't like bragging. Number one, I find it to be a bad habit. Number two, if I boast and immediately get kicked, <laughs> to be fair, it does make for good comedy. <laughs> but yeah, this is, it's a really, really fun boss. It's just, yeah, it, there was, if you know the account Slow Estes Memes on Twitter, they do a lot of Dark Souls fan discussion and various memes, you know, as the name would suggest. But they did a poll a few days ago about which is the hardest Dark Souls game. And there were actually a lot of people who talked about how they personally thought Dark Souls 3 was, or at the very least the poll said that a decent sized majority of people said it was 3. And to be fair, a lot of it might have been the fact that, no, people thought it was Dark Souls 1. And a lot of people said a lot of it might be because a lot of people have only really played Dark Souls 3, or only really played Dark Souls 3, and therefore... A lot of the difficulty of Dark Souls 1 is less about mechanical execution and more about game knowledge, being patient. It's a different kind of difficulty. It's not the fast-paced game that Bloodborne, and, that Bloodborne and Dark Souls 3 are. You... You like that joke, don't you? To be fair, so do I. But it, it's a very different kind of difficulty. And it's not the kind of thing that a lot of people do would really call themselves Souls fans or all that used to, I would say. Because most people, you know, if you play every Souls game, and so most of your time playing Bloodborne, Elden Ring, Dark Souls 3, a lot of the faster paced games. Dark Souls 1, and I suppose Demon Souls, though, aside from the remake and even then, not a lot of people are gonna play that. Well, it's... Yes and no, yes and no. One, two, and... Okay, we're getting a lot of these attacks. That's good. These are ones that are easiest for me to counter. Okay, there. I'm gonna go for the win, and... Slam the hammer. There we go. Come on, come on. Oh, well, oh, oh. He ended right at me. Don't like that. Come on, just dodge, dodge, dodge. Here, just move in, can we hit? That was silly. That was a bad idea. Come on, just dodge. Okay. Something of that is tough. Come on, just... Uh, uh, uh. Come on. Go in, go in. Get a jumper. Shoot, and dodge, and... Oh. Let's get up to full health. For a while, I didn't even know that there was that... Blood Vile Farm from... The one run courts. So I was just... I'd started running out and I thought I would need to go to Central Yarn to farm a bit. Okay. Come on, just dodge and... Can we? Yes. No, we can miss. Can't actually hit the block, but... Okay, dodge and... Can we... There we go. Oh, no. Okay, not a stagger, but... This is actually among the slower runs I've done so far, but... That was good damage. This, this is why you use boom hammer. You struggle a lot, but when it works, it works. Whoop. Okay, and that kind of worked. Hmm. It's just, what are you going to do now? Oh, and now we work. Oh, what? Okay. Cool. And, oh, there we go. It's visceral. And end this phase with the funny attack. Oh, good. Okay. So, this is going to be the seventh time we've gotten to this phase. Every time I've said, 
This is gonna be the time I beat it. So let's watch the cutscene again. It's so cool. It's just... I do think... Though to be fair, it's... One I've both experienced personally and listened to a lot on my own. Ludwig's theme, the music transition, the music in general... So good. What I love so much about Ludwig is just... How well the lyrics are done? The Latin grammar isn't good, but a lot of that is just deliberate for artistic expression. Do you know each other, or is it just saying hi? One way or another, I'm glad to... It's nice to connect people like this. Dodge, dodge, and... Let's get up to max health. And just... Oh, come on. If you're going for me... Just... Charge me, charge me, and there we go. Okay, okay. Well, you know, fair enough. You know, I do like, as dumb as it sounds, there is, you know, it's so far off and so un unguaranteed, but even if I were to somehow get big, I, the big thing is just running around this attack, that's a thing, okay. Just gonna run around and just make sure. Oh, okay, well, actually, okay. Oh! That's not bad at all. So I didn't even need to run around him. I just need to get on the other side. Oh, I'm an imbecile. Okay. This should hopefully be preeminently doable. We'll see. Come on. Boom. Just out of the way, out of the way, and. Don't kill me. Only a few more hits. This could be sweet. This could be sweet. Well, I'm just one, two, and forward charge hammer. Boom, and it's not a visceral, but I think we get him down a little lower, we should be able to finish this off with a visceral. Yeah, it's it's not a bad thing. Fare thee well, Ludwig. No visceral, but. Our sword is here. Our sword is here. Also, what's interesting about this guidance rune is that's the only one of its kind, but there's... In the data, you can get higher. We just can't actually do it in practice. Hope Wonder Wood, like, along with the Holy Moonlight Sword. I got better. I'm better than this guy. I'm out of life recovered by rallying. When Ludwig closed his eyes, he saw darkness. Perhaps nothingness. And that is where he discovered the tiny beings of light. Ludwig was certain that these playful dancing sprites offered guidance emptied Ludwig of his fears, at least in the midst of a hunt. So what we need to do now is, well, first, let's actually talk to him normally. Because he... Thank you, thank you, by the way. Let's talk. Good hunter. Have you seen the thread of light? Not myself, Just no. Just a hair, a fleeting thing. thing. Yet I clung to it, steeped as I was in the stench of blood and beasts. Can't say I blame you. I never wanted to know what it really was. Really, I didn't. Still can't blame you. But we can offer him some modicum of comfort if we wear a church outfit. He really is. You know, he suffered enough. We could put him out of his misery to smash and get his sword, but all thanks to me, we should punch him with care. We'll give him some respect. Tell me, good hunter of the church. Because that is what I am, sure. Light Maybe. Church hunters. The Honorable Spartans. I hoped they would be. I don't know what Sparta is. This is Yarnum. But yeah, sure. Whatever will bring you some modicum of comfort. Ah, good. That is a relief. To know I did not suffer such denigration for nothing. Thank you kindly. Now I may sleep in peace. Even in this... Darkest of nights, I see the moonlight.
And now... We may inherit his will. And this... Is the weapon that will carry me... Pretty far to the end of the game. I have... But well, first let's actually try the moveset. Simple. It seems a little heavier than Holy Boy to actually... Which makes sense, because it's bigger. This is... Let's check this description real quick. An arcane sword discovered long ago by Ludwig. When blue moonlight dances around the sword and it channels the abyssal cosmos, its great blade will hurl a shadowy light wave. The holy moonlight sword is synonymous with Ludwig the Holy Blade. But few have ever set eyes on the Great Blade, and whatever guidance it has to offer, it seems to be of a very private, elusive sort. Well, whatever it is, we have inherited his will. And it's up to us to carry on. This mission of putting a stop to the plague of blood and beasts. Let's try this moveset a little. Let's see everything we have. Big thing is, is that this, as I think two out of three of the people, <laughs> actively talking right now already know can transform into well if you just don't use it around people if you use it in a solo fight or something and this transformation attack explodes the aura on the sword but generates an aura to transform from a normal sword to the moonlight greatsword and it deals it doesn't deal all of its illicit arcane damage in this form but it deals a good amount, which is really our best source of working damage, but when you use an R2 attack, it consumes a bullet, fires off a wave. It's incredibly cool. A lot of people would say that this is the best version of the Moonlight Sword in a Souls game. And in addition to that, oh, let me see. Right, and if you follow up, it consumes a bullet for another wave. And the L2 attack does a thrust. No way, but it does fire a bullet. So what I'm going to do right now, actually, is go back and use all of the Bloodstone Chunks, Shards, and the one Blood Rock I bought with 60 Insight. Thank you, Update. That update was eight years ago. To take this thing all the way to plus 10. We're in business. We are in business. Fortify weapon, and this is our thing. That's where we're taking it. All the way to plus 10. This is good against Lady Maria, but I don't think I'll be fighting her today. Not even sure how far I'll get through lecture. I mean, research all the day. Here we go. Very, very nice weapon. And right now it's at plus 50. It's 150 arcane damage, which to be fair is only... 105 arcane AR when you do the non-bullet consuming attacks, but either way we can put some nice gems in this. Since we're going to research hall now, we're not going to be fighting beasts anymore, so I'm going to take off most of these gems, and nothing is on Holy Blade right now, but this is what I want. 189 physical up, but anything that increases Let's see, arcane attack up, but, hmm, attack up, so we got some nourishing, that's good, uh, but this is a good combination of both, and then, let's put some stuff in here and see, can we get, is there nourishing in here, there should be, we did put one on the hammer too, let's look for nourishing one, not sharp, but nourishing. There we go. And this one should be not gold. We're not going to be using this against beasts. What can we do to get attack up? Arcane attack up would be good for now. This would make the AR higher, but... We're taking this for arcane damage, so... I do think what I might want to do next is actually... Put a bunch of thrust-related gems on... Ludwig's Holy Blade? Because when you do an R2 and it's transformed form, it's all thrust damage, but it's really, really good 
At this point, the only person who I'm saying this for the benefit of for is stressing me out because everyone else here has played this game before and knows more about it than me. They told me where to farm those blood vials. Okay. Just over there, so just physical attack up. Is there any gonna be any gym that increases arcane and No, I'm not you don't have to leave, I'm just drawing light to the fact that all this narration is just reminding some people of what they already know. Only love, only love here. What would I do without you around? I would cry, and I would know far fewer things about Italy, especially southern Italy. But yeah. So, just question for everyone here. What's your favorite boss you've in a Souls game that you fought or watched? No hatred. So just you can get. Let's get a bit of arcane on this. Fairy tailing. What can I say? What can I say? I, I'm in a good mood. I'm in a good mood right now. Let's just any kind of. There. Yeah, exactly. There are a lot. I do regret that when I fought Executioner's Chariot in Dark Souls 2, I didn't know about the fact that you can not cheese it, but if you deal damage to it while it's running around, eventually it won't be able to make be able to jump the gap in the arena. So this. I need to... This is actually... This is good. I'll stick with this. And then for Holy Blade, I'll put... Let's just see what I can... 195, but not attack versus kin down. I could actually take durability down. Maybe. But, uh, no, that's good too. And if we... Let's see what we can get for Thrust. I feel like a Thrust away to gym should be my best. Radon and Ludwig. Now, Ludwig was really good. That was an insanely fun fight. Oh, oh, when I was trying to fight Asylum Demon without any weapons to try to get the hammer. Yeah, that was very, very silly of me. The funniest thing about it, honestly, is just... I never got stats high enough in that run to actually use... Demon's Great Hammer, and even if I had, it's an awful weapon. It's really, really bad. But... It was funny trying to just punch it down right between the butt cheeks. But... That's life. That does not work all that well. And then the last one should be a tempering one kind of in the middle here. Do not need to deal with these curses. Physical attack. 261 and anything higher. 66. Oh, skill sailing. And then add. 278. Then... Okay, but actually... Thrust attack up and a slow poison effect. Thrust attack up. That is... Oh, blunt up? No, but I don't want that. It doesn't even do blunt. It doesn't even do blunt. This is still the best. Okay. So this is what I'm going with now. I'm going to compare the AR a little. That's... 498, so almost 500. Not crazy physical damage, but 60. It's about... And then... 22. It's about 580, so. It's doing good damage, to be fair. Holy Moonlight is a bit more upgraded right now. I have not played Dark Souls 3 yet. At least not at length. I d did. I couldn't get controller to work, because. Well, I didn't care to get controller to work when I played around very briefly. I was just sort of, okay, I want to see how well I can do with just mouse. And I did manage to beat Gundir, which is what it is. And that was fun at all. Yeah. I'm looking forward to it. Like, I think, I'm not sure you were here when I said it, but my goal is to, after I get through Bloodborne, get through Dark Souls 3, and then second row before Elden Ring DLC comes out. Gamino, go on. Well, I'm not doing that right now. Very well, let me. And maybe again, Demon Souls, if I can fit it in, find a way to play it. So it's just sort of... I don't have a PS5. I could... I have a few friends who do, and maybe I could convince them to let me borrow it. Maybe. Because at least one of them also has... Demon Souls on it. But if I couldn't, I would just... play Demon Souls on emulator, probably. It's decent. Okay. So we're going back to the corpse pit. I think Simon's gonna be there now. By the way, we have our funny arcane sword. It's exciting. Up to the underground corpse pile. 
What a name. What a name. Yeah. But. Very few things hit like Souls games. Just. I like games that. I would say that my favorite kinds of games are games with at least a high capacity for skill expression and a decent skill barrier. Generally, single player action RPG kind of games. Because. I just want to see if I went back to I want to teleport out a bit briefly I want to see if Simon has anything new to say now that we've beaten Ludwig well not competitive the entire reason I like souls is that they're not competitive the only person you're fighting is yourself in the game well sometimes you get invaded but you know if I've got people watching, it's about as fun to die to an invader as it is to beat an invader, so it's not that bad. But it's just the fact that I don't have to... Nobody else has to lose for me to win, and I like that. And on a similar, related, and maybe more important note, I don't have to lose for other people to win. Yeah, yeah, I do like challenges, but I... Might have mentioned this before, but I played... I used to be really into Splatoon. And I like the game. And I'm slowly working my way through, sometimes on stream, the DLC for Splatoon 3, and it's fun. Beware. Okay, nothing new. But I don't particularly enjoy... competitive all the time. And to be fair, the toxicity of Splatoon was significantly limited by the fact that there's no voice chat with strangers. But at one point, and this does not, kinda. Depends on how much you react to your Pikmin dying. If you're heartless, well, I am heartless, but in a different kind of way. I only bully chat, and only when they bully me. But, ah, uh, if you don't react all that well to your Pikmin dying, it's basically nothing, but it is. It's what the first word means, among other things. Could also mean enlightened, could also mean begging for money. I don't think that one is all that relevant. Exactly, you know. You always gotta give as good as you get. But, either way, I do plan to play through Dark Souls 3 after I get done with BB. So, either way, we are going to continue onwards. That's a lot. So he is utterly maddened, and the only thing we can do is eventually give him a mercy kill, but... Well, we'd have to find him first. Well, find a way in first. That one's locked, too. It's two locked doors. Oh, church servants! Hello! Hi there. What's up the damage of this thing? Oh, goodness. Let's see if you can... Can you shoot, or... That's... Oh, goodness. Slam, and... Oh, the jump attack actually hit. Interesting. Okay. Alright, and just one. Two. Two, three. Okay. Oh, and he was manning that cannon. Oh, well, he wasn't manning the cannon. It just... Okay. 844, but... I do want to see whether Holy Blade or Moonlight Sword would deal more damage. I do imagine that Holy Blade is going to deal a bit more damage, just because it isn't split AR. But, once I get into a situation where I really want to be dealing arcane damage, which... Lady Maria is arcane weak. It's not a number, how can it be odd? Is this a Sure, I hear a bell. Uh. Excuse me. Okay. Nah, nah, there are more fights. I wanna. And that's exactly what I am. Heartless could also be mindless.
Hmm. So there are at least like, three locked doors I found. Okay. Hmm. Just gonna... One, two, three. Oh, oh, okay. Hmm. Is there a key I could find somewhere? There is... Okay, well, frenzied cold blood. One, two, three. Not this one, but nothing in here. Three, two, three, four. And then, in here, oh, the Fist of Gracia. That's a funny one. This is a weapon. Well, in the place of a firearm, but you just punch with it. Iron fitted with finger holes, hooking hunter woman simple grashi, ever hopeless hunting hunter hunter firearms, prefer to knock the lights out of beasts, this hunk of iron which incidentally caused heavy stagger. She was a fearsome hunter, to onlookers her unrelenting pummeling appeared oddly heroic. No wonder this weapon later assumed her name. Oh, that's decent, actually. Well, uh, you know, now we want to use the Okay. Let's just see if anything's in here, and more nothing! Nice! So just... Is this... Is this her? Yeah, that would be Gracia, right? This is gonna be mean, but... Executional thanks to Dillard? Okay, so some of those corpses would spray blood when you hit them. Such is not true of this one. Come for cooperators. But... Interesting. I don't see anything here. This is... wait. This is... what is this place? Can't really tell, and... oh, a giant rat! Hi. Come on, just 435, and... let's see. Yeah, basically. Yeah, yeah. I guess, if I can't really make use of... or don't want to really make use of the projectiles, better off sticking to this. Who is the knife on the rat? I would assume it was stuck in the rat. Hi. Oh! Aha! Uh -huh, movement frames. And then... Bloodstone chunk. So what else? It's the only one I've got right now. So... Holy Blade, Holy Moonlight Sword, Chikage, Boomhammer, and Tonitris. Boomhammer, Tonitris, and Holy Blade. It's just... I don't think I'll- I'm definitely not gonna get enough insight to give them all the plus 10 by via blind blood rocks, but I'll hopefully get a few of them. Oh, that's the thing. Big one is I think Holy Blade might go next. Big one's wisdom. Please carry on in my stead. How much could we get if we used up all this? Actually, we could- 52. We could get all the way to 56, so we're actually decently close. Decently. Where of Oh, wait, Maria, maybe? This is... Oh, oh, hi. Hello. Oh, interesting, you've got a Holy Blade, too. Oh, hello. And just... Battery low! Oh, goodness, that's bad news. I can just plug this thing in, though. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, that's an answer to it. Well, in that case, you know... There can be worse times for a bathroom break. I will return to you all shortly. Okay. Come on. Thank you, thank you, thank you.
Or on Sekiro. Or Sekiro. As it's probably more accurately pronounced. The thank you. Glad to be back. One of the major plot elements is the infestation of water by centipedes. Which give people immortality, but also well, you you get infested with centipedes. I think the downside is kind of self-explanatory. Alright. Back to the grindstone. Maybe. Okay. Come on. I just want to see how well I can... Come on, just... You're right there. Let me just... Oh, well, alright. That didn't work all that well, did it? Yeah, it didn't. Okay. Come on, just... Boy, the blade's not... What? Hmm... Okay. I wanted to try to use the cage ball to block those bullets, and I did it just incorrectly. This is literally so sad. Hmm. Okay then. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Hmm. These are zero value blood stone. Okay, there we go. I just want to, oh, interesting. Well, let's see if we can. There we go, and this roll. And our health drain did kill you, but. Oh, wow, it didn't even kill. Okay, cool. That killed. Good amount of bullets. Now we go back up and we fight those two. Those two gals. Do I hear something? I think it's just the rats. Rats, rats, where are the rats? Okay. Mm. One, two. I wonder what's up with them. They look like that. Nothing there. Hmm. All we gotta do is take on these enemies. Oh, that's Viker and Yule's prayer, too. Hmm. Main where to marry of the frailty of men. Let's just... There we go. Okay, cool. Nice. Got you. How are we gonna... Oh, who is... Who is doing what? What is that? I don't know. That... Oh, that, that black sky, I think. Probably. Just go for it. Hmm. Oh, I just. Oh! Uh, come on. Let me just. Where am I gonna. Ah! Uh, what? I am. I shouldn't try to parry like Her stabs are too fast. They wouldn't get interrupted and not get hit anyway. Hmm. Yeah. Going for parries is not a trap. But if you want to do it, you have to be better than this. <laughs> hmm. Okay. I'm halfway through my third and final pretzel rod, and then no more chewing noises. Hmm. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay. Don't worry, it's just me and my nonsensical obsession with professionalism. Quote and quote. There we go. There we go. And let's go that back and big thing is we can actually decently go for a fully charged strong attack on her to start the fight off as long as we sneak up correctly, which should help some things. Oh, please. What? Uh. Come on, just come on. 
two. There we go. Dead rat. There was a series of books that I read a few times when I was younger called Wayside School. And there were these collection of short stories that took place in a school that had built weird, been built weirdly and correctly. So every classroom was just stacked on top of the other. So instead of having one floor with 23 classrooms or whatever, it was 23 stories high with a classroom on each floor. Which it was an interesting con concept, but most of what was weird about it was just the things that happened. But for whatever reason, there was this common motif of dead rats. And it included, at one point, and I remembered it very vividly, there was this weird kid, I think his name was Sammy, who was in a big raincoat, and that's all he ever wore. And one time the teacher asked him to take off his raincoats. His raincoat, and underneath it was just another raincoat. Like Kakashi's mask in Naruto. And eventually, just kept taking off more and more coats. And eventually, they ran out of all the coats, and underneath there was no kid, just a dead rat. Oh, that's a one-tap. It's insane. Okay. Let the girl cook, I guess. Hmm. Well. Well, you know, that's what happens when you go to a school that's it's not like 23 stories high. Hey, never mind. I needed some rice crackers. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Exactly. Not only a rat classmate, but a dead rat classmate. It is meaningfully similar to how at the start of the Forbidden Woods in this game, there was a guy who was asking for the password, and when he opened up the door, when he let him through, he saw that he was quote unquote already dead, which makes no sense. Yeah. I can't believe, yeah, Wayside School reference in Bloodborne. They said it would never happen, and they were right. Mm -hmm. Who is they? I really don't know. This looks kind of like a door. Hmm. Okay. Well, whatever. Come on, come on. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Just hit, hit. There we go. Rat blood all over the floor. That's how I like to live my life. Hmm. Oh, interesting. Did the teachers ever catch on? Were they just buying them from pet supply stores or something? Like, the stuff you get to feed a snake? Okay. Okay, well, she... She's still doing her prayer thing. Uh-huh. Okay. Let me just... Let me just... One, two... Oh. All right, get in close. Where can I, where can I find you? Get in close, get in close, and just one, two, oh, oh, oh. come on, come on, just one, two. I don't want to fight her right now. Oh, it goes through the terrain. Oh, interesting. Let's just what? How can it? Wow. That is actually really hard to avoid. There's only so much you can do to use terrain to get around it. Wow. Hmm. Okay. Oh. Huh. Interesting. Oh, 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 oh. Come on, and just out of, out of the way. Now just one, one, two. Oh, we were so close. Okay. Well, maybe if it's the same time, maybe, and I'm only playing devil's advocate here, there's a non-zero possibility that the rats are just seasonal or something, like cicadas. Okay. If you have a, if you have a farm cat, just have the, have the cat get it. As in, never saw any rats at any other time, or as in, you never found any rats or so? Maybe rats hate goblins. It's possible. Wait, what? 
Oh, you can't go through the chair? Oh, weird. Come on, just weird. Okay. Hmm. Let me just. There we go. This will. Okay, okay. I figured. I was just checking. Okay. You just need fast hands. Hmm. I just want to see. Or what I could do is just. You know what? Got lots of bullets and nothing to do with them other than this, so. Let's see if we can. Oh my goodness. Come on. There we go. Let's see if I can just. Do a beam on it. Let's see. Oh, right. A, a rat trap or mouse trap or yeah. Come on. Hmm. Oh, please. Oh, the range on that isn't that bad, actually. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, but that, that attack is really good, though. You can get the full charge off it. Works really well. Okay. Get around to your ends. There we are. Cool. There we are, and one more, one more. There we go. Goodbye, goodbye. Okay. Now I understand the appeal of this weapon. That man's knowledge. So just. Hmm. So I'll just pulverize you now. Hi. And you have a threaded gain. I don't know. What? Oh, interesting. That didn't hit you. Okay. Dodge. I actually want a round. Okay. One, two, three. Thought that might not hit. No, it did. Dodge and. Hmm. One, two, three. One. There we go. We've eliminated both of these hunter gals. Cool. And. Ten quick silver bullets. Okay. So what can I get now? Maybe I probably could have gotten whatever's here before actually going for the kill, but eh. Oh, is this oh, this is the research hall altar. Right. Let's see. This I pen the surgery altar. Altar skull. Ruin church. Okay. River of Blood. There we go. Insert eye pendant. Grant eyes. And a bell? Oh, here the bell. A bell and a hat that looks like kind of like Master Willems. Somebody with a book. And somebody being operated on. Interesting. Gotta slip it under. Oh, you put it in the skull. Oh, wow. That's grotesque. Okay. Let's do this thing. It's one heck of an elevator. I don't know if there's anything down there that I could try to go back and get, maybe. Okay. Going up. Huh. But I wonder if lever actually makes any difference, given that there's a cutscene here. If I went back to the other area, would it even... Oh no, it does work. It's actually, if you step on there, that's the button that determines whether it... Okay. Hmm. How far is it down does that go? It's not all that crazy. You know, I do think I'd like to check and just see whether there's anything underneath. Just to be sure. Cannot imagine there would be. I do like that it makes a little creak and groan when it reaches its destination. That sounds almost human. Let's see if Oh, there's nothing down there, is there? Wait. I think I see something, but it might just be a reflection. 
Let's see. The, oh, uh huh. Uh huh. And I was right to suspect. This is Inspector Surgery Alter. We got Lawrence's skull. Interesting. And this. Something else we need. First Viker of the Healing Church. In reality, he became the first cleric beast, and his human skull exi only exists within the nightmare. His skull is a symbol of Lawrence's past and what he failed to protect. It's destined to seek his skull, but even if he found it, he could never restore his memories. What I wonder is. Remember, secret. Yep. Let me see. Should I go fight Lawrence now? Because I could. It's back near the start of the nightmare. I think it would be worth it. Maybe. Because I do need to fight him eventually. We'll see. Hmm. Is that elevator too loud? Does it drown me out? I think it might be worth maybe turning input capture down a bit. Let's see. Okay. Oh, even then. It does seem to have worked pretty well so far, so we should probably be good. I think I might be able to get a quick level up. Either way, getting rid of these before they disappear. Using up my blood echoes whenever possible is a smart way to do things. Okay. Very well, let me. Okay. Hit a blood tinge. Only gonna not much. Decent for the chica game, though. It's not what we're using right now. Okay. Because we could fight Lawrence, or we could go back to... Actually, maybe I could put Kin Hunter Gem on this? Maybe. Hmm. Holy Blade needs... Well, let's actually see real quick. How many chunks do I have? Not that many. This takes Kin Hunter Gem somewhere. Should be somewhere. Back versus the kin up. That would kin up multiple kin hunter gems. 14. 5. 70. Hmm. Well, no, actually. The damage on that would not. Keeping the physical damage up is going to work better than putting an actual Kid Hunter gem there. Okay. Hmm. Back to the research hall. So I do think Ludwig is an early hard fight, but if we manage to... Warren shouldn't be too bad, I don't think. We'll see. I think I'll fight Lawrence is the last thing I do today. We'll see. Either way, there should be... Got some insight. If you're a blobby thing. We should all be kin, I think. We'll see. One, two... Good damage. Two bloodstone chunks. So, in theory, I need... Holy Moonlight Sword, Holy Blade, Boom Hammer, and Tonitrus are all plus eight right now. So I would need 24 chunks in total. Give them all at least a plus nine and then maybe higher if I felt like it. Let's just see. And oh, another one of these. Okay. And there we go. A little more there. So would anyone see my eyes? 
So sadly, the only thing we can do is just put him out of his misery by stabbing him. Oh, this is slow poison. Treat I with care. And they just regenerate. Yeah, tell me. Always. Always hear anything fun. And wait, what? Did I do that wrong? Wait. Research all. Did I mess that up? Looking for his eyes. Pale fluid. Insight. Wait, brain fluid? Should it? Oh, I think we have to come back and then it'll spawn it in. Glow elixir? Okay. When we come back, he should regenerate with a bit of brain fluid, I believe. That's locked. Okay. Then we need to use that brain fluid for a quest. Let me just test that theory real quick. Damage the ligament? So... Does not open from this side. A locked door, a door that does not open. And a bunch of locked doors earlier on. So, I know we talked before about how not knowing is worse than knowing. So if you know, you can at least treat it, or at least know what it is. Do you think that applies here? Because at least in theory, you can hopefully get that fixed. I hope. Okay. Back and he should hopefully have his brain forward, maybe? Well, either way, at least you know what's going on. I feel like... You can take some heart in that. What part is actually fun? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> Let's see, does he have brain forward? A brain fluid here. Let's see. Let's see. And he just. What is he gone? Gone. Oh, okay. All right. Okay. Gaslighting doctor. Yeah, that. M maybe you should feed him to feed him to farm animals or something. Hi there. Hello. And, oh, interesting, so thrust is good, but it only does so much. Hmm. Okay, just... Come on. What? What? Okay. Two, two. To vote for his daughter for what? In what context? What? Student council president? Well, oh, politician. Is his daughter Alessandra Mussolini or something? Okay, let's keep on going. Come on, come on. And then... Where is... Oh, there's another... Shame like Madness over there, I think? Let's see. Oh, no, that's another cerebral patient. Oh, well. Oh, oh, okay. Come on, just one, two, three. Okay, okay. It's just... Is she, is she more tolerable than her father, at least? This doctor's child, you know? So we're over here, and... Aha! Uh -huh, okay. You open that. Nice. Let's just... Charge that up, and... Stab. Okay. Maybe for the better. Let's just... Follow up. Stab. Oh, okay. Well, actually, they're pretty... Pretty... Staggerable. Okay. Hmm. Let's just see something. Cookie Neta? Cousin? He called his daughter his cousin. I cannot think of any way that would be not awful. Any non awful implication of that. Oh, oh, it's... You know that? Feed him... Feed it to some weird animal that lives in the woods. Okay. So where should I go next? Well, those are breaking. Nothing really is there. And here is... Hmm. 
you know, it's... That way we can go higher up, but... Oh, oh, uh... Oh, I'm sorry. That's horrible. I thought, I thought, given by what you said about him, that everyone else would despise him, too. I guess not everything can be that pleasant. Okay, actual cousin. Fake cousin. Is that gonna be frenzy or... Let's see. Oh! What are you throwing? Okay. Well, you know, you, you have some... Some comfort in that. Come on, just... And you... This will... What? 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 Huh? I turn around the wrong way once. Don't gang up on me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. She decided not to betray the sisterhood. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. So I'm gonna... Not make that same mistake again. I... There shouldn't be that much in Research Hall. I don't think it's a... I'm pretty sure it's a pretty small area. We'll see. Either way, there are two doors I can't get into on the first one right now. Okay. Struggles with Doctor's Gaslighting. Does she, does she have health issues that she had trouble getting recognition for? Or... Oh, goodness. Die, 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 die. And we rallied almost all that back. Either way, I do regret every time I hear about doctors not taking me seriously. That does suck. I, back when I was doing with a word situation, it's not that doctors didn't take me seriously, but that they just did not have any idea that it might be tapeworms, and it just led to it taking a long time to... Oh. Oh! Yeah, well, that's polite of you. I respect that. And we should have gone and gotten that bloodstain. Now that bloodstain's gone. Nice. Okay. Wonder what the batteries are. Okay. Uh, it is what it is. We, at this point, the damage we deal is not going to be the main issue one way or another. It's just a matter of dodging right. Using the right attacks on the right enemies. There isn't that much difference that's going to be made in this form by how many levels I have, really. Yeah. It's an interesting situation. For sure. Not in a good way. It's gonna be fighting, fighting, fighting. It's gonna be one that's gonna come around. Let's deal with you. Hi there, hello. One, two. Okay. One, two. Okay. Okay. I'm just gonna. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Come on. Oh, 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 what? Huh? One shot? What in the... Okay, we're putting on... Regular Hunter stuff now. That is... Less than pleasant. Okay. Yeah, but tomorrow is definitely going to be Fishing Hamlet. Tomorrow is definitely Fishing Hamlet. I can get through Research Hall today. I don't think I... I don't think I'll fight Lady Maria today, but... You get to fishing him. Right, right, right. We need hunter garb, hunter garb, standard hunter garb. Okay. There we go. That's on me for not taking the church stuff up after Ludwig. Okay. Well, exactly. I'm learning healing church stuff. I place all these patients who are experimented on. Of course, they would be evil against. Well, not evil, but violent. Okay. One, two, and just... Whoop. Oh, I went for a third when I didn't need to. Come on, just... One, two, dodge. Okay, so that guy is gonna be... One stuff in me. You've got my blood echoes. Hi, hold on. One, two. Okay. Blood echoes retrieved. 
Let's not make it the same mistake again. Please. And slash. Come on. Okay. One, two. That's actually open though, so. This cannot afford to be greedy here. Well then, and if I swim me, I'm in a bad spot. One, two, farewell. And you drop. Ah, blah, blah. Okay. Hmm. Let's keep on fighting these guys. Goodness. It's just. So many of them. And. Oh, thank you. Nice. That didn't suck at all. There is. Am I going to come down or. Three sedatives. You're coming down here now. Okay, we should we can get a choke point out here. Can hopefully mow you down a bit better. Come on. Like grass. Like cutting grass. One, two, oh. Okay, okay. Oh, 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 oh. One, two. Oh. Seriously? The worst part is, if I had hit, I would have staggered them, and I would have gotten health back on Rally. What are these guys doing? Hmm. I'd say maybe I could try Tonitrus, but Tonitrus wouldn't stagger. Probably not. It's... Hmm. Cerebral patient. Cerebral. Clock tower patient. Enlarged head patients. They're weak to... Strong against blunt, weak to none. Strictly use blunt attacks. Hmm. Uh -huh. Well, alright then. More blood echoes. Yay. Just so many of these guys and all very aggressive. This is probably Bergenworth. Part of Bergenworth that got sucked into the nightmare. We'll see. Depends on how closely associated Bergenworth and the church are here. What is. What is. No, no, die, die, die. die. Oh. Again? You're kidding me. It's. Big Bloodstain gone. Maybe for the better. It's just... Let's see. Large head patients. Tower patient fists. They are decently weak to fire and bolts. So actually... We could try using Tonitrus for this, maybe. Uh, if I die again, sure. But it's... Tonitrus is no reach. Boomhammer, the work of fire tree, the Boomhammer is horribly slow. Okay. It's just... If they swarm you, I can't do much of anything, but... Sweeping attacks don't have any real range, but... Not as much a vertical range as the thrust, but the thrusts are slow. They don't come out fast enough for these guys. Okay. Oh, whatever. One, two. It's just... Where are they going to come from? Why on earth? Let's just actually see if we can thrust. There we go. That works. Come on, just... We still have the way of that attack. We can counter decently well, but... Oh, I don't want to get over there. Where can I hop down from? Is there, a, there is not a break in the staircase. Can't really get there. Hi! Oh, well, whatever. If we actually got around behind you, you wouldn't be able to do much. Interesting. These guys are certainly something. Okay. Cool. As long as I take this slow and steady, it should be alright. It's... They're, they stagger easily, but there's so many of them. Okay. 
Let's just run this way. A few more will come over. Maybe I could try making use of the staircase. Maybe, maybe. Hmm. I'm down here now. Let's just see how we can. One, two, and just. Hmm. What, 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 what? Oh my lord. What? What? They comboed me. You know, I, I said I thought this would be fast, and it could be, except I'm dying a lot. But it's... And here we've also got living failures, and... What are the resistances again? The boss of this area is called the Living Failures. Always thought that would be a good band name. Actually weakest to Arcane. I mean, bolt. So... Tonitrus would be good for that fight. You can put some Kid Hunter gems on it and just go to town. Increasing the bolt alone would not do much for me. Okay. Come on, come on. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, come on. Come on, just... Come on. More bomb, maybe? Maybe, maybe? Come on, just out of the way, out of the way, and... When are you gonna stop? Oh, 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 oh. Please, please, just... One, two, three... Okay. Uh, these guys are just... Shooters. One, two, three. I'm just... At least Holy Blade is doing good damage to them. This is my only consolation. Hi, okay, well, alright. One, two, and just... Let's roll out of here. Try to get them to come out to a choke point, maybe. Well, okay. One, two, and one, two. Okay. Hmm. One, two. We are trying to get to the top of this building, but these guys here are very difficult to fight, and that is making things harder. What? 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 Oh my! What? Oh come on. So we just need to we go over here and eliminate you. Literally. It's not easy. Really not easy. So let's just roll down here. Start coming down, and if they drop down... No, they're all going down the stairs. Dumb. Do we have any... You know what? You know what? Fine. Time for fun. And just... That's... Oh, but the damage on that is... Pretty... I mean, the range on it is pretty bad. The damage is good. But. Blood vial and. Oh, okay. Come on, just. What? One, two. Okay. One, two. Oh, fuck. Come on. Oh, I could have. I need to actually use Beast Roar for still. I could have done that. I should have done that. Oh, whatever. Time for cleansing. And this over here is... Somebody around the corner. There's somebody around the corner. There is... There's a ladder up here. There was also the other way around. The other route that we previously avoided. I'm going to check in on that. Well, first, some light would be nice. It really is just like Dark Souls 2. Okay. Hi, hello. One, well, we missed. And there we go. There's somebody somewhere, but... Hmm. Hmm. Oh, there you are, actually. That's what we didn't do this time around. Got these guys. So just... Let's see what's in here. And... A few cerebral potions. Have mercy, Hunter. Got bloated heads, and we actually need to mercy and may the good blood good blood guide your way. We need to actually 
slice them up, and we'll get their brain food, I believe. I think. Or, well, maybe from the other ones. We'll see. I know that some of them will respawn on death and drop brain food. We need that for a quest line in here. We'll see. of Queen. Well, either way, may as well take some pity on them. If nothing else, we get a few more blood echoes. Send us the ladder. Where will this take me? There's gotta be... There's somebody up here. It's a little alarming. There's also... Oh, hi. It's gonna lead over to the other ladder over there. That is... Oh, goodness. What is that weapon? Well, luckily... What? 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 Oh, come on. That's insane. Just... Weird. Can I... I should... Maybe be able to parry you. Maybe. Let's see. Okay, move in and thrust. Well, we messed that up. We messed that up. Okay. Come on, just... If you... And parry, visceral. And easy enough. Okay. And warm damp of blood gem. Hmm. Let's check out the rest. Five blood vials, not bad. And what else is in here? It's another ladder, which this is down where I was before. Right. Okay. This was just the way back to previous. Despicable hounds. They're talking about a crazy guy up here. Maybe. Come from that way. Let's see what's up this way. Could be a shortcut to somewhere. But this door that we probably couldn't open otherwise. Okay. This is. Oh, we got funny light. Okay. Hmm. This does seem to have been. Inaccessible previously, maybe? I know there was another, another staircase that does not seem to be connected to this one. Hmm. This is time for rolling. Antidote. Oh, but if you... Ah, you have to jump down there. To get down there, you have to make the jump. Okay, cool. One, two. And... One... Okay, cool. And what's in here? This is... More brain dudes. Oh, hi! What, 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 what? Oh! Poison attack. Okay. Interesting. Let's just see if we can... Go on our menu and... Take an antidote. Okay. Interesting attack you have there. It's not expecting anything like that. Come on, just close enough to alert you. Not great. And... Oh, are you weaker? Are you weaker than normal? Oh, there's a hunter in here. Hello. Hi. And just interesting. Okay. Hmm. Well, hi. So these ones are weak. What are they carrying? Observer bullets. Well, they're absolute shame orders, but well, okay. Come on, just one, two. Couldn't get that back. Not that stuff away, guy. And just. Who else is in here? Who else? What's on this? Three Quicksilver bullets. Hmm. Then. And then. What's over here? It's where we were before. Dirty, damp blood gem. The thing we really need. Okay. I wonder if I can sell blood gems. If I can crush them down into some. I don't know. It'd be nice, but I'm not sure I can hope for that much. Hi. So actually, those were fast. We can. Oh, interesting. Oh, hi. Actually, just let's roll down and. Whatever. You shouldn't be able to. 
Hit me from here. Don't imagine. No, oh, there we go. Wait, what? Huh? What was that? Set off an explosive? You're kidding me. Deep in my soul. It hurts me. It haunts me. Okay. It's just... It's gotta be another... It's gotta be a shortcut or... Another... Something. I don't know. So I don't know what that... Hunter guy was doing. I don't think I want to know. Okay. Come on, just... Hit, hit. Okay. How do we want to deal with these guys? We should try to deal with them as soon as possible, but... So they might pursue me. That would be inconvenient. One, two... Oh! One, two... Okay. No more should be coming, maybe? One... And... Oh, okay. One, two... Three... And no, didn't work. Hmm. If you're on this way, the others won't deal with me as much. Oh, what, what? Okay. One, two, and just roll, blah, 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 blah. A few of them. One, two. One, two. As long as I get them in the right place, and just bait out their attacks, bait and punish. One, two. Okay. One. Uh, two. What? What? Okay, all right. One. Two. And one more. Do drop a good amount of blood echoes at least. Some small comfort. So as long as I don't lose it all, I have a good amount towards whatever level up I decide to do next. Okay. Okay then. Hi. Just all right. One, two. There you are. One. All right. One, two. I'm doing too fast. Okay. Let's just break through this. I think there should be someone in here. Maybe. No, nobody. And these guys were all mercy killed. I'm on the line. Shouldn't take all that much longer, but I do you want to eliminate all these guys if possible? Hello there. Hi. Oh, you have to be frontal when you're trying to do that attack. And, oh, interesting. How do I want to? There we go. And visceral. How much is that going to do? Yep, it takes two. Here we go, and just too too far away. Okay, dodge. Mm. We just actually just shooting for the sake of shooting is doing decent damage, but this is the fun way anyway. Okay, it's just I want to see if I could maybe eliminate Gatling Gun Guy with just the Evelyn. It's possible. Might have to make some blood bullets, but whatever. Won't kill me. Hopefully. And just, yeah, you over here. Hi. One, two, and just, are you throwing these things? So just, come on. No, oh, hi. One, two, and just, come on, what are these things even doing? Throwing medication. Okay. And, of course, the one that falls down is the one that actually drops something. Just my luck. Okay. Up another level, we try to kill that one hunter. There is a decent amount left to explore. Big door over there. I would think that might be the way to the bosses. Maybe. 
We'll see. Hmm. Let me pick a research hall moment. Okay. Hmm. I think one of them might have my blood stains. We'll see. I mean, my blood echoes. Hi, hello. You're shooting, you're shooting. Let's move in and. Oh, hi. Hello. Hit, hit, hit. And. Hmm. You just. Jump and. Well, it didn't even hit. Come on, just. Oh, what? Come on, just. Out of the way, out of the way. We need to try to heal that off. And. That was not a one tap. I don't. You can tell me if you want. And what's he? Oh, he's shooting at the patients. What a what an imbecile! What an evil what an evil guy! Let's just yeah. It's not horrible then. Hi. Right. One, two, three, three, four, five, six. Okay. Successfully dispatched. Where is my blood stain? Is it on? It's on you. Okay. Oh, which one? Well, I'm glad to hear it works now. And we got our blood echoes back. Nice. So we just need to go this way now. I do think I hear there's somebody. Something. Well, that, it's that big explosion that happened last time. That just. What is. If I. What? Is that guaranteed? Do you have to shoot that with a gun? Well, that's. Okay. I will keep my monocular there. Pokemon Xenoverse? Is that Ad Goku? Assassin's Creed. Oh, you're. Oh, you're playing Insurgents? Tell me how that is. I tried Omicron. I think it was Omicron. If Omicron was the Victini one, and Zeta was Jirachi, I played Omicron a little bit. For one hour many years ago. And I know they're the people who eventually made Insurgents. But I remember... I never had the time to play Insurgents when I was interested in it. But it always looked really, really cool. It's just... The fact that they tried to incorporate so much did appeal to me. Okay, yeah. Well, only if you want to. Don't feel obligated. Okay. But it did seem really cool. I just... The whole Colts thing could have been really stupidly edgy. From what I heard and saw, they managed to do it right. Oh, come on. Why? Alright. Okay. Here we get these guys. Hello, hello. Thank you for throwing things at me. No, I mean, to play it, it's just... You said doing it tomorrow and telling me about it. And I said, don't feel obligated to do it just to tell me about it. Which I don't think really fits your style anyway. But just in case. Okay, come on, just, oh, oh, okay, come on, come on, just, oh, 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 please, 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 don't want to lose my blood echoes, but just, how am I gonna, oh, well, all right, come on, just please, please, one, oh, yeah, 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 it's just... If I were able to kill these guys in one hit, if I had a build optimized for damage one way or another, this would be a lot easier. Okay. Just checking. I... I don't want to underestimate you, but I want to make sure you take care of yourself and don't throw yourself away for my sake. That said... It's probably just an assumption that everyone's like me. Okay. Here we go. Another blood vial. At least they drop vials pretty, pretty decently often. Okay. 
Then, then, then. Put a couple parries on this guy. Okay. Come on, come on. You're a water frog, I think. Oh, it's something through there. Okay, cool. That's what that was then. Hi. That's just. Ooh, totally missed you. Oh, okay. Oh my goodness. That's tough when you move around that much. What? What? Oh, oh, oh. This guy. It's an absolute mongrel. Here we go, and visceral. And we can get that health back. Get the visceral. Okay. Come on, just. There we go, you're just like Gascoigne. That is. Yeah, that's basically Gascoigne's Spark Axe attack. Okay, so this time we are not going to. Die whatever that weird explosion trap is. We are going to. Oh, wrong thing. Okay. I don't remember when I accidentally tricked it. Oh, whatever. Hi. And, okay, so the thrower ones actually. I can dispatch them in one hit with a jump attack. That is notable. Okay. I'll just move forward and jump. Thank you, goodbye. Okay. Phoenix Rising. Okay, not completed. Yeah, one of the reasons I'm I would... Maybe I could play through Insurgents on stream one day. Maybe. Is that Insurgents is complete. Has two regions already done. That said, I'm not sure I'd go on and do the second region. Because the second region is interesting, and I like the idea... I like how they had Delta forms. Delta versions is sort of an early version of regional forms, but... It's... Kind of silly. Honestly. Come on, come on. And how do I get down there? Well, whatever. That hunter's gonna go for some more, and... Hello! Hi. Nice. One. And one top on you. Always look around corners. That's life. Oh, he missed. Okay. Yeah, yeah. But... Omicron always... I mean, Insurgents is always one I was interested in playing. Is that always there? Is that spun every time you kill that guy? I don't know. Let's just... Thank you for getting our Blanicos back for us. You can almost overlook the fact that you're evil. Okay. Let's just... Is he blood draw? Probably. Hi. Let's just... Have him take that guy out for us. Or not. No, it did work, actually. Hi, just... Shoot. 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 Honestly, this would be a good time to use Bone Marrow Ash. I can actually put that thing back on. Old Hunter Bone is not something I ever really use. Okay. Bone Marrow Ash. There we go. Additional medium strength is quick silver bullets. Okay. Thank you, thank you. And just go up and shoot. Nice! Okay. Just want to see if. If I use this monocular to try to shoot into here. Honestly? What is... What triggers that trap? What triggers that trap? Is it just... What do I gotta do? I remember... Victini was my favorite Pokemon for a long time as a kid. It's still up there. It is... Pretty good choice in my opinion. So just how do I how do I get through there? Maybe if I go behind the other way. So I can open that. So we'll see. If I Well there is there's an elevator. Oh shortcut, okay. Yeah. You know, as they say, great minds think alike and fools rarely differ. This is... what is this place? Oh, hi! Hello. Oh, you got a... is that a Rosemarinus? Oh, because you missed the event. I am sorry to hear that. That is tragic for sure. Of course! 
The self-deprecation is more tolerable if I insult myself too. Come on, come on. There we go. Antidote ends. How many dudes are in here? Let's see. Oh, there's a way down. Use blood pellet. What else is upper at that? What is this? Is going to be an elevator or elevator or? Hmm. It is okay. It's just there were two locked doors on the first floor. This place is awfully convoluted. Let's just see. Here is the rest. Let's just go for sneak attack visceral on you. Hi, hello. Goodbye. You drop anything? Nah. Okay, that's good actually. So just there is another epic brain moment. Well, alright. I won't kill you for asking. I might kill you for other things, so be careful. So, fire away, fire away. Hmm. So wait, if I drop down here, could I... No, no. That would have been... Wait, what? I... I am trying to think. Nothing comes to mind at the moment, actually. Sorry. It's... It's down here, maybe. I... Yeah, nothing comes to mind. I don't know any free... Souls-likes of anything, though. Right. Hi, okay. And this down there. Okay. Piece of trap. Because... Now that's knowledge it. Oh, that... How does that trap even trigger? What determines whether... Where... That's so weird. Oh, but this is where I started. Okay. Cool. I apologize. More's the pity. Either way... It's just... What is... Remember trap. Okay. It's just, I don't know how I'm supposed to get through that trap, though. Hmm. Guess I'll just go down the elevator here. I mean, some people have tried making them on the Roblox, but they're universally pretty garbage. I used to try those every now and then back when I also did not have a computer or anything. Because the big thing with Souls Likes is that you need... Oh, this is Adeline. They take a lot of fine-tuning. Which makes them usually very expensive games to play. No. You're someone so we're else. not gonna kill her. At least not yet. Please. Could you do something for Fair. Me? I need brain fluid. Murky, mushy brain fluid. Nice. You can find Please. that maybe. I need okay, and then we can get a special rune from that. Eventually. That is... Aha! Uh -huh, this is our way out. Look at that slug is... Is that new? Don't imagine it is. Let's see. And... Wait. Wait. Well, we'll figure it out. Ha uh ha! -huh. Found our shortcut, but... Uh. Find... Other things too. Sure. Hmm. I know that somebody made a freeware version of Sekiro, as in a clone of the combat system, but all the characters are girls. Kind of like Toho or something. I mean, it's not Toho, it's not Toho Sekiro, but it's the same kind of energy. If you're willing to put up with that, or if that even appeals to you, which it might actually, I don't know you. Perfectly. It's called Usagi Kanagi, which means rabbit shrine maiden or something. Can probably guess why. But it has the same combat as Sekiro, and it's entirely free. It's not that long. I saw someone play it. 
Someone whose whole thing was playing Souls Likes, including Sekiro. Well, actually, it's 3D modeled. And frankly, I don't think that's the entire point of the game, so. If you like the game, if you appreciate the gameplay, I don't know. It's, it's not gratuitous or anything, so. If you're that desperate, it might be worth it. Maybe. I don't know. Some people it is. Okay. Come on, come on. Okay, okay. How do I get... I should find a way to get down there. Go for the big flying leap. Okay. Hi, hello. Oh, there's a... Hunter right there. Could I kill you with fall damage? Maybe. Well, all right. Well, oh goodness, I messed that up. I could probably just parry. Oh, I did not mean to do that. What? Oh come on. Let's just go for the shot and change out this. Okay, understandable. Even if you didn't want it, that's fine. Oh, and as soon as I get that out, you just... Come on. Okay. What? Okay. Come on, come on. Just... I don't want to... Oh, please. What do I... If I just close in, I can deal with you. Probably. Okay, well, if we just stun walk you here, we should be okay. Ah. Come on, just one... Two and three. And another. Well, alright, alright. Come on, just. I don't want to deal with you. Redded cane. One, two, and. Dodge. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Come on, just. Dodge. Oh, well, actually, dodge and. Move in, move in. Oh, what, what? No, no. Oh, please. I don't know how. Fair. Well, it's on Steam, actually. That's the big thing. It's free on Steam. I have not downloaded it. Frankly, I have no interest in it, because it's pretty bare bones. It, I already have Sekiro whenever I want to play it, and frankly, I don't imagine it would appeal that much to my usual audience. So, let's just add anything there, or... Oh, fair. Worth the storage space. Okay. Come on, come on. Come on. Uh, uh. Thank you. Okay. Uh. What do you mean, rendering a bunch of frames? There you are. Well, you know... As long as the whale doesn't actually die, you're okay. And boom. Okay. There was that... Right, there was that ladder down there that I actually completely forgot about. Okay. We need to go to... That drop. Okay. And there we are. Visceral. Cool. Do need anything? No. Oh, you did drop something. Okay, I guess. Hmm. And then, and then, and then. Oh, oh, it was in rendering the... Okay, that makes sense. I see. But, hmm. Getting back to the top is gonna suck. Oh, there was another trap? What is... What even... What triggers that trap? It's not this chain tripwire. That's not an object that interacts with me at all. But it... Oh, when you break the bottles, it... Okay. Yeah, fair. So in that case, go easy on it. Don't be mean. Not to your poor ailing laptop. It's done so much for you, maybe. OK. 
Okay. Yeah, I finally figured out the trap. So hopefully, this run through will not have any stupid deaths. Okay. Fair. Don't worry, I was joking. Should be mean to your laptop. Get every little bit of performance out of it. Okay, well, that went entirely the wrong way. One, two, and... Yeah, we can rally that back. Come on. Okay. One, two, and just... One, two... Thank you, Holy Boy. And just... Hmm. One, two... Okay. And are you going to try to corner me, or... Let's see. One, two... Being able to slice them up like this is good. It's some consolation. Come on, just one, two, three. And we need a vial. Okay. Which games are those? How many of them are Pokemon? Frankly, I guess the question should be how many of them aren't Pokemon? Oh, we need a choke point here. Come on, just. Come on. The big thing was just that hunter killing us really sucked. Especially since it's not a great way to get back fast where we were before. We need to. Anyway, we don't need to kill all these enemies every time I go through here, but come on. This universe. Oh, right, Assassin's Creed. Forgot about Assassin's Creed. Okay, so. Where are you? One, two, one more. Going the other way. It's just going crazy. I'm just giving up these patients again and again and again. At least I've gotten fast at it, so. And I know how the trap works. That's good too. Oh, so it's. You must forgive me. That reminds me of a certain game that you once played and that I still play. <laughs> I never actually tested the boundaries of whatever you can get in the tutorial. That, it said there was, you know, a little bit of trial, but... Hmm. Oh, my goodness. Well, in theory, when you start Genshin, it starts in a sort of trial mode with only the intro area downloaded, and it, you have to download the rest to keep on going. Yeah, that, it's easy to forget about that, right? Come on, just, what, 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 and, one, two, three, and, oh, come on. Come on, just, jump, slam, kill, okay. I should get my bone marrow, I should get rid of that hunter. Probably. Hmm. It's just, so much here. So much. Fair. I I have long-term goals that a hiatus would not count. As. If if I took a hiatus, that would negatively impact my ability to get other characters in the future. Fair. Also, though it will hopefully change soon, I'm also just not that busy these days. Well, it's. It's more interesting when you have more characters to play around with. So every time they drop a crazy amount of bullets, actually. Okay, so just... Oh, the transformation attack is actually very good. You do that pretty much immediately. Okay. What was... And just... Switch to this. We'll narrow it up and shoot you. Why? Takes a couple of them. Thank you. Let's go in and shoot. And one more, one more. Oh, okay. It's all about the timing. All about that timing. That's just... I hear something, but... Hmm. Big thing is, now we know what to do. We can avoid dying to that trap, hopefully. Or just... Oh, both of those! Fun! Okay. It's on you. Just bullets. Okay. 
Slipping down this way as well. Oh, this is, yeah, this is around the other side. I need to get that one. Hunter down in order to get that one blood stain back. Okay. Hmm. And there's also that brain fluid quest. So I need that too. Okay. And once I have the chance, I'll just hopefully use up all of my blood echoes. We'll see. Hmm. Let's just go for a big running jump. Jump, and there we go. Hello there. Plop, plop, plop. Let's just charge. There we go, and visceral. Well, actually, that didn't quite work. That. Oh, interesting. And we can get. We got some brain fluid. Hi. Okay, but you know what we could do? Switch back to the gun and just spam bone marrow ash. Uh huh. Does not seem to be working all that well. Oh, and did she? She fell. Nice. And where did you go? Can I find your corpse? Yeah. That was about the best way for that to have happened. Just go ahead, fall off, and die. This is... What blood echoes are? Let's just... Wait. Wait. Gotta be a trap somewhere, I think. Maybe. Oh, one way or the other. One way or the other. So many doors. Nothing? Well, you know, only... Only my... Oh, and you can... You can fall down into the elevator to make sure it doesn't just mess up like that. Well, that's cool. Okay. Well, you know, I'll do my best. Be a little nicer. Okay. Well, they're hostile NPCs. They're not real people. And most importantly, they're not viewers. So... Whatever happens is not particularly my concern. Can't imagine it reflects very well on me. Okay. Keep on going, and... Another brain for a patient. Hi, and who is... What's that sound? Oh, well, alright. Hi. And they are... Oh, these ones... They're legless, but they're stronger. Of course! I'm glad you understand. You know how this goes. What, 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 what? Oh, please. Just... We need some of that back. You are crazy, crazy. Run. Got that back. And... Come on. Run. Let's go. Okay. Hmm. Interestingly enough, that implies that viewers aren't real people either. Decorative old hunter guard. Huh. Brass trinkets, certain metals are worth beast blood, and out of a hunt, no wonder people resort to superstition. Okay, same as before. And they have that leg wrapping, like the other one, too. Hmm. Keep on going, and I wonder if this corpse would give up blood. No, not one hit. It's a dry corpse. Then, let's see. What else? We're this way we got... Huh? Did I... Wait. Is that a trap? Guess not. Hmm. Stop. What? Uh, okay. Hmm. Dodge on just thrust. There we go. Actually, that worked quite well. Hmm. Exactly. It's precisely, precisely what it is. That's just. It's gonna be a trap. Probably not. Okay. Frenzied cold blood. And then there's something over there. And to get down there, I assume I would have to turn this entire mechanism around somehow? Probably. Oh! The doctor's there. Where is... So she's down that way. Okay. Hmm. So that other door on the other floor. Where is... Oh, nothing but superior beings. I'm going to get some kind of... This is where that lumen wood is. I mean, that lumen flower. 
just a sunflower, but goofy. No mercy for the other one? And... Nothing? Huh. Okay. Interesting. Go around this way. I'm gonna find anything else. It's the other way around that other direction and... Rat. Okay. Interesting. Hi. Hello. Okay. The other floor up there, which I assume is gonna be... Way to turn things around. It's past that trap. Go around onto the other side over there. Before that, I want to go down and grab whatever that one hunter dropped. Hmm. Okay. This is. There's nothing from that. Maybe I was just not looking in the right place, but other than that flower, there's nothing really to get. Hmm. Okay. <clears throat> Alright. Fine by me, I guess. Hmm. Just gonna keep on going. Oh, more rats. Fun. Okay. Oh, no, that was just the physics. Okay. Go down, go back. And her drop should be on the bottom floor now. Okay. Hmm. Right in there. What are we gonna get? We got five sedatives. Okay, better than nothing. Hmm. There's that other way down there. I wonder if that's something I need a key for or if something else is up with that. Alright. Okay then. Hmm. If we go down, I need to go past where that wheelchair hunter was. Stuff on the other side. Okay. No, seriously. This... This DLC has been very demanding. I'm glad that I waited as long as I did. To go into it. Because going here with... Any less strength... I think that would have been utterly untenable. I would have... Made an absolute disgrace of myself. Okay. Keep on going. There's more up there, and there's also more down there. And no brain sucker. That's good. Some small comfort. That is somebody shooting her. You really do. It's it's not for the faint of heart. I will say. Come on, come on. It's just... Hmm. Another one of you guys. Hello. Oh, headless? Completely headless. Oh, wow. They're not, they don't seem to be staggerable either. Hmm. Hi. One. Um, they don't notice me either, though. Hmm. Fair. Honestly, maybe not even. Can be pretty gross at times. But if I just stab, you don't notice me so I can fully charge a stab with relative impunity. Signboard. Oh, those are signboards. He should room 4 5. Okay. Well, at least it didn't kill me that time. Blue elixir. Okay. Let's go through. Let's see what's in here. Let's see. And. Lots of... they're just ooze. Oh, wow. And... Rain forward maybe from somebody? Let's see. I can find someone who says plip plop plip plop. Okay, nothing here. Yeah. Blue elixir. An enlarged head. I can wear that. I won't, though. The only thing that's good against is blunt. And almost no frenzy resistance. Large head of a patient of the cathedral. Cavity that just happens to fit a human head, although one would be mad to try it on. If you do, listen carefully for the sticky sound. Drip drop as water seeping up from the depths. Slowly, steadily. Hmm. Oh, hi there. Hello. One of those slimes. Okay. I assume that would have a grab attack if it fell on me. Okay. Alright then. Hmm. So other than this, there's just 
Seek attack is effective. Nothing here, really, but... Assume this would be maybe another... Root up if we change around the staircase? We'll see. By the way, I do feel slightly impelled to... Check out those signs now that I know we can actually read them. Okay. Laboratory 4-5. Okay. Let's... Go back down a little. And give her some rank for it, maybe. Hmm. Alright. Alright. Mm -hmm. Should just be the outside floor area. So. Oh, but wait. I didn't notice that. We can get out midway. We need to do that. Probably. So what is... Oh, no, that was just a drop-down. We've been here already. Laboratory 4-4. I assume there is a... Laboratory and a... Another thing on each floor? What? Oh, did we... Did we miss that? Oh, so it wasn't... The shooter, it was... Something else. Lady Maria? I'm a Robin. She Have responds. Have grow up and become a man? And what say you? Lady Maria. Lady Maria, say something. Anything. Hmm. Lady Maria. Failed attempts to transcend. Lady Maria is dead well, kinda. Okay, so just jump. We need to check out a bit more. Laboratory for three. Can we just go around? To, no, we don't go around this way. So how would we... Maybe if I just try to make that jump? Hmm. Worries me. Let's try to... Go up a level, maybe? Uh -huh. hmm. Let's go all the way up to the top. Don't imagine that we'll learn anything new from these signs other than that there was a laboratory in each floor and a patient room on each floor. This is and remains an epic human experimentation moment. Okay. Let's go up a little bit more. Then. Wait. This isn't an elevator, so what would it be marked as? No, no, we, we did go through, so... Laboratory 4-5, and... What is... coming down? Can I lock onto something? Here's something coming... Oh, it's one of you guys! Oh, bad news. Okay. Oh, please. Come on, just... Ah. Oh. Come on, just... Ah. Oh. Trying to... Very irregular. There we are, and just visceral. Cool. Do that one more time and get rid of you. There we go, and then just... Well, that didn't really work, did it? No, 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 whatever. Die, 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 die. Okay, cool. Oh, oh. Step one tension. We need to go up another level. Yay. And down that other level, and... There's somebody. Somebody coming. Hmm. Put up the top and see what if anything we get. Hmm. Either way. It's another ladder. Oh, rafters, yay. The fall from this distance would be certain death. Almost certainly. Almost certainly death. I'll do my best. Gotten so far. Oh, a crow. We've got to be kidding me. Not here. Okay, die. Die. Okay. Well, it's just... Crow's up here. That's in the belfry. Okay. So you can nice and slow. See what might be here. Nothing. Okay. 
it's just... Oh. Come on. Come on. Okay. If we just... Lure... Lure them over this way, we can... Um... This should be a decent... We can do that, too. Okay. Cool. Or we can just... Do that and... Okay. Back up every time we hit, so we don't just... Make ourselves fall off. Okay. This is... Getting rough. Okay. So how... How far we've gotten, how much we stand to lose. I want to see if we can... And you two will hear. And... Treat grief with terror. Doesn't seem like we can do that. Okay. Hi. Hello. One, two... I'm over there. And one. 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 Okay, one, two... I kind of rolled out of the way. Didn't really care to. What's our trunk? Then, what to do? Is this a door I can open or? Nope. Don't be fooled. Okay. And just the center over there. Oh, there's the there's the lever. Anyway, there's a ladder down here. I'm wondering what it leads to. Might become inaccessible if we act too hastily. So let's do this now. Come on, come on. Oh, up here is... Is that... Ah, the other brain fluid patient. Or fluid. Okay. Should be what we need. Oh, there's... Is that... No, no, that's just someone wearing a Mensa's cage. School tax and wondrous bobby thing. Hmm. Then, some more brain fluid. Okay, I'll just check out the description a lot. Bubbles and bounces in their different grish amoeba shaped brain fluid. Wobbles and bounces is extracted from a patient whose head expanded until that was all they were. Once a young girl had an older brother who was determined to become a doctor, who hopefully became his patient, led her to encounter the eldritch truth for which they considered themselves blessed. In the early days of the healing church, the great ones were linked to the ocean. So the cerebral patients would imbibe water and listen to the hell of the sea. Brain fluid arrived within the head. The initial markings of internal eyes. So that does seem a bit like Shadows over Innsmouth too, actually. I just want to see if there anything else over this way. I don't imagine so. Wondrous will leave her. Could be funny and just drop down on top of it. Could we? Yeah, I think we could. Yeah, there we go. Then just a great device. And we from one side. Should move around if we don't number of them. And oh, oh, oh. Excuse me. Let's see. It's rising now, which should make some things possible. Maybe. Hi. Hello, Crow. Be able access to some areas we couldn't really get to before. Hmm. Okay. If we drop down, maybe we can put something that way. Let's see if that part of over there is even reachable. Maybe. Oh, it should be. It should be, though. Let's just crush that crow. Hello, crow. Hell, crow. Okay. Now we just go back. Guide- oh, guidance from that crow. So it was worth it. Okay. Weak guidance, good guidance, and the higher ver- it's the highest version that isn't obtainable at all. That's right. Thank you, I'm glad you enjoyed it. Just want to see if anything left down here. Well, by the way, down here does seem to be our next optimal de destination. So can I just- no, that would just send us up to the second level of raptors anyway. So, oh, what are... Oh, hi there, hello. Hi, one end. Interesting, you seem a bit... Maybe it's because of the lighting. You seem a bit more... A bit lighter in color than the others. 
Hmm. Either way, we got another crew down there. Hi. So Adeline's brain fluid is give her two, and then the last one will have to come from her herself. I place. Wait. Oh, there's something here. Okay, cool. And one more, one more. Now just. There we go. Okay. Cool. What will be in here? Let's see. And just. Fine Strike Damp Bludgeon. What does that do? Fine Strike. Got a lot. Fine Strike. Tech versus Open Foes Physical Attack Up, which. Yeah, yeah, when you hit an enemy when it's in its own movement frames, it'll do more damage that way. Interesting. Okay. This is. Is this the layer I came from? I think it is, actually, so. Hmm. Wait, wait. Yeah, it is. This is where that bloated head was, so. We're gonna have to keep on going down in order to get anything new. Down this way. And then. Hmm. Luckily, everything is cleared out already now, so. It's just. That spot down there. I'm wondering how I'm gonna get to it. If I even can. Hmm. Where there is. Hi. That should be, I believe that's the way to Living Failures, though. Okay, which would be a really good band name. Okay. Uh, uh, down there. Oh, there's just something leading to it now. Okay. Just need to go down there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This should be the best way to get inside. And that rat corpse did not appreciate that. Don't imagine it would. Now that spot is linked to now, and this can throw open the big doors, but don't want to fight the boss yet. Glad you liked it. Okay. Oh, wait, you said that already. Okay. You just... Hmm. Down to which floor? Oh. Okay. All right. Ah, ah, that jump did not jump. Ah, ah. Well, we can figure out how to get up there then. Hmm. Just give Adeline her two brain fluids now. Why not? And that was sufficiently less cool. Oh, here he is. Hi. Not a pretty sight, is it? The true face of the blood worshipping, beast purging, healing church. Well, I did go to Upper Cathedral Ward, so. But that's not all. Kind of says some of this already. You seek the secrets held by the nightmare, do you not? More or less. Then here's what you must do. Find the astral clock tower and kill Maria. There we go. She hides the real secret. Okay. Go on. Kill Sit. Maria atop the astral clock tower. She hides the real secret. Okay. If you say so. Oh, and these. Oh my goodness. What? What was that? That is new. Okay. Hmm. What is? Come on. Just gotta aim down. Oop. Stab, stab. Oh my goodness, these guys are absolute nuisances. Okay. Come on. Gotta get. Oh, and now that seems that much has fallen down. Okay, cool. Die, die, die. Luckily, we can. Stagger out of the way easily enough, but hmm. Hi Adeline, take some brain fluid. Please, could you do something for me? I need brain brain fluid. Oh, thank you. You're terribly kind. That's something. How slashy. Oh, it's wonderful. I hear the sticky sound. 
theme of it too. Sadly. <laughs> oh, I know. Will you have my blood as thanks? I'll have you know. I was once a blood saint too, so do come back. If you ever run dry of saint's blood. Oh, did we actually get the... Oh, I can't get the blood of... Adela, I mean... Out of line, because I already have... Some Ariana's blood, and all three of those are mutually exclusive. Oh. <laughs> oh, hmm. I'll have you now, so do come. Oh, so actually, I think I need... To use this... Give him oh, take it. Will you accept? Sure. That makes me happy. But I cannot move. Mm. Look, on That's my strange. right arm. I'm sorry to trouble you. Uh, so we have to do a manual? You don't mind, do you? Just... <laughs> okay. What of Adeline? Now I think we can get Jumate's HP. Blood Saints received treatment by the church, cultivate worthy blood. It was one of the few cases that turned out favorably. Oh. There you are. There you are. Give her more brain forward. Greedy. As they say, fear the thirst for blood. I should know. It's a blood saint too. I was once a blood saint too. <laughs> Give her more brain forward. Oh, don't have Okay, we have to come back. Okay. Treat Bobby thing with care. Yeah. In that case, let's go back and get our blood saint. We can deal with her stuff later. It's not that hard. Okay, die. Die. Okay. Oh, just... Hmm, hmm. These are obnoxious. Cool. Tentacle lashing. Not my problem. Okay. wonder if that door is going to be open now. Don't imagine. I think you got the key from killing living failures. I imagine so. Okay. Hmm. There is. Can I lock on any of these guys? Let's see. Locked. Hmm. So we can just get a couple of slugs in there, a couple of pick up items. We hold damp blood gem. Then. It's gonna come up this way. Let's see. I do feel like maybe doing some slug hunting, but. Uh, yeah. Given that that one crow dropped a rune, I feel like I can't afford to ignore anything. Okay. Cool. And we're slow poisoned, yeah. Let's use an antidote then. Okay. Put that in. Doesn't really need hot bar space. Oh, just dodge, dodge. Okay, that wasn't too bad. Come on. Oh, we're running out of vials again. Not a fun experience. Okay. It's just one. And, oh, goodness, again. Okay. Here we go. Have more, you guys. And any more? It really is. It's the scourge of slugs. And then any more, or it's gonna be the last one. Okay. Hi. There we go, and just... Hmm. So one of them did drop something. Okay. Let's just run through and get everything we need, everything we can get, and... King Cold Blood. Okay, not bad, but not amazing. Okay. We need to find a way up. That is no longer an option. So we just gotta take the Elevatra. Nothing this way, nothing that way. Yeah. Big thing is, we give Adeline two brain fluid, and then she puts up. We actually kill Adeline herself to get the third and last brain fluid, then she responds, because those things are unkillable. We give her the fluid from her own brain, and then the quest line is complete, and you get a rune that basically turns you into not a great one, but the kin of the great ones. Things are the lumen wood. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Which is normally not all that relevant, but there's one weapon in particular. The cost parasite, which is normally pretty much useless. 
When you equip the relevant rune, it's still useless, but less useless. Oh, you have my blood echoes. Fun. And just... I would kindly ask you to give them back. Okay. Hi. Hello. And there we go. Exactly. Well, the big thing is that it's a weapon that only scales with arcane and deals pure arcane damage. Not that much. And its damage is never amazing. But it's something you can use if your goal is to deal arcane damage specifically. So just okay, that up there. But we want to go over to that part, which means going down a level? That leads to... Hmm. Just... If I drop down onto that staircase, I imagine... Imagine... Let's see. If I do this successfully... There we go. Okay, cool. And just... Well, okay. One, two... And one, one... Oh, well, the direction wasn't right. Come on, just... Whatever. And just... Stop running. Why are you running? Okay. And down there is something on that corpse. Maybe you see where that is. And it's... Oh, that's where the lock shift is. Okay. That is... I don't believe it's upgradable at all. Chisinal shield crafted with blue glass. Crafted shield and leader presiding over a sacred healing church ceremony. Supplied to tomb prospectors and to those exploring the labyrinth of is. It was fashioned after light. Shield weight reduces all form of non-physical damage. Okay. That is... Better than the wooden shield. Not amazing, but... Can use it to... Reduce damage. Not negate it. Reduce it. So it's still kind of crap. But it's usable. And just... Let's see. And over here, we got... Right, the elevator. Okay. Okay, no trap. Okay. By the way, this is the last side area we wanted to go to, and after that, we're gonna use these blood echoes and then finally fight living failures. And that isn't horrible, but this DLC is pretty slow going. Not in a bad way, it's just very, very hard. Oh my goodness. Come on. Don't kill me. Don't kill me. And... There we go. Hi. One. Two. And... Here's another summer. Hmm. Then... Got... Took silver bullets from you. And then... Creature room for three. So what's this? How is this going to be worth it? If it will be. Hi, and... Okay, you're dead, dead. Okay. Underground cell key. Oh. Silver bullets. That's actually very, very useful for us. Nothing there. Underground cell key is... So below the Grand Cathedral, hunters are held with the underground cell so that things better left unseen, knowledge better left unknown, will decay quietly in the foul and darkness. So that's where... All those locked doors were. I think actually, go over, deal with that, and then first I'm gonna heal up, get a bit of stuff back, use up a good amount of. Blood echoes. It's a gigantic blood stain we've accumulated. Exactly. Blood echoes are just a blood stain waiting to be dropped. Right. So these ends. Let's see. Arcane. Decent. Vitality. Stamina. Strength. And skill. Okay. Cool. Nice. It's gonna be good. We can do a bit of repairing. And of course, we gotta give a bit more to Adeline. Good repairing. 
Moonlight, Boomhammer, and then... Tonitris could be quite good for this fight. Just put a bunch of Kin Hunter gems on it. We could be in good shape. Let's see real briefly how much... Don't have enough chunks to level it up one more time, which is a shame, but... Oh well. It's just... Kin Hunter gems... Kin Hunters... Okay. Kin Hunting... And go for school attack up. The attack up or bolt attack up. Not bad. Then let's see. Bolt attack, but that's gonna be the best we can get on Tonitris. Okay. Just gonna go back to the underground cell real quick. Use that key. Release somebody. Okay who will accost us later. Back to the funny underground corpse spawn. Epic. Then it's gonna be living failures and then I think... Maria will take a while so we'll leave that for tomorrow. And tomorrow, I guess... I don't even know if I'll get to any chalices tomorrow. It's gonna be Maria, Lawrence, Orphan, and some order. Okay. Yeah, yeah. By the way, I think we can free Yamamura. This is Yamamura. The only thing we can do is... He's bashing his head on the wall. Put him out of his misery. Ah! Yamamura Hunter hat, khaki Havi, old hunter armbands, and a wine hakama. So he actually is a reference to a employee of FromSoft named Yamamura Chikage. I think he might have retired after this game, I don't know, but Shikage is named after him. When Mayama were the Wanderer, Hatton Staff gave him when he became a hunter and confederate of the League. Hmm. And then, let's check out Kaki, Eastern Eastern Land. Pursuit of Beast for Honorable Revenge, Hunter of the League, starts straight into impurity, it drove him mad. Then the Hunter Armbands. No entitled to prevent infection with a Scourge. Of course, the idea that the Scourge was infectious was pure hearsay. And the one Hakama. Pursuit of Beast. Okay, same as that. Okay, cool. We'll just keep on going a little. Check out a little bit that's left. And Silky and. Let's see. Frenzied Cold Blood. Decent, I guess. Hi. And just move in at Visceral. And we got all our health back. Yay! Okay. Come on. And just back, back. And we can rush you. There we go. Jump and slam. Nice. Bullets, bullets. The need is... Use this key to open up some cells. This is... Wait. Is it open now, or am I... No, no, now it's open. Reasonably room, and can we open this? Now we have to switch action. L3. And the door? Oh, it's still locked. We need a different key for that then. Alright, okay. Huh. Still a very cool weapon. Okay. Go in. Underground cell key. Anything in here? Or. Oh, there's somebody on the other side, so. Hi there, hello. You have a- oh, you got the church pig. Okay. Oh my goodness. Come on. Moving close. And just switch that up. Can we actually just... Oh, well, alright. Hmm. Dodge, dodge, and... Hmm. If I eliminate you with this... Come on, just out of the way. 
Jump attacks might be good, might be safe. Jump. Okay. This is a decently safe strategy then. Cool. This is a big war pick. Okay. This is a very, very good weapon, especially for fighting Kin. Because every single one of its attacks is thrust, which is meaningfully relevant to him. Okay. Alright. Well. Deal with you. Hmm. If I attack you through the door, how much damage that would do? Hmm. Okay. It's the guy behind that locked door that we can't open even with the key we have. I believe he's Brador, who is a... he has a funny weapon. It's basically a strength Chikage. Don't think I'll use it, especially since I've already leveled up Chikage, but it's interesting, for sure. Okay, let's just switch out and... There we go. We have that visceral. Fun. So, get that and corpse and you know what? This is might be the time to use this. Well, all right. Oh, if it doesn't fully release, it doesn't make a difference. Well, all right. What? Okay, cool. Hmm. Come on, get out of here. Want to? When are you coming out? When are you coming out? Where are you? So can we just get you through here, maybe? Okay, that kind of worked. Okay. You're actually gonna get around at all, or? You know what? This works. I'll stick with it. Oh, okay. I knew that couldn't stay for long. So if I just... This is... We fully charge this. Holy charge attacks are very good with this weapon. Damage on both the projectile and the press. Moving close, getting close, and just take the bait. Fun. Getting fast, getting close, and just swing. Boom, and goodbye. Love this thing. It's good against enemy hunters. Oh, and drop the church pick. Yeah, the church pick from the hunter who drops. It makes sense. Rich pick, old trick weapons, hunting weapon formed in one of the giant picks that appear in old beast tales. Actually serves as a large sword when transformed functions as an extended war pick. In spite of its origins, it is a highly practical weapon. This thing is actually really good. Don't have the build for it and I don't have the materials to level it up. But it's good. First is a thrust. Then it's just these alternating swings. Then in stab. Stab, stab. In transformed form, every single one of its attacks is thrust. Let's see. Swing and and a stab with that actually. Every single attack is thrust, which makes it really good for fighting kin enemies. Big advancing swing, interesting. Then downward slam. It's a cool weapon. I'll try it some other time. For now, we'll stick with that. Then we got a few more doors to open, I believe, and then yeah, that's on to more than failures. Let's see what nothing, nothing, nothing. There's Gratia. Okay, cool. So just... Hmm. Go back and teleport up to the hall. Honestly, there's not much distance between this lantern and back here. And first one, the research hall. I guess part of it might have been the fact that there's an elevator ride there. And they didn't want people to, people to have to repeat that too much, which is appreciated. Okay. So we'll go back... This is the ton of truce against the funny, funny guys. Then probably have to do a bit of blood vial farming next time. Okay. Oh, 
decent position. We'll just down a terrace. Cool. Here we are. It can be padded actually, so it's worth thinking about. And now we go back, we can give a bit more brain fluid to Adeline. If it pleases us. It smells something good cooking. Either way, this boss isn't crazy crazy. We'll see. Let's just keep on going. Not that much left. As you know, one, two, okay. Adeline's just right there. Hello, Adeline. We're at level 110. Okay. Hi. Hello. Hello. Is anyone there? Am I Please, all alone? Somebody, I need to help. More brain fluid. But I'm afraid the sound is fading. Hmm. Hello. Is that who I think it is? Well, it's now you can see me. Please, I need brain fluid. The sticky sound is fading fast. Please bring me brain fluid. Okay. I must have it. That sound, it is all that guides me. Well, oh, given that I can't see you. To my former, lesser years. Hmm. Yes, that's it. Let me have it. Okay. Enjoy. Next time she should transform. Oh. I can hear it. Yes. The sound that guides me. Hmm. Ah. Ah. Thank you. Thank you so much. You have saved me. Take this charm. Oh. Lady what charm Marie is this? It me, but it is all I can offer. Other than my own blood. Balcony key. Please, do not abandon me. I promise to do good. Hmm. Oh, hello. Do you hear that? The sticky sound, as clear as day. Slip, slop. Yeah. Drip, drop, slip, slop. How extraordinary. Do you think that water drips even down deep below at the bottom of the sea? Well, according to David Byrne of Talking Heads, there is water flowing at the bottom of the ocean. So, probably. Drip. <laughs> okay. So let's check out that balcony key real quick. I think that would let us get to... Living Failures? One way or another, balcony for swarm reach troll, patient Adeline find comfort, faint breeze that carried the scent of flowers from the outside, but, but Adeline couldn't fathom her intentions. Oh, but actually, it's over that way. It's that door that we couldn't open before. Okay, cool. Sorry. Not really. Okay. And just, come on, come on, come on. We need to check out that door, then go fight living failures real quick. Should be alright. Then just... Yeah, yeah. Be nice if one of you dropped a blood vial, though I can't imagine any of you would. Okay. Hit, and one more. By the way, I think I could equip... the... Blood of Adeline now. Might be decent to... Try the tiny tonish for some of them, maybe? I don't know. And this. Ah, oh, first word balcony. Go with balcony key, and what is here? What am I gonna find this way? Or is this? Oh no, this is the way to living failures. That door up there to the clock tower. I wouldn't be able to reach that yet, so we ended up going the right way completely by accident. Nice. This is actually. This is just. The Lumen Flower Gardens from... Oh, so this would be... But why does it look so different? 
Why does the orphanage look so different? The research home. So this is just a version of Upper Cathedral Ward. This is exactly the same. Exactly! Ward knows that would never be able to do it on purpose. And then just King Cold Blood. Okay. Hmm. I wonder where I'd be able to get the Great Old One's Cold Blood, if at all. Okay. Let's coat ourselves in blood and kill some more kin. You could also get that key by just killing Adeline, but that's for jerks who are bad at the game. But it does mean that the entirety of Reacher Shawl is basically skippable. As long as you can find your way up to the doorway over there. Hi. Oh, but. Excuse me. Oh no. That is. something. Okay. Okay. Well, that is a crazy amount of damage. Well, you know, that means I didn't waste anything, so. No board files wasted. Okay. Let's just go back there and maybe be a bit more aggressive with those guys. The faster I get rid of them, the less time they have to shoot magic bullets at me. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. So either way, Adelon should actually have Swollen now. Should be able to get the final thing I need from her. Which is, of course, her room. Hi. Hello. And if I hit her, I should be able to get ran for it. I think. Wait. Okay, when I come back, I believe. Her brain fluid will spill, then I can pick it up from her. It'd be really funny if I messed it up and just didn't get the room up. It is possible. Preeminently so. And just run it away. No need to deal with the fuel we face the time. Okay. Let's. They give a lot of blood echoes. What do these guys do? Okay, hi, hello. Hello, and swing. What? 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 All right? All right? Aw. Oh. You know what? Who's that? Okay. Cool. And I guess stick to Tiny Tonitrus. By the way, gotta eliminate these guys. Okay. If I slice you up, one, two, you're over there, so can I move out of the way and well alright, one, two, three, and oh alright. Come on. How many more over there? How many over there? Let's see. One is shooting right now. Oh he's calmed down. Okay. Cool and just one. Two and what what okay, alright, and just die. Okay, so now we can move out of the way. Big, big bullet? Oh, wow. Okay. Come on. You know, where are you gonna go? Hmm, hmm. This is... tough. Hi. One, two... It's just... Maybe if I wanted to, I could just spam bullets and just... shoot them down from a distance, but... Eh, it's silly. This is... Oh, the black sky eye is here. Okay. That's where you get it. That's a good hunter tool. And it is an NPC you can use one that shoots two bolts instead of one, but ten meter from the dark depths of one's pupil eye beam. Soft eye blessed by a phantasm, and you can see the worms in the eye. Nice. Discovered through Bergman's contact with the arcane, but in the end revealed nothing. Put in the eye lies a vast stretch of dark sky that rumbles with an endless meteor storm. So I just rub with the tiny orb and the rock will tumble and soar. Hmm. Okay, so definitely. I'm wrong again. I had to go the other way. Okay. Just want to see how much damage this would do. It's not bad. It staggers quite well. The range is good too. Well, alright. In that case. Mm -hmm. 
the way we can... Okay. Let's just... Scan this. Sure. Okay. Oh, well. Alright. Oh, that was dangerous. Come on, just out of the way. We only got one left. Let's see if anything of note happens. Probably not. Hi. One, two. Let's take that torch out, and... What do we get? Oh! One board bomb. Okay. Just... Let's go in over here. Hmm. So I guess they were the early versions of their attempts to create kin. This is... wait. Wait. Can I? Aha! Uh -huh. That's how you... do that. It's just like Upper Cathedral Ward. Okay. Hmm. This will... Let's see. Oh, and it winks back as this part is research all right. We'll just... Come on, come on. Come on. Give me, give me more, give me more. There we go. Two bloodstone checks. And that actually... That is actually just enough to upgrade Tonitris. I... Depending on how I can get into here. I'm a little tempted. Something about... Well... Yeah. Luckily, all we have to do is take... Take the elevator up. That was embarrassing. And Adeline should get a bit more brain fluid and we can... Can we request that? Well, I failed that jump and now I have to go all the way back down. It's a little embarrassing here. Yeah. Just goes back up past here. Then it goes back down to activate research all. Okay. It's up top here. Balcony's over there. Hmm. Just wondering. I'm just wondering. Let's go up here over here. Not the black sky eye, we just need to check out the rest. There was something in a treasure chest. I should like to get that. Okay. Then, just back here. Thank you. Cool. Yeah. Anything on the other side, or was it just that wandering madness? Yeah, it was. Seems like it. So we just need to not mess up that jump, and we'll be in okay shape. We need to know. And what is... That there's nothing here? Or that there was a wandering madness there? That gave us just enough blood echoes to... I mean, just enough bloodstone chunks to... Level up our tonitrus? Hopefully? We'll see. Okay. Just... What? Okay. Okay. I almost made the same mistake again. Jump! Oh, okay. Then, what's in here? This is... Pulsing Damp Blood Gem. Time for lies. Pulsing Damp Blood Gem. Pulsing. Triangle. Can't equip that in hardly anything. HP recover. Eh. Well, whatever. We're just gonna... Take that up again. Go back. A little, yeah. It's just... If I want... To... Get through all the Souls games! By the time I... Play the Elden Ring DLC. I need to. I need to grind it out. Which isn't bad, but still. Okay. Go up. Okay, so it definitely would have been past those other doors. Hmm. Okay. Alright then. Alright. That's just. Go back to the dream real briefly. Yeah, that one was definitely the coolest. I'm very happy that there was at least one elevator with a secret underneath it. Because I always, I always check. And usually it's worthless. This time there was something. Let's just channel in. Can we... A little more blood tinge. Eh, okay, cool. 
A little more arcane would be nice, and frankly, we don't need to do, do our level ups in order, but keeps me from making a mistake. I could do that. No, 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 no. We want not that either. What tonitrous level? There we go. There we go. Okay. Yeah. There and these don't take much damage. That is good. All we gotta do now is right. We actually we gotta go from here. It is nice that the repair is between the spawn point and this tombstone. Though frankly, it would be even nicer if the tombstone was closer to actual things. We got. Ten blood vials and a big group of kin to take down. Okay. Yeah, so tomorrow I'm gonna need to uh, do a bit of leveling. I mean a bit of blood I go blood vial for me. Well we'll see. This fight isn't crazy crazy, so we'll see. Okay. Hmm. It's not a good way to start it off yet. One, two. How do I insured? Okay, she's back, and I think I can pick up the brain fluid from her. Should be able to. Hi. Julie. <laughs> Actually, except the blood. Then. <laughs> oh, I think she'll become a bloathead after we kill living failures, or at least Maria. Definitely by Maria. Yeah, the big thing is, is the final boss of the entire DLC will drop a special weapon called the Cost Parasite. The bad one that I mentioned earlier a number of times. With the ruin, I'm slightly less terrible. Slightly. Let's just go out and deal with those clowns. I just gotta see how I can get up there. That set of doors. And just, well, can I just knock you off? I guess not. That sucked. Jump and slam. Well, alright, and just wanted to give you rally that back. Good. No blood ball. Hmm. Just. And this is, you know, closed twerking on the elevator. I guess. Tonitrus time, here we are. Oh, we could have summoned somebody, but no, no, no. Let's do this, hoping failures. Here you are. Hi. This is a group fight. Let's just see how we can... Boom, and okay, actually... Can... Oh, wow. That's insane. Okay. One, two... Oh, I summoned that back. Eventually, they'll do arcane attacks. Come on, just... Come on. Miss? You can just miss, I guess. What? Come on, just... Get behind him, maybe. Behind him, maybe. What? Alright. Hmm. They're slow enough. I think... They're actually pretty easy to visceral. I think... That... That might be what we have to go for. <sighs> okay. Well, you know, or at least get behind him instead of being as stupidly aggressive as I was being. You know, it's just, Bloodborne is a game about aggression, but sometimes, sometimes, I might be too stupid for that. That, hmm, where is, where'd you go? This seems like she... And now that we've... Oh, right here, I. Hello. Brain fluid, yay. So next time we can give that to her. That would be... Let's see. For Shamiba, we fail to realize our own latent potential until the moment it's lost, and we sense its absence, and ironically, it's the very nature of insight, like the moment one looks on one's own blood, and we'd be startled by its... Sweetness. It's usually what I say in Dark Souls, but... Ah, I try too hard to... Well, it's... 
in Bloodborne, I'm being a lot more aggressive than I was previously. Because normally you kind of have to be, but it backfired this time. I was... Well, it's not that I was too aggressive. I was just too stupid. Okay. Worms. If you drop a... What vial I swear? Well, I can't see your corpse. So whether you did or not, I'll never know, and that might be the best way to do it. Okay. Tonitrus back. Yeah. Well, as in whether it dropped a vial or not. I don't know that. Oh, we can summon Yamamura, actually. We can only do that because we killed him, actually. Funny enough. Where is that... Right here, maybe? Where is that blood stain? I can't see it. Wait. Wait. Come on, come on. Where is the... Where's the blood stain? What is... What am I doing? Is it... It's not passive air, is it? I don't think so. Oh, goodness. It wasn't that big, so it doesn't matter much, but... If we're not to lose it, if I have the opportunity not to. Let's just slam you and... Wait, what is... Oh, that is really, really bad. Okay, well, hold on. We can just use this to get in the way. But, you know, where'd it go? Where is it? Okay, well, either way, we don't need that, so... Hi. Right. There we go, and just... This roll? Nice! We got all that health back. Cool. So they are... Hmm. Okay. Well, you know... I gotta do what I gotta do. Well, there we go, and just... This roll. So what's interesting is that these bosses are actually... There's a glitch you can do to get... Not infinite, but... A crazy amount of blood echoes, and you do it on this boss by just this one and punch it. Okay. Suit yourself. I thought I cooked. I kind of did, actually, but... Hmm. Well, you know, this is, this is all there's left to do. Kill these guys. We'll see. Yeah, exactly. They cooked magic arcane projectiles. That's what they cooked. Okay. So she should... Oh my goodness. Adeline should hopefully have some stuff for us. Basically, yeah. Uh, I don't know. I've never tried tasting them. I only tried getting hit by them. It might be a little more pleasant that way. Hi. Just one last time. Sure. Murky, mushy fluid that will make me whole. The sticky sound whispers to me. So very close, right into my ear. And my head, just a head. My baptism. There is. I need my baptism. That's Nubia. Please, I beg of you. I want to be something. Cool. Uh, uh, Give us our room. Is she shrinking or? Well, whatever. Uh, uh, I see a shape. My guide, I see your voice. Guiding moonlight. Clearly as it bends and bleeds. Now the Malkoi rune and a lot of insight. Revelation, just for me. <laughs> mm -hmm. Thank go. you for everything. Really, I used to be nothing. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> well, that's it. Goodbye, Adeline. A shame, really. Okay, actually. I can't get through there, but, hmm. Check out that room. That is Melkweave Rune, Hunt's Phantasm, this is a woman wood. Vision by Adeline, patient of the research hall, transcription of the inhuman sticky whispers that resemble the nature of a celestial attendant. Sticky. Both become a woman wood that peers towards the sky, feeding phantasms in celestial bed. Guide us in need of further discoveries, which 
very slightly increases discovery too, but big thing is use it with toss parasite and toss parasite is less crap. Okay. Let's try this out. Let's have another go at this. See if I can eliminate those imbeciles. Oh, oh. Were you talking? Oh, were you talking about my clothes? Goodness. One, two. Hold down. All right. I don't see you. Probably good. So another try at these guys. Hmm. Living failures. Just like me. Okay. Come on, come on. And just. Where is the. Hmm. Want to eliminate these guys. Want to. Want to and just. Okay, well, alright, and just. What? Dodge and. Can we move in? Get a bit. I made the joke! You don't need to feel bad for laughing. And just. Okay, your jaw. Okay. We eliminate them fast, so we stay on and we can. Hopefully just settle away, maybe? Let's see. And just dodge, and move in, move in. One, two, three, four. Be nice! Okay, so if I'm fast with this, it shouldn't be a real problem. Dodge, and one, two, and just... Oh, please, please. Oh, come on, just stay out of the way of that. Oh, hi, another one of you. Hello. One, two, and what? Okay, all right. I need to try this out again. One and just what? Okay, please. Come on, just rally a bit, rally a bit, and what? What? Okay, come on, just a bit over there, and a little bit. I'm assuming a lot more. Come on, just one, two, two. Out of the way, out of the way. Using a lot of stamina. Come on, just one, two, two, three, and dodge, dodge, dodge. Hmm. So many of these dudes. Okay, well, alright, and you're dead! Nice. How do we want to do this then? Come on, just one, two, and dodge, 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 dodge. Ah. Uh, didn't time that right. Maybe I could just use Tiny Donifers on him, actually. Yeah, sure, okay, cool. Nice. Once we get down to the final part, I'm just gonna spam this thing. It's not the kind of thing we should use recklessly, but it's good. Yeah, it, it's a hard fight. One, two, three, and... Uh, is it going to Meteor now? It is. Okay. Can we block this? Can block this this way. In this part. Okay, cool. Nice. So, just staying close. Don't do that again, please. Come on, just... One, two, and... Round one, two. Out of my way, out of my way. Come on, just... Another one came up. You gotta be kidding me. Just... It was! But it would have killed me pretty easily had I not done it right. Okay, cool. One, two, one. And just move in. One, dodge. Oh. No. Oh. What are you gonna do now? Dodge, dodge, and one, two. Probably. They probably became a bit faster. I would guess. Come on, just hit. One, two, you got. You just keep on coming. Keep on coming and they don't start coming and they don't stop coming. At least there's a hard limit of four. That does, as long as we can isolate them, we can make this work pretty well. Oh, Glum. Okay, cool. And just connect one, two, and out of the way. Only a few more. Actually, only a few left, but the big thing is we can't actually. How far are they going? Oh, come on, just out of my way, out of my way, out of my way. We need vessel, blood, blood vials, blood vials. Only a few more, only a few more. Just spend this tiny tonish wrist. You can probably just take me down this way. Okay. Then just, we're so close, we're so close. And, oh, goodbye. Go back to heaven.
that's that's it for today. That was thrilling. Honestly, there are a few things like a good group fight. I'm gonna need more files. Okay. That's the astral clock tower key, which we will deal with next time. Key to the astral clock tower atop the Grand Cathedral. Caretaker of the tower's numerous patients, known to them only as Lady Maria. Made her home behind the giant star interpreting clock. And that... It's a problem with the me of tomorrow, and frankly, it's not that much of a problem. But either way... It's done. We can quit ourselves of this horrible place. And also, I need to farm. My resin is almost capped, and I need to farm some teachings of order for Arlequino and maybe Chiroz if she's on the same banner. Because I still don't have Chiroz. Okay. Actually, you no, know what I could do is. I actually never upgraded. Did I? I did upgrade this thing, but. Just thinking. Oh, well, if I wanted to get it to plus 10, I would need to wait till. I need to wait a bit, because I don't have chunks to. This is a 10, this is a 10. It's a 9. Boom hammer and. I would need 60 more chunks, which I could maybe get. That said, I don't want to spend inside on that. We'll see. Chico Gay. That's just. Put some gems on that real quick. Just so we can get straight into it as soon as possible tomorrow. Chico Gay. And Rally Potential, not bad. Attack versus kin down. That's good. Then, let's see. Durability is not what I want. 30. Two four. Let's see what the highest is. Higher than two or four on blood attack. Two one two. Ah, blood change gem in that shape. Physical attack two one three. Combination. This is gonna be best. Then just last one would be this. This one would be. 45, but I feel like it should be 266. More blood attack. 267. Add physical attack. Hmm. Actually, in that case, would the other be better off with that then, or. No, it's got some weird kind of stacking effect. Well, either way, this weapon's good too. People, this is what we need for tomorrow. I will, to quote Red Hot Chili Peppers, come back strong with 50 belly dancers. That makes no sense, but by the way, thank you for letting me struggle through all this and watching me die a bunch of times. Son of Ragan, how do we speak to two bosses? Can't, it's from Can't Stop, which is a really, really good song, but that's all. Which is also a song by Genesis. Kill me. Thank you. See ya. Sign a